Church, raise your voice. Yes. Heaven want to hear you this morning. Yes, you Oh, see, we're blessed. 
Jesus this morning. Thank you. 
Now let the power of the Lord come. Let the power of the Lord The healing of the Lord on down. Let the healing of the Lord on down. Let the healing of the Lord from heaven now. Let the healing of the Lord come down. Sing let
of the Lord come down. Sing the let the power of the Lord from heaven up. Let the power of the Lord come down. Sing the let the healing of the Lord from heaven. Let the freedom of the Lord from heaven above. Let the freedom of the Lord come down. Come and continue to wave your hands in worship. We're still witnessing God's mighty power and presence. Let us continue to acknowledge His presence here today. Let us continue to acknowledge His presence like sweet fragrance. His power and His presence like fragrance in our lives. Come on, wave your hands and acknowledge Yahweh.
your way today. Show me your way tomorrow.
Jesus, keep clapping, keep clapping, keep praising God. If you are happy to be in the arena of liberty today, raise your hand and say thank you, Jesus. If you are happy to be in a blessed arena where sickness, diseases are fleeing out of people and healing, deliverance, salvation, and all of God's blessings are being brought to you just on a platter for free. If you are happy to be in that presence, wave your hand and say, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Tap your neighbor and say, you're welcome to the arena of liberty. Say with joy. Tap your neighbor and say, you're welcome to the arena of liberty. 
a place where healing, a place where deliverance, a place where salvation is just like prison, a place where testimonies are too numerous for you to just stand and say thank you, Jesus. If you believe that, put those hands wonderfully for Lord and Savior Jesus. Yes, we may have our seats in the presence of the Lord. And indeed, Jesus still does wonders in the lives of the people. As he is there, offered freely, healing, deliverance, salvation, and all of God's blessings to all who believe. All you just need to do is to believe and you will receive. So therefore, these people who are here today believed in Christ Jesus and they received their healing. So they are here today to thank God for what God has done for them. So let us listen to them as they are here to share their testimonies with the people of God. Spectadores, iniciamos con este tiempo de testimonios. Observa tu pantalla. Préparez-vous, écoutez le merveilleux témoignage qui s'en suit. Bienvenue à la Reine de la Liberté. Restez connectés. So before the first test fire comes from... Viewers over the world, you're witnessing God Almighty use the faculties of the woman of God, Pastor Evelyn Joshua, to minister divine healing into the lives of the people. Watch the reaction of that woman as she undergoes divine healing in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I can walk now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my maker. Thank you. And that was how she received the miracle. And she's here walking freely. Shall we put our hands together for the Savior Jesus? Yes, such wonderful things that God is doing in the lives of the people. So, Ma, you're very welcome. Introduce yourself and tell us your testimony. Good morning, church. Emmanuel. People of God, Emmanuel. My name is Onoha, Mrs. Onoha Lovett. A man standing next to me is my lovely husband, Mr. Emmanuel Onoha. I am from Imo State, but I reside here in Lagos, Nigeria. The, the problem, I am standing before you children of God to give all glory to God of this commission who have been so wonderful to me and my family. The problem that brought me to the synagogue church of our nation is the problem of difficulty in walking due to lumbar spondylosis and osteopenia. It all started on one fateful day. I was in a dream. I saw a woman. He called me. So I answered him. He signaled her daughter to pull off my cloth. I was dragging with her daughter that the daughter should not pull off my cloth. I was trying to run away. The woman put her leg for me. I fell down. I tried to get up the first time. He put her leg the second time. I fell down. I woke up. It was a dream. I prayed. And the next morning, I went to my working place. At my working place at that very day, I wanted to lift up something and unturn it. At the process of lifting the thing up, I heard a sound at my back region. So I thought it was a minor occurrence. But as time goes on, the pain became too severe that I cannot bear it. So I decided to visit the doctor. The doctor said that I should go for an x-ray. When the x-ray is out, 
They say that I have lumbar spondylosis and osteopenia. So the doctor prescribed some drugs and painkillers for me. When I took those drugs and painkillers, the pain persists. All to no avail. I decided to seek the face of God. Okay, before you tell us what happened when you came here, tell us how did this problem of lumbar spondylosis and osteopenia affect your daily activity? This problem of lumbar spondylosis affects me so much in as much that I cannot walk, I cannot do my daily shows, I cannot go to work anymore, I will sit down one place, if I only need the help of my children, I cannot stand the rates. Whenever I'm walking, I will be bending. My children are the ones that are assisting me. So tell us what happened when you came to Synagogue Church of All Nations. What happened when I came to the Synagogue Church of All Nations? Last week, I was at the Synagogue Church of, I was, I was at the Synagogue Church of All Nations. I was at the prayer line. Our mother in the Lord, Pastor Mrs. Evelyn Joshua, lay his hand on me. He lay his hand at the exact point and having the pain. Instantly, I feel the cold sensation all over my body. Instantly, the pain disappeared. I can do everything on my own now. I can cook. I can go to my working place. I can do all things that I cannot do. I can even walk. I can walk. I can stand the race. Unlike before, I cannot walk like this. I do bend because whenever I want to stand, I felt like my upper region want to collapse to my, to my, to my lowest region. So that led me to bend. But now I can stand the rage. Children of God, Iman! Let's put those hands once more for our Lord and Savior Jesus. So what's your advice to people who are listening to you? My advice to the whole, to the people that are watching me right now and the people that are facing similar problem I face, you should look unto the Lord Jesus Christ. Look unto him because he never fails. He never said goodbye. Jesus said that he will be with you. He will see you through. And still first look at the Lord Jesus Christ and never look in vain. Let's put our hands together for Lord and Savior Jesus. Such beautiful tes testimony. But we want to see you once again because before, you said before, you normally bend. But now, can you just take the mic once more and walk for us? Show us those things you can do now after the healing. I can walk straightly. Look at me. I can walk before, even to squat like this, I cannot do it. But now I am free. Let's put the hands wonderfully for Lord and Savior Jesus. And as they are doing all these things, do you feel any pain? No more pain. I feel free. Thank you, Jesus. Let's put those hands once more for Lord and Savior Jesus. So let's listen to your husband. You're welcome, sir. Introduce yourself and uh, tell us what you can say concerning the healing your wife has received. Good morning, church. Emmanuel. My names are Mr. and Mrs. Emmanuel Onwa. I'm from Emo State. I reside in Lagos. We have come to thank God for the healing of my wife and for God healing us. We thank God for her healing because during the time that she's having this problem, before we come to uh, Synagogue Church of All Nation to seek for a solution, the my my wife was unable to do some things, to do homework and uh, some other things. We are I and my children is the people that you say assisting her to do some domestic work, as she has said, she has said it all. We thank God. We have come to say thank you, Jesus, for her healing and for healing us. Thank you, Jesus. Let's put this hands beautifully for our Lord and Savior Jesus. 
espectadores de todo el mundo, acabamos de escuchar el maravilloso testimonio de la señora Onua. Ella es de aquí, de Nigeria, vino a la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones con un problema de dificultad para caminar debido a la, a la osteoporosis. Eh, los médicos le diagnosticaron esta enfermedad y a pesar de que ella recibía analgésicos, el dolor era muy fuerte. Ese problema le afectó mucho porque no podía hacer sus actividades diarias e incluso sus hijos tenían que asistirla. Pero cuando la pastora Evelyn Joshua oró por ella, inmediatamente recibió su sanidad y como vimos en pantalla, ahora ella puede hacer todo lo que antes no podía hacer y nos aconsejan buscar al Señor Jesucristo porque Él no falla y nunca dijo adiós. Espectador, permanece conectado. Vous de écouter le merveilleux témoignage de Madame Onuowa Lovet et son mari présent ici. Euh, elle donne comme témoignage qu'elle est venue à la synagogue de l'Église Nation, Dieu a des difficultés à marcher. Elle dit que tout a commencé lorsqu'elle a eu un cauchemar et que dans son rêve, une femme la poursuivait et l'a fait tomber et elle s'est fait mal aux pieds. Elle dit que lorsqu'elle s'est réveillée, elle a commencé à développer cette douleur au niveau de ses pieds. Elle n'arrivait pas à marcher. Elle avait mal au dos aussi. Elle dit qu'elle est partie voir le médecin et que il lui a donné des analgésiques, mais rien ne s'y faisait. Elle avait toujours des douleurs. Elle dit donc qu'elle a eu comme résolution de venir ici à la synagogue, église de toutes les nations, où la pasteur Yvin Joshua a prié pour elle, comme vous avez pu le voir sur vos écrans. Et elle a reçu sa totale délivrance, sa guérison. Elle est bien ici pour rendre gloire à Dieu. Et son mari à ses côtés témoigne aussi de sa maladie auparavant et de sa guérison. Les spectateurs du monde entier, continuez de regarder vos écrans. Once again, let us put our hands together beautifully for Jesus. Yes, we're still listening to faith building testimonies, but before the next person comes forward, let us watch our television. Regardez vos écrans pour le prochain témoignage. Observa tu pantalla para el próximo testimonio. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Let us put our hands together beautifully for Jesus. Yes, God Almighty continues to give us plenty of evidence for what we believe. The man in question is right here to give thanks to God Almighty for all that he has done in his life. Let us hear from him. So you're welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. Please tell us your name and your testimony. Emmanuel, Church Emmanuel, my name is Mr. Chris Odoku from Anamba State, but I reside in Douala, Cameroon. So I, I, I came to thank God for, for what he has done in my life, for healing me from chronic leg ulcer. So one day I was coming from a friend's house, getting to, getting to uh, my staircase, I fell down. After I fell down, I woke up. I woke up and I checked all my body and uh, I realized that I sustained a small cut by this leg. So I don't, I don't take it serious. You understand? So after one week now, The, the core begin to develop a, a, a wound with a severe pain. So I do my possible best to treat it over there, to treat the wound over there. But yet the wound is not, uh, was not uh, healing. So I decided to come to Synagogue Church of All Nations for, for deliverance. Okay. So we, we thank God Almighty for what he has done in your life, but In the course of your testimony, you said when you fell down, you sustained injury, and then you, because of this, you experienced this severe pain. You were in pain all through. So can you tell us how this problem affected your life? The, the, the wound affected me, or like I can say the pain affected me very well, so much that I cannot uh, wear a cover shoe. I am kind of person that likes shoe or sandal. But uh, I cannot put on any shoe or sandal when I'm going out. Even to sleep is a, was a problem to me. Um, every night I can, I can took two times a painkiller before I was with the daybreak. So tell us what happened when you came to the synagogue to the foundation. So as I came with the, that swelling leg and the wound, 
So I am I was opportunity to pray for to pray for by one of the evangelists. So after the evangelist, evangelist finished to pray for me, the kindness come into me and the wound start instantly. The pain was not there again. The 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 heart was not there again because when I come in was coming down here in, in, in Lagos to Lagos State, people are people was asking me. What kind of flag is this? Why this leg swallow? Well, I try to explain everybody. So for the benefit of our viewers, can you please calmly explain to us what happened to you when the evangelist prayed for you at the prayer line? Okay, when uh, the evangelist prayed for me, I have calmness in my soul and spirit, even in the body, because the, the, the pain was so severe that I cannot lift my, my leg up, even when I'm walking, I'm walking like this. So after the prayer, the, the pain finish. Let us put our hands together for Jesus. You have heard it from the man. He said immediately the evangelist prayed for him. The pain completely disappeared. Once again, let us put our hands together for Jesus. So we can see some pictures on display. Can you tell us more about these pictures? So, the first picture with the bandage on, on my leg is uh, was when I came here in Lagos. So, the second picture is is when um, it was when the evangelist prayed for me, and uh, the the thing just shrink and the pulse begin to come out. The third picture is when the the the, the, the wound is, is is was going. Okay. So now, to the glory of God, can you show us that same leg? To the glory of God, for the benefit of those watching you, please show us the condition of that leg right now. This is the leg now. If I cannot put on this kind of shoe. You can do better than that. Put your hands together louder for Jesus. So, as you are hitting it, do you feel any pain? Do you feel any pain while touching the no, leg? There's no more pain again. Demonstrate to us now what you can do to the glory of God. You can see the man walking majestically. Let us put our hands together for Jesus. Our Lord is good. And all the time. So we thank God Almighty for this wonderful transformation. So for the benefit of those who are listening to you, what will be your word of advice going by your past experience when you're having this problem? Okay, my word of advice is that whenever you have a problem or whenever you have problem, any kind of problem, run to God, don't run from God because he's the author and the finisher of our faith. It's only him can do what no man can, cannot do. It's only him can deliver. It's only you can, can, can heal you from any disease or any sickness. It's only can deliver you from any diversity that you're facing all through your life in Jesus' name. Vous venez d'écouter le merveilleux témoignage de Monsieur Christ, qui est un Nigérien vivant au Cameroun. Il dit que tout a commencé quand il s'est blessé à la jambe. Il ne savait pas que cela devait se transformer en, en ulcère. Et donc, il a développé un ulcère à la jambe. Il dit qu'il est parti voir les médecins, mais euh, sans solution. Ça, c'est L'état de sa jambe s'est empiré, comme vous avez pu le voir sur vos écrans. Il dit ensuite qu'il est venu à la synagogue, église de toutes les nations, parce que dû à cette situation, il était dans une douleur atroce et il ne pouvait pas porter de chaussures fermées, il ne pouvait pas vaquer à ses activités quotidiennes normalement. Donc, comme vous pouvez voir sur vos écrans, l'évangéliste, un évangéliste a prié pour lui et il dit que immédiatement il a senti une sensation de calme et la douleur euh, était plus présente. Il dit que maintenant il est guéri, comme vous pouvez voir sur, sur vos écrans, son pied, il n'y a plus de douleur, il n'y a plus de plaie ouverte. Il rend gloire à Dieu, il donne comme témoignage d'accourir à Dieu, quel que soit le problème que vous avez. Les spectateurs du monde entier continuent de regarder vos écrans. Spectadores, acabamos de escuchar el maravilloso testimonio del señor Chris. Él vino a, con un problema de úlcera en la pierna y nos cuenta que todo comenzó con un corte que se hizo que se convirtió en una úlcera. El dolor era muy fuerte, pero cuando recibió oración del evangelista aquí en la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones, el dolor desapareció instantáneamente y sintió calma dentro de sí. Como pudimos ver en pantalla, él nos mostró el antes y el después de la oración, su pierna completamente restaurada de esa úlcera y nos aconseja cuando tengamos un problema correr a Dios porque solamente él hace lo que el hombre no puede hacer. Espectador permanece conectado. So we want to quickly encourage you that now that you have been healed, the healing that you receive is not an end in itself. 
but a means to an end, which is for the salvation of your soul, which will also encourage you to make God's word the standard for your life. And as you do so, better will not be given up. The best is always yet to come in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us put our hands together for Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. Indeed, Jesus Christ is the master healer. Never a sickness he cannot heal. Never a disease he cannot cure. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. We have been witnessing beautiful testimonies of people that have come from all over the world to testify of God's goodness in their lives. But before the next testifier comes forward, let us watch the screens of our television and watch how the miracle took place. Observa tu pantalla para ver cómo se produjo el próximo testimonio. Regardez vos écrans pour le prochain témoignage. Who are you in this body? Who are you? I'm Lido. In this dream, everybody. Everybody is full of sickness. Mm. I want to go. Do you want to stay in the family? Quiere destruir la familia? I'm stagnant. Mm. It's about to destroy the What have you done to the family? Mm. No work for them. El Espíritu. So are you welcome? Dice que quiere matarla. Who is she to you? Uh, she is my daughter. What can you say about the evil spirit? You say. She is uh, cool, but she always has it herself. And uh, always sickness, sickness. So we went to many hospitals. It will not avail. So I decided to bring her here so that God will locate us. And I thank God that today God has located us here. Thank God. Thank you, Lord. Esprit qui veut la tuer. So it's time for you to go. Fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Fire in the name of Jesus. All over your body. Your legs. Fire in the name of Jesus. Your back. Fire in the name of Jesus. All over your body. Thank you, Lord. Fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Out. Out in the name of Jesus. Out. Fire in that stomach in the name of Jesus. Remove everything. Fire in the name of Jesus. Remove it. Fire in that stomach. Fire in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Come out. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Now go. Out. Vemos la manifestación de este espíritu como esta mujer sus vomitos. Jesus name. Esas sustancias venenosas en el nombre de Jesús. La manifestación de mujeres de esprit, el vomito de sustancias tóxicas, todo lo que la pudo manger en la tabla del enemigo. Thank you, Lord. Y esta mujer ha sido libre para la gloria de Dios. Merci Jésus, elle est libre de la prise de l'île de la femme pour la gloire de Dieu. Hello. Come for Jesus has set you free. You are free in Jesus name. Esta familia ha sido libre para la gloria de Dios. Espectadores continúen conectados. Merci Jésus, la femme est déclarée libre pour la gloire de Dieu. That was how she received her deliverance. So, madam, you're welcome in Jesus' name. Please introduce yourself to us and share with us your beautiful testimony. Emmanuel. My name is Nancy Bete from Ghana. The man beside me here is my father. I am here to testify what the Lord our God has done in my life. The problem that brought me to Sinagog Church was his menstruation. When I was young, my family bath 
me with water from the shrine. I'm from a family of worshiping idol. When I grew up, I started experiencing strange things, having sex with a man in a dream. Anytime I sleep, I always experience that. Due to, due to that, I developed severe abdominal and waist pains. When I went to the hospital, the, a doctor asked me to take a scan. The result of the scan was that there is a solid mass attached to my left ovarian tube. So he has to do operation for me. My dad said no. We have the faith and the belief that when we come to synagogue church, Jesus will deliver me. So last week, Sunday, we were here when the evangelist prayed for me. I felt fire all over my waist, my abdomen, my body. Just after the prayer, the menstruation that was it started flowing. That clap is not enough for the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Put those hands together for Jesus. So I came back. So, madam, we would like to ask you, for the benefit of our viewers, when you were going through this problem, how did you feel? How has this problem affected your life? Or how did this problem you had in the past affect your life? It affected me a lot. I can't even perform household choice. All my duties were done by my mom. But immediately the man of the evangelist prayed for me. I can do everything. No more pains. Everything vanished. So I came back to testify how the menstruation flows. Amen! Put your hands together for Jesus! So, madam, you mean that after the touch from the evangelist, your menstruation that has been seized came back? Yes. People of God, are we going to sit down? Are we going to be on our seat to appreciate God? Rise up on your feet and put us hands together. Now, as we can see on our screen, that is a proof that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The menstruation that has been seized for a long time has returned to God be the glory. Madam, now that you are, you are well, now that you are, you have been restored by God Almighty, how do you feel? I don't more experience strange things in my dream. No sex in a dream. The pains all over is gone. So I'm free now. Thank you. Amen. On our screen, we can see the woman coming back to testify of God's goodness in her life. Her menstruation that has been seized is back. Hallelujah. So, madam, with this good thing that God Almighty has done for you, what is your word of advice to the viewers all over the world? Viewers all over the world. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today. If you are facing any problem, come to Jesus and Jesus will deliver you. Amen. Amen. Now we are going to listen to your father. Sir, you're welcome in Jesus' name. Please introduce yourself to us and tell us briefly about what God Almighty has done for you and your daughter. Emmanuel. Thank you, Jesus. I am here to thank God for what he has done in my daughter's life and the entire family. Uh, I thank God for that. My name is Nelson Wau from Ghana. The lady standing beside me is my daughter. So I'm here to thank God for what God has done in our lives. Last week we were here. My daughter, she always sick, at least not less than, not more than one week, we we'll go to hospital. So when we went to hospital, uh, doctor said she has a fibroid or something like that. So they decided to operate her. I said, no, my daughter will not be operated. This young lady, at this age, then they should, they should 
go under operation, I will not agree. So I know a God who can help us. And truly, last week we came here and evangelist pray for her. And truly, he's free now. I'm also peace now. Amen. You. Put your hands together for Jesus. So, sir, with this good thing that God Almighty has done for you, your daughter, and your entire family, what is your word of advice to the viewers all over the world? Viewers all over the world, and those sitting down in this auditorium, my word of advice is anything that is going in your life, run to Jesus. Don't run from Jesus. And again, think positive and move with positive-minded people and your life will never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. So, sir, madam, we thank God Almighty for his goodness in your life and we want to advise you now that you have been healed by his word, go and be ruled by his word. And remember, better is not good enough The best is always yet to come. Espectadores, acabamos de escuchar el maravilloso testimonio de la de Nancy de Ghana. Ella vino a la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones con un problema de cese de menstruación y con pesadillas. Ella nos cuenta que cuando el evangelista oró por ella, inmediatamente, como vimos en pantalla, su menstruación volvió y desde entonces ya no tiene más pesadillas y ahora es completamente libre y le dan toda la gloria a Dios. Nos aconsejan ante cualquier problema venir a Jesús y rodearnos de personas con pensamientos positivos. Espectador, permanece conectado. Vous venez d'écouter le merveilleux témoignage de Mademoiselle Nancy qui est présente ici avec son père. Elle dit qu'elle vient d'une famille de la triste d'idole, adoratrice d'idole, pardon, et qu'elle avait donc des cauchemars. Elle a commencé à avoir des cauchemars de mari de nuit qui avait des rapports sexuels avec elle dans les rêves. Elle dit donc que, euh, en résultant de cela, elle commence à avoir des crampes extrêmement douloureuses dans le bas du ventre et qu'elle a eu ensuite une cessation de menstruation. Elle dit que pendant un certain bout de temps, elle n'arrivait pas à avoir ses menstruations et qu'elle avait des, de, des crampes dues à cela. Donc elle est venue ici à la synagogue, église de toutes les nations, avec son père pour trouver une solution à ce problème en Jésus-Christ. Et comme vous pouvez le voir sur vos écrans, des évangélistes a prié pour elle. Elle a vomi des substances toxiques et elle est complètement libre à présent au nom de Jésus-Christ. Son père témoigne de cette douleur qu'elle avait constamment et il est heureux de la voir complètement libre. Et donne comme conseil d'accourir à Jésus-Christ car il guérit et de s'entourer des personnes positives. Continuez de regarder vos écrans. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Yes, we're still listening to faith building testimony, but before the next fire step forward, let us see how God intervened. Regardez vos écrans pour le prochain témoignage. Observa tu pantalla para ver cómo se produjo el próximo testimonio. All over your body, your legs, your crown, the emotions, Christ, your eyes, the emotions, Christ. What's your mission in our body? What's your mission in our body? I'm a spirit of anger. Okay, so what have you done to her? I destroy her. Okay, in what way? I make her face disappointment. What have you done to her career? Her career? I make wrong people go that way. What about her family? <laughs> I want to destroy death. How? Don't destroy her. What have you done to them? Speak. Don't destroy her. She's a glory. So I want her to show her. Then she's what? Glory. Okay. I don't want her to shine. Why are you against her glory? So what? I want to destroy her. Why are you against her glory? I make her very disappointment whenever she goes. I put fear in her. Okay. I make her believe to herself. So what? What do you want to do about that? How did you enter? Very, very long time. How? Oh, speak out. I entered that woman very long time. Thank you, Lord. All over your crown, your rings, in the name of Jesus Christ, your heart. <laughs> Pain the name of Jesus Christ, your heart. Pain the name of Jesus Christ, your heart. Pain the name of Jesus Christ, on your legs, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. You are powerless because of Jesus. 
Spirit of enojo. Esprit de colère. Your crown, your crown. Your crown. Your rings. Your back. Your back. Your back. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Your back. The name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, be free. Stand up, you are free. Declarada libre para la gloria de Dios. You are free. Stand up. Elle est déclarée libre pour la gloire de Dieu. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. And that was how our testimony started. And she's right here in our midst to testify to the glory of God. Let's put our hands beautifully for our miracle walking God. That clap is not enough for our miracle walking God. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. So let's listen to her. Ma, you're welcome. Can you please introduce yourself and tell us your beautiful testimony? Children of God, Emmanuel. Children of God, Emmanuel. My name is Akiyemi Deborah Kekelomo. I'm from Mondo State, but I live here in Lagos. I'm here to, the person standing beside me is my lovely mother. I'm here to testify for what God has done in my life. It all started from a very long time when I was little. I discovered I have the spirit of hunger. Whenever the spirit of hunger comes in me, I can't control it. It controls me. At, and it makes me do a lot of things that I'm not meant to do. I get angry at a little, little tip things that I'm not even supposed to get angry at. And I, I will be, I will become like superior. Like when I'm, when that spirit of anger comes in me, I don't want anybody to, I don't want to know who you are, whether you are superior, you are high. I don't want to know whatever position you are. The spirit of anger will take over me. It will control me. There was this scenario my mom was talking to me. When the spirit of anger came, she was trying to correct me. I stood and I pointed at her face like, who are you? As in, I would talk to her in the way I'm not supposed to talk to her. Another scenario was, my older, my junior brother did something to me and I was putting on a ring. By the time the spirit of anger came into me, I just slapped him and immediately the ring tear his cheek and blood rushed out from it. So this spirit of anger in me, whenever it comes, it makes me do a lot of things that I'm not meant to do. And whenever I'm angry, people can't come close to me. Even none of my family can come close to me. Just, just let me be. Because once they come close to me, another scenario is going to happen. Another bad thing. So they will just let me be. Because at that point, it's not me again. It's that spirit of anger in me. Another scenario was a place where I was working. I was not at the marketing department. So my boss called me. I don't even know what he wants me to do. Or maybe he wants to give me an assignment. I don't even want to care. Since I'm not in that department, and I already saw the marketing department, I just, the spirit of anger just came with me, and I yelled at him, like, how will you ask me to come? Am I at the marketing department? Then I yelled at my boss and walked out of him. Angrily, that was why I lose that job that day. The spirit of anger said it made me face a lot of disappointments, which is true. I face a lot of disappointments in my life. Whenever people promise me, they don't fulfill it at all. I will be the one calling, calling, calling. And the time, at the time, they will not even pick my call again. I face another disappointment, another disappointment in my marriage. Because once the spirit of anger comes in me, when my husband is talking, I don't allow him to talk. You know, it's in my husband is talking, husband and wife is talking. It's all of me to calm down for him to talk. I will never submit to him. I will make him, I will make sure my voice is higher than his own. 
the spirit of disappointment will make me do talk harshly to my husband. And that was why my husband left. The spirit of anger makes me to do a lot of things, brought disappointment to my life. Makes me wrong, meet wrong people. Wrong people call my way. Yes, as the spirit of disappointment said. Wrong people call my way. I would think maybe they are the right people. No, at the end of the day, they will end up disappoint me, disappointing me. The spirit of anger also make me hear voices. Voices that tell me, don't let anybody to command me. I hear voices. Don't let anybody command you. You're a boss of your own. If someone does this to you, talk back at them. I hear negative thoughts and I think negatively like, I may just be going and say, and hear the voice and think, ah, accident might just happen. happen. I think negative things that I'm not meant to think. So when I came to church last week Sunday, I was sitting at the Nazi mother. Then while the evangelist was approaching me, I just felt this light in him. I could not face him. And I started hearing that voice, run away. But I could not control myself. Then I held my ear because I don't want to listen. I don't know. Something in me don't want me to listen to that voice. So that was how... <laughs> I'm just saying this video today. I'm very surprised. That was why I received my deliverance. Let us put our hands together for Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. So, Matt, tell us the changes you've noticed after your deliverance. I've received, after my deliverance, the second day, that was on Monday. In fact, I slept and slept I woke up, I hurt, I still slept back. My body was just, my body became calm. No more negative. I no longer hear the voice, the strange voices again. And no more negative thoughts. While, before I got delivered, my son did something. And when the spirit of anger came in me, I took the tallest stick and I beat hell out of him to the extent that his head got swollen up. But last week, Wednesday, I was cooking. Then it took... It took broom, then light, and then light a light from the gas cooker. I mean, that's like God there and I saw him. I don't just know what happened. It was where before I would take that same tiny stick and beat it out of him. But people have got to my greatest surprise. I just said, Toby, lived here with a calm voice. I did not even touch him at all. Another thing happened yesterday. My mom was talking to me. She talked almost for an hour. For an hour. She was trying to correct me on something. If it were before, I would have stood and pointed at her face that, mommy, this, I would reply her back. But I was just calm. Looking at her, I've been so light. I've been okay. No more negative hearing. No more negative thinking. No more voices. Glory be to God. People of God, that clap is not enough for Jesus Christ. Put your hands together for a miracle walking God. So, Ma, for the benefit of the viewers, tell us, how has this problem affected your marriage? It's affected my marriage a lot. You know, <laughs> you're married to someone, so you, you know he's your husband. Whenever he's talking, you have to listen to him. I will never do such. I will talk back at him as if I'm a man. I will want my own opinion to be the, to be the best, which is not supposed to be so. But the spirit of anger makes me to talk back at him, yell back at him, and um, we could no longer condone my anger, then he left. So it affected my marriage a lot. Now I'm free. I thank God I'm free. Glory be to God. Let's put our hands together once again for Jesus Christ. So, Ma, with this beautiful thing that God Almighty has done for you, what word of advice do you have for listeners? My advice to viewers all over the world is that whatever situation you, whatever step you want to take in life, let us put God first and wait for his answers. We put God first, but we don't wait for his answer. We just decide on our own. Let's put God first and wait for his answers and always make his words the standard for our lives. Thank you. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. So let's listen to your mother. So, Ma, you're welcome. Can you please introduce yourself, the person standing next to you, and tell us about this newfound freedom your daughter just received? Children of God, Emmanuel. Children of God, Emmanuel. My name is Mrs. Akiemi Rishé.
the girl besides it, me is my daughter. I thank God for what God of TV Joshua do in my life last week Sunday. And I thank God well, well because this girl that is beside, beside me, the little thing, even if I want to talk to this girl sometime, we just put like a fire. Start talking. Behave like say, ah, ah. I will be wondering if he did someone do something. We just near him. Ah, my eye will shine like that. What, what happened? What come over you? Why are you behaving be be like this? We do something. We just get angry. 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 Too much angry. Even if you do something, if I want to correct this guy, you just be Sometimes I will just sit down and be looking say, God, I know that you are the one great this girl. You bring gun for this word. You know what you send this girl, this girl to come and do for this word. I put this girl for her hand. Say control for her life. And I thank God for last week. What God of Tip Joshua do for our life, my family life and the girl life. I appreciate God, and I give God glory. Thank you, Jesus. Once again, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. So, Ma, tell us about the changes you've noticed in the life of your daughter. You have changed well, well, too. Ah, God help me well, well, because the first day, we go to mountain. When we are coming, I just... Who say, I want, and I near his sister. I said, This girl, I want to know maybe I've changed to the truth. So I just, just small thing. I put her, when I talk like that, I think, if not before, we just, you know, if, you know, maybe not outside though, or anywhere, we just, it's just, it's not mean to talk. You just walk out and come and stay for one side and be looking. I'm the one come and send the son to him to go to, to her to go and call her to me again. And yesterday again, uh, yesterday morning, like one hour in the morning, I start. I talk from morning to I I cap, I look time one hour. I'm talking, 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 different, different talking. That I know that if you hear that kind of thing, you will be. But I tell God, nothing, nothing. Just like say, even if people come yesterday, they will be asking me, say, wow, wow. So who am I talking with? But I thank God, you know, best month. You know, if it do like say, I'm talking to her. I thank God, I appreciate it. Indeed, the evidence of Jesus is life change. Let us put our hands together once again for Jesus Christ. So, Ma, with this beautiful thing that God Almighty has done in the life of your family, what word of advice do you have for viewers around the world? And I thank God. The, from all over the world, whatever situation people, somebody is, it go through. Focus God and believe in God that nothing God cannot do. I thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Vous venez d'écouter le merveilleux témoignage de cette famille, Mademoiselle Akiyemi Deborah, qui est venue ici avec sa mère. Elle dit qu'elle avait, elle était tourmentée par un esprit de colère et que elle était pleine d'orgueil lorsqu'elle parlait à son entourage, à sa mère, et qu'elle était violente envers ses enfants. Et elle dit qu'elle est très arrogante et que dû à cela, elle a perdu son emploi et qu'elle a eu plein de déceptions dans sa vie. Quand elle avait des promesses, les personnes qui lui promettaient des choses ne les accomplissaient pas ensuite. Elle dit que cela a conduit à l'échec dans son mariage et que les personnes autour d'elle avaient tendance à l'abandonner. Donc elle dit aussi qu'elle entendait des voix qui lui disaient de réagir. Et donc 
C'est la raison pour laquelle elle est venue ici à la synagogue église de toutes les nations et que, comme vous pouvez le voir sur vos écrans, elle a reçu la délivrance par un des évangélistes. Sa mère témoigne de son comportement qui était euh, vraiment violent et euh, mal poli envers elle et sa famille. Elle témoigne aussi de sa délivrance. Elle dit qu'après euh, cela, donc Mademoiselle Déborah dit qu'après sa délivrance, elle est complètement libre, restaurée. Et sa mère témoigne de sa complète restauration dans son caractère. Elle rend toutes les deux gloire à Dieu et donne comme conseil de continuer à courir à Dieu. Téléspectateurs du monde entier, continuez de regarder vos écrans. Espectadores de todo el mundo, acabamos de escuchar el maravilloso testimonio de la señora Débora de aquí de Nigeria. Ella nos cuenta que desde pequeña ella tenía un espíritu de enojo que no se podía controlar y se enfadaba por cosas pequeñas y que nadie se le podía acercar. Este por este problema ella perdió su empleo y tuvo muchas decepciones en su vida y en su matrimonio. Ella solía tener pensamientos negativos, sin embargo, cuando vino a la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones y el evangelista oró por ella, inmediatamente recibió su liberación. Nos comenta que ya no tiene esos pensamientos pensamientos negativos y su madre testifica del cambio que hay en ella porque ahora tiene paz, ahora ya no se enfada como se enfadaba antes y, le, y está aquí para darle toda la gloria a Dios, nos aconseja poner a Dios primero y a esperar la respuesta de Dios. Espectador, permanece conectado. People of God, praise the Lord. People of God, praise the living Jesus. People of God, praise Wow, let's put our hands together for Jesus. Wow, we thank God Almighty for the wonderful testimonies that has been taking place in the lives of people. Indeed, the evidence of Jesus is life change. We also, people of God, we have another testifier in our midst who wants to tell us about God's wonderful work in his life. But before he comes forward, let's watch how God intervened. Espectadores, vamos a ver nuestra pantalla para ver cómo se produjo el siguiente testimonio. Témoignage constitué les spectateurs à voir un extrait de comment Dieu est intervenu dans la vie de cette personne. And what well, thank you, Jesus. You're welcome. Please tell us your name, introduce the person standing next to you, and share with us your testimony. Emmanuel. My name is David Pius. The person standing next to me is my mom. I want to thank God for what you have done in my life. On the 18th of September, 2022, Two weeks after my secondary school, I went to play football like normal days. That very day, I was tackled by my fellow player where I was about to score the goal. He matched me on my left leg. I fell down like it was just like normal falling down. I thought nothing happened. Trying to stand up, I was unable to stand up. Then I knew that I broke my leg. So then... They have to call people to raise me up. They, they took me to a native healer. To a native healer who have to treat the leg as he was trying to treat the You mean leg. you were taken to a traditional healer? Yes, traditional bone healer who was trying to treat the leg. He was treating the leg, but still there was no solution. The pain was still there. So I have to... So they told me to go to orthopedic hospital. So I went to orthopedic hospital. They, they, I went through a scan. They scanned the leg. So they say I have a displaced bone in my leg. So then they say I should go for surgery. But my mom refused that I won't go any surgery. So before then, before then, the leg was normal. So after at the process of treating the leg, The bone have to come out of my skin. You have to grow out of my skin. So they have to file that bone out. They use something to cut the bone, but still, the pain was still there. So I, I was opportune to, to come here. They gave me morning water. 
They prayed for me, but they gave me more in water. The evangelist prayed for me, and I got my healing. Now I can walk. I do play football like normal. I can squat myself. I can do those things I can't do before. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Wow, we thank God Almighty for his wonderful work in your life. Tell us, when the evangelist prayed for you, what was your encounter? How did you feel in your body? Before he prayed for me, as he was standing close to me, I was, the leg was cold, I was free before he even touched me. So why he touched me, I, he still held my hand that I should go. Before he told me to go, the pain was still there. Immediately he told me to go. The pain just vanished as if I was not having anything there before. Well, let's put our hands together for Jesus. People of God, that clap is not enough for Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. So tell us, how is your leg now? Can you show us the leg that had that fracture? Here is the leg. This the injury side. While touching it, do you feel any pain? No, no, there is no pain. Yet. Could you touch your leg like this before? No, I, I was unable to touch it. Well, let's put our hands together for Jesus. Please, can you do the things which you couldn't do before when you had this problem? I can squat. Now I can squat. I can't even jump up. I can't even look. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. That was a young man doing the things which he couldn't do before when he had this problem of fracture of his leg. Wow, let's put our hands together for Jesus, for this wonderful healing. We can see some pictures on display. Can you tell us what this picture is all about? This picture, this was the first picture when the injury came out. So this one, this one is the picture when the bone come out of the skin. You can see the bone right here. This was the bone. They have to cut this bone up. After then, this was when the wound was healing. This was when the, the wound was healing. And now can you show us the leg? Here is it. Wow, well, let's put our hands together for Jesus. Wow, with this amazing thing God Almighty this infinite mercy has done in your life, what word of encouragement do you have for people out there? You, what I want to say to people out there is that when it's your time, God will, God will locate you. No matter. So for the benefit of the viewers, can you do the things which you couldn't do before when you had this problem? can see me, I can walk freely now. I can stand all by myself. Before I was unable to stand without crutches, I can bend down now. I can jump up. I can even play football. I do play football like normal now. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. So you just mentioned that when you had this problem, you were unable to stand except with the aid of crutches. But now you can stand by yourself without crutches. Yes. Wow, let's put our hands together for Jesus. Let's listen to the woman standing beside you. Ma'am, you're welcome. Please tell us your name. Please tell us who you are to the young man standing beside you. And tell us briefly about what God Almighty has done in his life. People of God, Emmanuel. Emmanuel. My name is Glory Pius. I want to testify what God has done in the life of my son. On, on 18th of September, 2022. 18th of September, 2022. I wasn't at home. When I came back, my second son ran to me. Mommy, mommy, mommy. My brother's leg has broken. I said, how? He said they were playing ball. That somebody matched him. And the bone... Room. I ran down to the place. They were treating him. People, the crowd were there. They were treating him. After the treatment, they brought him home. That fateful night, we couldn't sleep. 
he starts fainting. Fainting and fainting and fainting. I say, God, what will I do? We keep on praying that night. We pray till he done. We took him to the hospital. Then give him oxygen. After the oxygen, they say we should come back home. On our reaching home, he start fainting again. Mom, we know you have a lot to say. Tell us how you feel as a mother now that your son is healed and is able to walk without the aid of crutches. And tell us how you felt when you saw your son in that problem. When he was in that problem, I felt so bad. He affected my work because when he was when he was where they are treating him, I have to keep him at uh, Ajegule when I'm working at a papa. His junior was at in the house. I have to run from work to Ajegule, from Ajegule to the house. I, I was running up and down. The thing affect me so badly. All my life savings. Both for this leg. He was supposed to be in school now because he wrote his jam that particular time that he has the acid. You mean your son is meant to be in the university now because yes, he wrote his entrance to... examination into the university? Yes, he's supposed to be in university now because it was uh, when he was writing Wyatt, he write jam at that process. So everything came out once. He's supposed to be in university now, but everything just collapsed. So how do you feel now as a mother, seeing that your son is healed of this problem? I'm so happy to see him like this now. I'm so, so happy because I feel so relief. I can do my normal daily work now. I can do everything that I was unable to do. Before to go to work was a problem, but now I can go to my work free. He is the one taking care of the junior ones at home now. So I'm so happy. Well, let's put our hands together for Jesus. Indeed, only Jesus can do this. Mom, with this amazing work of God in your son's life and your family as a whole, what an encouraging word do you have for people out there, especially parents who have children in this kind of condition? My advice to people out there is that whenever you have a problem like this, keep praying, come to God. Come to God and come to a living church. God is the way God is. God will help you. God will answer your tears and he will wipe away your tears just as he wiped away my tears. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Y acabamos de escuchar el maravilloso testimonio de David que viene acompañado de su mamá, la señora Gloria. Él viene a testificar que en septiembre del 2022 él sufrió una fractura eh, jugando al fútbol, eh, cayó al suelo y como vemos en pantalla... En las fotografías, su hueso se salió de su lugar completamente atravesando la carne. Esto era muy doloroso. Así que su madre le llevó a un médico nativo sanador de los huesos. De ahí le llevaron al hospital, a diferentes lugares, pero no había solución para él. Le ofrecieron una operación, pero la mamá prefirió eh, seguir en otros tratamientos y finalmente buscar el rostro de Dios aquí en la Escoan. Como vemos en pantalla, él llegó el evangelista, impuso manos ungidas en él, oró por él en el poder del Espíritu Santo e inmediatamente David recibió su sanidad. Al día de hoy eh, nos ha demostrado cómo puede saltar, jugar al fútbol, hacer todas sus actividades y viene a testificar que con Dios todas las cosas son posibles. Cualquiera que sea tu problema nos aconseja, corre siempre hacia Dios. Damos toda la gloria a Dios. David, accompagné de sa mère Glory, rend toutes deux la gloire à Dieu. David partage son témoignage en disant que voilà, il est un footballeur et qu'il s'est fracturé le tibia durant un match. Il dit qu'il est parti chez un docteur traditionnel à la recherche de solutions, mais en vain. Il dit qu'après la visite chez le traditionnel, la douleur a augmenté. Il avait des difficultés à marcher et même l'os a été exposé. C'est là qu'il est venu à la synagogue église de toutes les nations. Il a reçu la prière au nom de Jésus-Christ. Il dit qu'immédiatement après la prière, il s'est mis à marcher sans la moindre douleur. La fracture a disparu. Il n'a même plus besoin d'assistance ni de béquilles pour se déplacer. Il rend toute la gloire à Dieu même. La plaie a disparu. Il dit aujourd'hui, il est totalement guéri et restauré au nom de Jésus-Christ. Et sa mère rend également la gloire à Dieu. Il dit au peuple de Dieu, lorsque c'est votre temps, Dieu vous localisera. If you know that your faith has been lifted up, put your hands together for Jesus. Yes, indeed, it is testimonies after testimonies after testimonies. Once again, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. 
right now wants to listen to another testifier who wants to tell us about God's wonderful work in her life. But just before we listen to her, let us watch our screen and see how she received her healing. Les spectateurs avaient un extrait de comment cette femme a reçu sa guérison. Observe tu pantalla para ver cómo se produjo el siguiente testimonio. Let us put our hands together for Jesus. And that was how she received our healing and she's here with us to share our wonderful testimony. Mom, you're welcome to the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Please introduce yourself and share with us your testimony. Good morning, church. Good morning, church. Emmanuel. I want to testify the goodness of God in my life. It all started with a dream. My name is Favor Amarachi Mark. It started with a dream. I dream when I fall inside a hole. I thought it was normal dream. The thing manifest physically. I was going somewhere with my daughter. I fall inside a big hole that swallowed me. It was my daughter that brought me out of inside the hole. So the team broke, broke, scattered my leg. Blood was rushing. It happened on the 4th of August last day. So I decided to went to hospital. The doctor treated me. They gave me all manner of drugs. I started taking to, for, to no avail. The leg was even dropping water, smelling. So I decided, I said, this is not ordinary. I have to come to. So somebody invited me here. When I came to this place, they took me to prayer line. Evangelists prayed for me. At that moment, I feel something left me. After that, they gave me anointing water and the sticker. I started using it immediately. Before you know what has happened, within that one week, that leg dried up. Everything vanished. Before I can't be able to do anything, I can't do my activities. It's my daughter that used to help me to do, to do, to do all the things. The leg was so deep that water is coming out of the, the, the leg. So, but, but with, all, to God be the glory, the leg I'm healed after the evangelist prayed for me and gave me anointing water. And I start applying on the dead. Instantly, that week, everything dried up. I give God all the glory. Today, no. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? Synagogue, that clap is not enough for God Almighty. Can you tell us how this problem of body injury affected your life? It affected me so much that the pain was so much. I started even calling God of Mommy Evelyn Joshua that God should come to my rescue. I can't bend down. I can't do anything. I was just sitting in one place. It's only my daughter used to help me to even so I can bath. I used to use ordinary water to clean my body until for some months when I came to synagogue all, all nation. Evangelists pray for me. That was how I got my healing. Children of God, stand up and help me and shout hallelujah. God of widow, God of fatherless and motherless, heal me. And now... Wow, this can only be the work of God Almighty. Once again, let's put our hands together for Jesus. Can you please tell us about the pictures on the phone? This is when the thing, the injury happened. When I fell inside the hole, all my leg from the knees. And now, can you show us the leg now? You mean this is the leg yes. that was injured? Yes. People of God, what are you doing? Put your hands together for Jesus. Can you show us the leg? Can you touch it? 
Are you still feeling any pain? Were you able to touch this leg like this no, before? No, no, no. And now? I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus. Let's put our hands together gone. for Jesus. With this wonderful work of God in your life, what is your advice to those listening to you right now? My advice to all the viewers, the whole world, and the people of God here, any problem you have, run to Jesus. Jesus is the answer to all problems. Is the final say to your problem. Praise the Lord. Nous venons d'entendre le témoignage de Madame Feva. Elle raconte que voilà, un jour, elle a fait un cauchemar et cela est devenu une réalité dans la vie réelle. Elle a fait un accident. Elle dit qu'elle a fait une chute et s'est blessée à la jambe. Elle a eu une plaie qui ne se séchait pas. Elle dit que ceci l'a affecté énormément. Elle n'arrivait plus à faire des activités. Elle était tellement dans des douleurs atroces. Elle disait qu'elle n'arrivait même pas à se baigner. Elle est venue ici à la synagogue église de toutes les nations où l'évangéliste a prié pour elle au nom de Jésus-Christ. Elle dit qu'immédiatement, elle a vu des changements dans son corps. Elle n'avait plus des douleurs. Même la plaie est fermée. Aujourd'hui, elle est libre. Elle marche librement à la gloire de Dieu. Elle vous encourage chez les spectateurs en disant de courir vers Dieu. Damos toda la gloria a Dios por el testimonio de la señora Faber de Nigeria. Ella nos comenta que en agosto del año pasado tuvo un sueño, una pesadilla en la que se veía cayendo a un hoyo profundo y esto días después ocurrió en su vida real uh, tras caer a este hoyo descubrió que su pierna estaba gravemente afectada y que tenía dolores por todo su cuerpo y heridas uh, esto le impedía hacer una vida normal caminar, hacer sus actividades diarias hasta que llegó a las y como vemos en pantalla el evangelista oró por ella en el poderoso nombre de Jesucristo e inmediatamente la señora Faber recibió su completa sanidad o viene a testificar que está completamente sanada, que ha vuelto a sus actividades diarias y a dar toda la gloria a Dios. Aconseja que cualquiera que sea el problema siempre busca el rostro de Dios porque con él todas las cosas son posibles. Así que, espectadores, es tiempo de testimonios, es tiempo de que tú también eh, obtengas tu propio milagro porque el testimonio es para edificar tu fe y tan solo la fe le agrada a Dios. Damos toda la gloria a Dios por el testimonio de la señora Faber y recuerda que es tiempo de testimonios en vivo y en directo desde la sinagoga e iglesia de todas las naciones aquí en Lagos, Nigeria, la arena de la libertad. So you're welcome. Please tell us your name and tell us about God's wonderful work in your life. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. My name is Andrew. I'm from Anambra State, but I reside in Lagos State. The problem that brought me to Synagogue Church of All Nations is how God delivered me. I was here last week Sunday when the evangelist was praying for me. He ministered to me and told me that that I should be free in the name of Jesus. But before that, he told me I should speak that what was in my body, I began to feel somehow in my body like all my body was catching fire, like I was feeling fire all over my body. It was in the name of Jesus. What is in my body? That was when I began to speak. And at that moment, at that moment, my master was there with me, which I was into the court group. I was into this court group when I was younger than this. You know, the thing turns my life, it makes things so difficult for me. I can't do things, like if my mommy sent me, I can't do it very well. Like, I would be so angry with her, so angry with her. It got to a point that... So, I for the benefit of the viewers, we want you to calm down and calmly tell us how you got into this cultism. What led you into it and what happened when you got into it and how did it affect your life? When I was younger than this, I was in primary four. <laughs> A friend of mine, which is, we are in the same class in primary four. 
You know, when they were beating this boy... Can you remember how old you were? Yes, I was 10, 11. That is how I was in primary four. This guy, when they beat him, he was my classmate. You know, the guy has power in him. I told him that he should show me the way. That I want to be like him. So what were you seeing in him that made you think that he had power in him? Yes. The boy normally comes to school. He failed to do his assignments. They beat him up. I'm the only one that realized that this boy, there is something in him. He don't feel pain. They beat him, he goes to sit. You mean, you mean whenever this certain boy gets disciplined in school, he doesn't feel any pain from the discipline? Yes. And that was what made you feel that he had power in him? Yes. Please continue. So I met the guy, I, I met the boy and told him that he should show me a way. He laughed and smiled. He told me, am I ready to face for the consequences? I quit down. I asked myself, what does this, ma this guy mean? I still go to him and told him, okay, I'm ready to face. He still smile and look. Okay, he told me I'm going to follow him to a place around 10, 11, which was 10, 11 p.m. in the evening. So we got to the place. He told me I should off my shoe, my slippers. And when I off my slippers, he told me I should pull off my clothes. And I get in. He took me to his master. His master was putting on red garment, full of, as in the red garment was from head to toe. Before then, I was asking him that this place looks somehow strange. He told me I should don't say anything. That since I'm ready to face the consequences, since I'm here in, that there is no turning back. Wow. But I was not comfortable. Like I've never met, I've never gone to a strange place like this. So he met me, but before then he met his master and told me, and told his master that he has someone to meet. I got through the master. I got through the master. The master told me I'm welcome. So he asked me, where's my name? I told him, and he asked me, what am I here for? I said, I'm here for power. He asked me which power? Power for protection. He smiled, and he stopped smiling. But in my mind was feeling strange, like, I wanted to turn back, but in as much I'm in, I can't go back. Okay. He brought a pot, and he told me I should dip my five finger inside. After I dip my five finger inside, he told me to drink it, and I drank it. When I drank it, I found some, like, my body was uncomfortable. I was feeling on strange things in my body. My human system was somehow changed. It still told me that there are some rules and regulations I'm going to follow. I said, this is not enough for me. He said, no, that I don't have to ask any question. Okay, he said, I'm going to be, like, I'm going to avoid speaking English. But there's a particular word I'm going to be saying. So he told me, and again, he told me that church, I try to avoid church that said that when they pray, they end it in Jesus' name. So he, he told me those things that I should avoid. Not just that, a church, also church that said fire, fire. Because if I end that prayer in Jesus' name or fall and say fire, that I will lose my power. Because of that, I stop avoiding church. Like, I can pray with them, but I can never end the prayer in Jesus' name. So, the thing turns things around. It makes so many, it, like, it makes my life so difficult. Things I normally do, I didn't do things. So, so tell us, how did this experience affect your life? How did it affect your sleep? How did it affect your dream? How did it affect you your life entirely. 
when I sleep, I find myself in a dark, in a dark occultist place, surrounded with uh, my group, including the same person that brought me to, that initiated me to the court group. I travel, I go to Netherland and stay with my elder, with my mother, elder sister, which is in United States. So when I got there, like some months, if I dream, the spirit will come and tell me I'll fail to pay my sacrifice. Like when he tell me I fail to pay my sacrifice, like I will be scared. Like, I will be feeling uncomfortable, so scared. He told me, he still keep on telling me that I failed to do my sacrifice. I started school in Niger, in Netherland. I met a guy. I told the guy that I'm in the group. I'm in a courtist group. So, why by the guy was not in the group, was not in the group, which I asked. So, he told me that I'm going to follow him. Okay. When I follow the guy, it's still same that time, 10, 11. I follow the boy. The, I was brought in same that party's group. I was brought in same that party's group. I was asked to do what I'm asked to, like to pull up my shoe and come in. I meet another master and I told him that this is what I'm passing to that has failed to do my sacrifice. He smiled. Okay. He said, I'm welcome. He said, I should come in. Same thing that I was doing here is same thing that was over there. So he said, I should dip my five finger into the pot. Then I should drink it. And the same thing, I drink it. When I drink it, but before then, I got sick because I failed to do my sacrifice because he keep on telling me that I've refused to pay my sacrifice. And I keep on having nightmares, strange dream. But after I take that sacrifice, I voice in English. So you mentioned that when you fail to do this sacrifice that you are instructed to do, this renewal of your membership into this cult, you were having terrible nightmares. What are the nightmares that you were having? The nightmare I normally have, like I told you earlier, that I found myself in a dark mood. You know, when they say dark mood, everywhere is dark. With, with my guys, like, putting on red garments. They are all in the same group. Like, when I come, I always be in it. And Things become so difficult for me. Things I used to do, I didn't obey instruction. Like, I become angry when my master ever talk to me. I even envy at him. So, I know the thing changed my life. It makes so many things so different. It really affected my life. So, when I dip my hand into that pot, I drink the blood. And I drink the substance. And I avoid saying English. And I avoid seen in Jesus' name. On December 27, 28th, I came down to Lagos. I came and stayed with my mother. Like two weeks, I had a sister call and said that we have to prepare and come to synagogue. But me, I moment and said, me, I'm not going with her. She it should go. I have to follow her the first week, but I refused. I didn't go with her. The second week, she stick. I had her sister called her, I will follow her, that I should get my suit iron. But I take excuse why by not to iron down my suit so that I will miss the service, which it was on Friday, Saturday. Like there was no light. It was one of my plans that since there is no light, I can't iron my suit. I will not have the opportunity to, to be in the synagogue church of all nations. But around 4 o'clock, 4 o'clock a.m., 
the broad light. <laughs> Around 4 o'clock a.m., the broad light, my mommy came and woke me and told me I should go ahead and iron my clothes. I said, what is this? Okay. I iron my suits, arrange everything. I prepare. She with my genius sister, we are, we come down. But reaching to the entrance gate of Synagogue Church of One Nation, I was looking at the banner of the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua. I start feeling strange in my body that, like, it has come over. Like, I start feeling strange in my body. So, we get into the church. I didn't start with my mom. She sat separate, but I sat with a junior sister. So when the deliverance service was started, it was not yet our turn. I take an excuse and go to ease myself so that I will not have that opportunity. When I stand up, I go and ease myself. And I came back. I discovered that I've passed my side. But a lady told me that I should start sat and I should start back. I should stand back of my seat. And when I stand back of my seat, the evangelist passed like the breeze. Like after he has laid his hand to the next person, the breeze began to affect me. That is when he touched his hand on me and I begin to feel fire all over my body. Like when I was feeling that fire all over my body, it turns speak in the name of Jesus. Who is that in my body? At that same moment, my master appeared to me and told me I should not mention because it was one of the rules and regulations that I'm supposed to abide that I should not tell anyone where I belong to. Sorry to mention, which master are you talking about? The master, my friend, my classmate, in, took me to, which asked, which asked me to dip my hand into the pot, putting on red garments. So you mean he appeared to you yes. that same moment the evangelist was praying for you? Exactly. And what happened after? When the evangelist said, speak in the name of Jesus, my master was there behind me and was telling me not to speak. But there was power in the name of Jesus. When you are saying speak, when you are saying speak in the name of Jesus, I was like, I was trying to hold myself. He was there. And that moment I said, cut, cut is him. My master disappeared. And when my master disappeared, it was not over. He told me, what? Where did I belong to? Like, I don't want to say where I belong to. He said, where did I belong to? I mentioned the courts I belong to. When he said, catch fire in the name of Jesus all over my body, that was when I began to feel fire all over my body. Like, it was all over my body. It was so catching, especially my leg, my chest, my hand, all over from my head to toe. I was feeling uncomfortable. Now, when he said, in the name of Jesus, be free, that is when I discovered I found myself down. And when I wake up, people of God, let's put our hands together for Jesus. Indeed, there is power in the name of Jesus. At the mention of the name Jesus, every knee must bow. Let's put our hands together for Jesus once again. When I wake up, I discover my body, I'm a free indeed. I don't feel the way I normally feel, the way all my human system will go, like the way my sister will be moving and calm. I know there's a new creation in me. I feel light in my body. So, I slept, I dream, 
I'm in that gym. I found myself in a white garden because I've never dreamed when I found myself in a white garden. Like everywhere was white, star with fruit. I saw youth of my age putting on white garments, elderly people putting on white garments. All I was just saying was hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, let's put our hands together for Jesus. Amen. Indeed, the evidence of Jesus is life change. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Same that dream. I dream it on Wednesday where I still found myself in the white garden. My young ones, as in my youth age with elderly one, putting on white garment. Then I discovered I'm in a new glory. I'm out from darkness into the new creature. Indeed, God have done so wonderful in my life. Yes, I've shamed the devil. Indeed, I'm not a new creature. I don't dream bad dream where I find myself in darkness. I didn't dream where I meet my master. Even my occultist dream, like my occultist mates, where they come to me and meet me, I don't dream them. I only see myself in a white garden. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Wow. With this encounter and ordeal you've experienced in life and this wonderful work of God in your life, what encouraging word do you have to people out there, especially youth out there? My encouragement to viewers all over the world, the global world, especially youths of my age. In every circumstances we find ourselves, run to God. God is the only solution to our problem. <laughs> Man may fail you, but God will never fail you. Indeed, is a God, a mighty God we serve. And keep on serving this God to the rest of your life. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Damos toda la gloria a Dios por el maravilloso testimonio de Andrew que viene de Nigeria. Él viene a testificar su completa liberación. El domingo pasado, por primera vez, él llegó a las Coan y el Espíritu de Dios localizó su caso y ahí él fue libre. Él nos testifica que de jovencito, a la edad de 11 años tan solo, fue iniciado en un ritual de ocultismo. Nos comenta que tenía un compañero de clase al que él admiraba mucho, porque dice que incluso que cuando le castigaban físicamente no le dolía, era como su héroe y decidió seguir sus pasos. Así que con ese compañero fue a un ritual, a un ritual ocultista en un lugar donde le dieron a beber una bebida, un brebaje con, el, con lo cual se selló esta iniciación. A partir de ese momento sus problemas comenzaron. Cada noche tenía pesadillas en las que se veía rodeado de seres extraños en un lugar, en un rito eh, satánico. A partir de ahí desarrolló un terrible espíritu de enojo. Se aisló. En este lugar le dijeron que no podía hablar inglés, que no podía ir a la iglesia y que jamás podría revelar a qué eh, culto pertenecía. Hasta que finalmente su mamá decidió poner su caso a los pies de Cristo y traerlo prácticamente por la fuerza a la escoan. Como vemos en pantalla, Dios lo localizó y el evangelista impuso manos ungidas en él e inmediatamente este espíritu quedó expuesto para la gloria de Dios. Hoy él viene a darle toda la gloria. Dice que es libre completamente, que en el momento de la oración sintió la gloria de Dios, la luz de Dios y aconseja, aconseja que cualquiera que sea tu problema, Siempre corre hacia Dios. Sirve a este Dios porque tenemos un Dios vivo y su nombre es Jesucristo. Damos toda la gloria a Dios. On entend les témoignages d'Andrew. Il dit que voilà, il a rejoint un culte diabolique à l'âge de 10 ans. Il fut initié. Il dit qu'à cause de cela, il était toujours en colère contre sa mère. Sa vie, il dit, a pris une mauvaise tournure. Il fut associé au pouvoir obscur. Il dit qu'il a été toujours assoiffé d'avoir plus de pouvoir obscur. 
Le maître occulte lui interdit d'invoquer le nom de Jésus-Christ, car le maître lui dit qu'il allait perdre les pouvoirs démoniaques s'il prononçait le nom de Jésus-Christ. Il dit qu'il faisait des cauchemars sans cesse. Sa vie devint un carvers. C'est là que sa famille l'a encouragé de venir ici à la synagogue église de toutes les nations. Il a reçu la prière au nom de Jésus-Christ. Il dit que le fait d'avoir seulement vu la photo du prophète Tibi Joshua, il a commencé à ressentir des changements dans son corps. Après avoir reçu la prière de l'évangéliste au nom de Jésus-Christ, il a reçu sa délivrance. Il dit qu'après sa délivrance, il ne fait plus de cauchemars. Il a même fait un vrai victorieux. Jésus-Christ l'a libéré des ténèbres à la lumière. Il rend toute la gloire à Dieu et vous dit, quelle que soit votre situation, téléspectateur, courez à Dieu. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Children of God, let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Where you're from and share with us your wonderful testimony. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Good morning, children of God. My name is Linda Passini. My name is Linda Passini from South Africa. I'm here to testify the goodness of the Lord in my life, the glory of God. I lost my job while I was in South Africa. 10 years ago, my life was a mess. It was devastating to lose a job as a mother at home. I decided to go and look for a job all over, giving in my CVs, but to no avail. But one day, while I was watching Emmanuel TV, I heard Pastor Evelyn said there will be an outreach in South Africa, 2022. The theme of the outreach in South Africa was cargo of blessings. Indeed, it was cargo of blessings because I received. I decided to go to Johannesburg Cargo because I'm from Port Elizabeth in South Africa. I, I got an opportunity to be prayed by the evangelist and I received the anointing water and stickers. I went back home to my city whereby I ministered. Remember, children of God, I have been giving my CVs all over, but it was to no avail. But because I received this media of the anointing water, I used it. With no time, I was called. We were five candidates. Four were told I was elected. Four were cut out and I was elected. I went for my interview, and the God of Prophet T.B. Joshua was speaking through me. And I, was... <laughs> While I was doing the interview, the God of Prophet T.B. Joshua was there. Immediately when I went home, I received an appointment letter in my email. I received an email that says, I must start my job on the 16th of September. I was so grateful. I was happy. And I was praising the God of Prophet T.B. Joshua as I'm still praising him today. <laughs> Children of God, remember, the outreach was cargo of blessings. Lessons came left, right, from left, right, from left, right. I bought the first car on November 2022, Mahindra XUV300. 
Again, on March, I bought another one. The 2023 same car, which is the, what's the name? XUV 300 Mahindra. Glory be to God. Shall we put it once again for Jesus Christ? That clap is not enough. Let us put it once again for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Because, remember, children of God, I was a partner. There was a teaching prophet T.B. Joshua always said, the little you give, I was not working for 10 years, but I gave. I became a partner and I gave. I was faithful because God is faithful and God showed his mercy. I thank the God of prophet T.B. Joshua for his mercy. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. So we can see some document on the board. Can you explain to us what the document is? The first document is the appointment letter I received so that I can start working on the 16th of September. This is my first car with the red bow. The second one was the one with the yellow. This is the Mahindra XUV 300, 2022 and 2023. Thank you, Jesus. Emmanuel. So for the benefit of our viewers, you mean that you got all those blessings after your visit at the South Africa Outreach? Yes, my sister. After I went for the outreach, I, I was prayed for. I received my anointing water and I used this anointing water. That's when... One of the CVs, that the many CVs I gave, one came back. And this is to show that I became a teacher. I'm a teacher in South Africa. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. So we bless God for what he has done in your life. So for the benefit of our listeners out there, what's your word of encouragement to those outside? The word of our encouragement is that, children of God, whatever the woman of God says with my, we should do, you get blessed. Because I listened to the teaching of the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua. He said, the little that you have, you can be a partner and help somebody else. So being faithful with my giving, God became faithful to me because I was faithful. And the teaching of the men of God encouraged me. Thank you, Jesus. Y acabamos de escuchar el maravilloso testimonio de la señora Linda Pasín que viene de Sudáfrica. Ella viene a testificar su maravilloso progreso después de la reunión de avivamiento que tuvo lugar en Sudáfrica. Nos comenta que diez años atrás ella perdió su empleo y su vida se empezó a complicar. Su vida estaba hecha un desastre. Pero ella se mantuvo fiel a Dios y fiel a su afiliación como socia de Manuel TV, hasta que finalmente, eh, viendo Manuel TV, descubrió que venía esta reunión de avivamiento en Sudáfrica a la que acudió, recibió ese toque ungido de lo alto, la oración, así como ciertos artículos espirituales. En tan solo dos años, ella ha recibido un progreso financiero que le ha permitido eh, adquirir estos dos automóviles, como vemos, ella obtuvo inmediatamente un empleo como profesora eh, su salario es eh, bollante lo suficiente como para llevar un estilo de vida que tan solo Jesús puede sin duda haber hecho este progreso. Aconseja que cualquiera que sea el problema, sé siempre fiel a Dios y en tus épocas de dificultad, sé fiel a Dios y continúa dando de lo poco que tengas da, porque Dios te lo devolverá siempre multiplicado. Damos toda la gloria a Dios. Linda de África del Sur remercia a Dios por su bondad en su vida. Ella dice que hace 10 años que ha perdido su trabajo y ha tenido dificultades para encontrar un otro empleo. Por eso, ella ha tenido dificultades financieras y dificultades para soportar su familia. En mirando Emanuel TV, ella ha aprendido que habrá una rencontre de prier en África del Sur con el pastor Evelyn Joshua y ella ha asistido a su servicio. Ella dice que ha recibido los outils espirituales que ha rentré con ella y ella ha prié con ella. Después de algún tiempo, ella ha recibido un appel lui disant il lui fallait commencer le travail car elle avait été donnée un emploi. Elle dit que le Dieu du prophète, prophète type Joshua l'a prospéré et elle a acheté des voitures. Elle dit que ses bénédictions étaient en abondance car elle était partenaire de Manuel TV. Elle nous a montré sa lettre d'emploi et les voitures qu'elle a pu acheter 
grâce à l'onction ici à la liberté. Et elle encourage à tout d'appliquer les enseignements de la serpente de Dieu, la pasteur Rémi Joshua et celui du prophète Tibi Joshua. Le Satan du monde entier, restez connectés. People of God, praise the Lord. Praise the mighty Jesus. Tell your neighbor, my God is alive. Look at your other neighbor and say, Jesus is alive. Indeed, God is alive. And those testimonies are proof that he never said goodbye. So we still have more testifier in our midst. But before we listen to this testifier, let's watch to see what brought about This testimony we are about to listen to. Observa tu pantalla para ver cómo se produjo el siguiente testimonio para la gloria de Dios. El témoignage continue. Regardez votre écran pour voir comment le miracle s'est produit. My name is Mrs. Blessing Watson. The person standing beside me is my daughter. I came here to thank God for what he has done in the life of my daughter last Sunday. All started a few, few weeks ago when my daughter came back from school. She was complaining about stomach pain. I gave her plaster, more thinking that baby is ordinarily pain. I was asking her, what do you eat? She said that she didn't eat any other thing apart from food. She carried from house. And the, that food itself, she didn't eat it because of the pain. So I decided to, go, to visit a doctor. So doctor learned some tests on her. I came up with big English. This English that I cannot even pronounce. They said, they said sick. I can't even pronounce the English. Ma, you mean mesentric lymphadenitis? That is what they call it. <laughs> so I was scared. I was asking doctor, what is the meaning of this, your big English? Because I don't understand. Doctor said that uh, uh, it's a stomach infection caused because due to the big English he speak there. <laughs> so... I said, no, this is not, not, this is not, this thing is not an ordinary something that I will go to church because people of God, can you imagine small girl like this, 10 years old, facing that kind of challenge? I said, no, I launched down to the church on Sunday, last Sunday. So we was opportune to place on prayer line and she was prayed by uh, Pastor Mrs. Avery Joshua. Immediately, people of God, I said, instant. My baby stopped complaining about pain. That pain just vanished immediately. <laughs> no, people of God, when she was having this problem, immediately the pain starts. She will feel weak. She will not do any, anything at all at home. She liked to read her books when she came back from school. But immediately, immediately she feels the pain. She can't start, she can't do anything again. She will just lie down complaining. My tummy, my tummy. You can't place her tummy because if you touch it, she will shout because of the pain. The pain was so severe. But people of God, join me. Thank God. Thank you, God of TB Joshua. Since last Sunday, till now, my daughter is free and then she's free indeed. Thank you, Jesus. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? Only God can do this. So, madam, what changes have you noticed after she received her healing? Yes. She can do any, everything at home now. She can read her books. No more, mommy, I'm tired. I can't do this. I'm feeling pain. Now my daughter is free. Thank you, Jesus. 
Shall we put those hands together for Jesus? So we can see some documents on the board. Can you tell us more about those documents? Yes. People of God, this is where doctor was speaking that big English that I don't understand. And this is where, we after, we, because after the healing, we went back to the, hosp to the hospital again to run back the test. So this is the test that uh, we came back with. So to show that my daughter is free, nothing again, she's free indeed. Everything is clear. Thank you, Jesus. Shall we put those hands together again for Jesus Christ? So she just explained on the board that that is the before and the after evidence of what God has done in her life. So Ma, with this wonderful work of God in your life, what is your word of encouragement to people listening to you? Emmanuel. My word of encouragement to the people that is listening to me now is there is nothing God cannot do. And the nobody is too small or big to receive the blessing of God. But, but as, uh, as I, my daughter received the healing today, if I pray that everybody in this house will receive the same. Anything that can you come here, pray that God of TB Joshua will answer you. Amen. Shall we put those hands together for Jesus? So let's listen to your daughter. How are you? I'm fine. Can you tell us your name? My name is Emanuela Watu. I'm 10 years old. I feel pains in my stomach. When I had this pain, I could not do anything. I love to read my book when I come back from school. But when I have this pain, I'll just go and lie down. It also affected the way I ate. Because when I eat, I felt like throwing up. My mom took me to Synagogue Church of All Nations. Mommy, uh, Pastor Mrs. Evelyn Joshua prayed for me. I felt a cold sensation in my stomach. After that, the pain stopped. There is no more pain. I am healed. Thank you, Jesus. Shall we put those hands together for Jesus? This is a proof that no one is too young or too old for miracle. So, now that you have received that healing, can you touch your tummy? Do you still feel any pain? I feel no pain. There is no more pain. I can't touch it. I cannot touch it like this before. If I touch like this, I will start shouting. There will be pain in my stomach. I cannot touch it. Thank you, Jesus. Indeed, our God is good and his goodness endured forever. Madame Blessing remercie Dieu pour ce qu'il a fait dans la vie de sa fille. Elle explique qu'un jour, sa fille est rentrée de l'école avec des plaintes de douleur à l'estomac. Elle dit que cette douleur était aiguë et sa fille ne pouvait rien faire à cause de cela. Elle a amené sa fille à l'hôpital et les médecins ont diagnostiqué sa fille de 10 ans d'une infection de l'estomac. Elle a décidé de venir ici à la Squana avec sa fille et elle a été placée sur la ligne de prière où la pasteur Yves Joshua a prié pour elle. Elle dit qu'immédiatement, sa fille ne s'est plus plainte des douleurs de l'estomac. À présent, elle peut faire les travaux domestiques et du retour à l'hôpital, les médecins n'ont plus trouvé l'infection. Emmanuela confirme les paroles de sa maman en disant que je vais bien maintenant et elle conseille à tout le monde d'avoir foi en Dieu. Escuchamos el testimonio de Blessing de Emanuela. Blessing es la mamá de Emanuela y ella nos comenta de que su hija tenía ataques espirituales muy recurrentes y que además ella padecía de una infección en su estómago. Habían ido a los médicos pero no encontraban una solución para este problema. Ella no podía comer bien y esto le afectaba en su vida diaria. Hasta que llegaron aquí a la Arena de la Libertad, donde la pastora Belín Yosha, como vemos en pantalla, oró por ella y recibió su sanidad en el momento. Ahora ella da toda la gloria a Jesucristo ya que puede hacer todo lo que no podía hacer antes. Tell your neighbors, someone is busy walking my testimony. Turn to your other neighbor and say, someone is busy planning my testimony. Turn to another person, say, someone is busy preserving my testimony. If you believe that, let me see you put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Yes, this is how far we can...
follow you It's love and spirit And in truth Lord, free my spirit To follow you Give me wisdom To know the truth Free my heart To follow you And in truth, Lord, free my spirit to follow you. Give me wisdom to know the truth. So, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Just fall. 
Joshua, Oluwa, Oluwa, you are my help. Oluwa, Oluwa, my help. Good morning, church. Good morning, church. Good morning and win today. Tell your neighbor, good morning and win today. Tell your other neighbor, good morning and win tomorrow. And tell the viewers all over the world, good morning and win forever. Yes, as the woman of God declared this year as the year of a new name. So I want you to make this declaration over your life. Tell your neighbor or tell yourself. Say, I am favored. I am favored. Say, I am blessed. I am, blessed. I am, peace. I am peace. I am joy. I am, I am no longer condemned. No Defeats and failures are things of the past. So my name is victory and success. Say, sickness and disease are things of the past. So my name is good health. Say affliction are things of the past. So my name is good health. If you believe that, put your hands together for the miracle walking God. Yes, we may have our seats in the presence of God. Viewers all over the world, we thank you for joining us. And we greet you, good morning, win today, win tomorrow, and win forever. Yes, people of God, it is time for God's word. So before I go into today's sermon, I want to share a story to demonstrate what this message is all about. So there was one beautiful, beautiful morning, and I switched on the television to watch the game of athletics. Different athletes were on track, getting ready for the prize. The moment arrived as the umpire announced, on your marks, get set. However, before the command to go was uttered, one of the athletes who was the best out of them all couldn't contain his eagerness and he jumped the gun. His impulsive sprint led to an instant disqualification, and he was left in regret. From this story, we can learn that life is a marathon, and for you to be victorious, you must not stop short. And this will lead us to today's message, titled, Don't Stop Short. Tell your neighbor, don't stop short. 
Tell your other neighbor, don't stop short. And tell the viewers all over the world, don't stop short. What a beautiful, a wonderful picture of life. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and to us. There are many promises. Healing, deliverance, prosperity, victory, and all of his blessings. But there is a giant that requires conquering. What is that giant, people of God? That giant is impatience. As Prophet T.B. Joshua would say, that impatience is the inability to recognize the unseen hand of God that governs the affairs of men. And the inability to see beyond our immediate situation. People of God, today, our minds are so much occupied with worldly considerations that we are impatient to recognize the fact that there is an appointed time for everything that happens in this earth. We live in a generation of internet of things, deep learning, machine learning, artificial intelligence, where things have been done quickly, where people want the quickest truth. We live in a world where people want things easy. They want shortcuts to success. Even lying has become a professional business. But I want to tell you, people of God, that the greatest mistakes in life happen as a result of impatience. Impatience comes at a cost, often leading to costly mistakes and missed opportunities. Like what happened to King Saul in the book of 1 Samuel 13, verse 8 to 14. King Saul's failure to wait for Samuel's arrival had consequences for his reign as king. So people of God, many today want to get to a place at their own time, the quickest. Because of impatience, we keep opening doors that God Almighty has not opened. We keep taking what God Almighty has not given us. Because of impatience, we keep opening doors that God Almighty has not opened. But God Almighty has set an appointed time for everything that happens in this world. And impatience can make us to make costly mistakes deviating from his divine plans for our lives. People of God, life is a marathon. It does doesn't happen like that. It is all about choices and how we respond to our situation. There is time for everything. A time to grow. A time to face challenges. A time to overcome obstacles and a time to manifest the victory that God Almighty has promised. How do you run that race? Turn with me to the book of Habakkuk 2, verse 3, which will be our scripture reference for today. Also, the verse 36. Habakkuk is the book after Nahum, Turn with me to the book of Habakkuk 2, verse 3. And it reads thus. For the revelation awaits an appointed time. It speaks of the end and will not prove false. Though it may linger, wait for it. It will certainly come and will not delay. Also turn with me to the book of Hebrews 10 verse 36. Hebrews 10 verse 36. 
And it says, you need to persevere so that when you have done the will of God, you receive what he has promised. This is to show that God Almighty has set the right time for everything that happens in this world. Sometimes we may work very hard and pray fervently without the corresponding reward for our efforts. Like the Bible says in Luke 5, at the seaside, Simon Peter had toyed all day and night and caught nothing. He also has tasted what it means to be frustrated. Ask Simon Peter the book of Luke 5 and he will tell you that man may work very hard but it is the duty of God to determine the time and season of harvest. Faith must be coupled with patience, perseverance and endurance to inherit the blessings, the promises, the will of God. God's blessings demand for patience, for endurance, for perseverance. Many of us have the promises of God for our lives, but we lack the patience, perseverance, endurance to see the promises fulfilled in our lives. Sometimes we allow our situation to overwhelm us. We allow what we are going through to overwhelm us. We allow our situation to overrule us. We give up. Whereas, there's a short distance between us and our breakthrough. Like what happened to Simon Peter in the book of Luke 5, verse 5. He had toyed all day and night, walked all day and night, and caught nothing. He was weary. He was tired. He was fatigued and frustrated. Observing this, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ said to him, put out into the deep waters and let down the net for a catch. But Peter complained, Master, we have toyed all day and night and caught nothing. But if you say so, then I'll let down the net for a catch. Despite being fatigued, Despite being in a, straight, in a state of frustration, despite the sting of business failure, Peter remained strong. Peter remained strong. He resisted the urge to lash out at Jesus in response to what seemed like a demanding request. He recognized the greater part play and he chose self-control and total submission. Despite being in a state of hopelessness, despite being in a state of despair, Peter saw this challenge as an opportunity to deepen his faith in Christ Jesus and honor Christ Jesus. And Peter had allowed the situation to overwhelm him. He would have missed the sweet moment, the incredible moment that was awaiting him. So people of God, unlike Peter, many today stop short when they are faced with disappointment, with discouragement, hardship, hard times, Set back. Tell your neighbor, don't stop short. Tell your other neighbor, don't stop short. Don't stop short when discouragement comes. Don't stop short when hardship comes. Don't stop short when disappointment comes. Don't stop short when failure comes. My mentor, Prophet T.B. Joshua said, and I quote, that the beginner 
is not the owner, but the finisher. People of God, don't stop short because someone is making a way out for you. People of God, don't stop short because God Almighty is listening to your silent prayers. People of God, don't stop short because Jesus is as close to you as he was to Simon Peter. People of God, don't stop short because God's time is the best. People of God, don't stop short because the Bible says in Psalm that even though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you shall fear no evil for he is with you. So don't stop short. Tell your neighbor, don't stop short. The Bible says in Joshua 6 verse 1 to 27 that the Israelites obeyed the divine instructions from God to march around the city of Jericho seven times. And on the seventh march, the priest sounded the trumpet blast. The army shouted and the walls of Jericho crumbled. And the Israelites had given up. After marching around the city, one, two, three, four, five, six times, the walls of Jericho would not have crumbled. So people of God, wait patiently for God's time. God's time is the best. I am not saying you should sleep all day and night and whenever you wake up, you will eat a mountain full of food and you tell yourself and your neighbor, Oh, God's time is the best. I'm waiting patiently upon the Lord. I am not saying you should remain idle. I am not saying you should just sit down and play and tell yourself and your neighbor, you can even sing, and tell your neighbor, Oh, God's time is the best. I am waiting upon the Lord. He will surely do it. No. You must combine hard work with total confidence in God Almighty for the future. You must see every minute, every second, every hour, every day as important. Remember, your tools are patience, perseverance, endurance, and joy. You need joy to persevere. You need joy to be patient. You need joy to endure in the face of life storms. You need joy to know that when God Almighty is involved in your matter, it does not matter who else is involved. You need joy to know that God's time is the best. And God Almighty has set an appointed time for everything that happens in this world. As the Bible says, that joy is our conquering power. Joy is our conquering power. Tell your neighbor, joy is our conquering power. So people of God, in conclusion, wait upon the Lord. God's time is the best. Allow God Almighty to give answers to your questions in his time and not yours. In times of waiting, Satan wants us to doubt that God's promises will ever be fulfilled in our lives. Times of waiting are designed to be times when our faith is stretched and our intimacy with God is enhanced. In such times, the best remedy against anxiety is to cast your burdens upon the Lord. Cast your burdens upon the Lord, allowing his divine will 
to calm your spirit. As prophet T.B. Joshua would say, that it honors God to believe him, even while every sense contradicts him. May God Almighty bless his word in the midst of our hearts, in Jesus' mighty name. So I'll leave with this powerful song, song which says that there is a race that I must run. There are victories to be won. Give me power every hour to be true. There is a race. There is a race that I must run. Every hour, Every hour will, be true. will be true. Sing the resurrection. There I must run. There I'll be true. Give me power. Every hour, one more time. Sing the resurrection. Somebody put your hands together for Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. Let's go. One, one. 
If you know that God Almighty has done good things for you, let me hear you shout hallelujah. I want to hear child of grace shout hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah in the highest heaven. I greet you all in the name of the Lord. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. A wonderful morning to you today. The word of God in the book of Psalm 50 verse 6 says, Let everything that has bread praise the Lord. And because you have the bread of life in you this morning, let me hear you shout, Hosanna. I want to hear you shout, Hosanna. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Father, Lord, we bless your holy name. Jesus Christ, we adore you. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Come and dwell in our midst. Father, Lord, we thank you as we draw closer to you. We draw nearer to you. To seek your comfort today as ever. Father, we ask you to surrender us with your love. Surrender us with your peace. With your grace. There is no part of our life that you are not aware of. No part of our life that is unreachable for you. We are enveloped with your love. Lord God, we ask you to take our pains. Take our discomfort. And give us the enablement. Fortify us to live a life that is pleasing to you. A life that is productive for your glory. In the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Father God, you say to us in your word that you will increase our greatness. And you will comfort us in all signs. Bring your word to pass today in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you bring your word to pass in our lives today in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Please do have your seat. Amen. Amen. Our God is good. I was also worshipping in the house. I was worshipping. Through Emmanuel TV. And I experienced the glory of God moving around us. Within us. You know I said something to you today. When God chooses to move in his sovereignty, human hand cannot be employed to do anything. Human hand cannot be employed to do the work of God. When he chooses to move in his glory alone, human hand cannot be employed to do anything. And that is what you experience here every time. Starting from the entrance of this gate, of this church, the glory of God at work. moves you do nothing you just worship worship in spirit and in truth resting his arm in him and people will be healed people will be saved people will be delivered they will be free as the power of God touches them as he wills and so I asked you this morning what is your problem what is that situation with you let someone say, my God is able. My God is able. He alone can do it. My God alone can do it. So I pray for you all today. To you whom the glory of God has shown through your worship this morning. Receive a new life in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive a new life in the name of Jesus. Receive a new direction in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Amen. Let's put our hands together and clap for the Lord. It is well. It is well. It is well in the name of Jesus. It is well with my soul today. It is well with my soul. It is well, it is well, it is well in the name of Jesus. 
La pasteur Emily a pris pour cette femme qui a une blessure au niveau de son cheville. Regardez votre écran, constatez la réaction instantanée. L'Esprit de Dieu a le fort. En effet, lorsque l'Esprit de Dieu est prison, il a la liberté. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My leg is free now. Thank you. Problem of fracture of the ankle. Due to this problem, she hasn't been unable to work properly. But the woman of God is used as an instrument to bring healing and restoration to her life. Whatever dead bones in her body has been Thank commanded. you, Jesus. I can walk. Thank you, Jesus. The woman has been declared free to the glory of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I can walk. Thank you, Jesus. Estamos viendo la gloria de Dios, el poder de Dios en acción. Este hombre con hernia empieza a caminar ahora libre en el nombre de Jesús y la pastora Belén Joshua da ese toque ungido en el nombre de Jesús. The Bible says. Heal me and I will be healed. Save me and I will be saved. Wherever you are, you also can be a partaker of that blessing. Open the doors of your heart. Libre y sano en el nombre de Jesús. Merci Jésus. La servant de Dieu prie pour cette femme qui a le ventre enflé depuis deux ans. Tu as des fibromes. Constatez la réaction instantanée. L'Esprit de Dieu utilise les facultés de la servante de Dieu, la pasteur Evelyn Joshua, pour restaurer et pour déraciner tout ce que l'ennemi a planté dans la vie de cette femme. Vemos la réaction de cette femme qui a caído bajo la influencia del Espíritu Santo. Mediante ce toque ungido, la pasteur Evelyn Joshua impone manos ungidas en el nombre de Jésus-Christ. We are all about the world. If you are just joining us, you're witnessing God's power right here. The scorn prayer line. Thank you, Jesus. God Almighty. Thank you, Jesus. Restoring the test. Whatever Satan might have used to help them bound in bondage is being loosed at the command of that name, Jesus. So wherever you are, distance is not a barrier to the move of God. Jesus Christ is as close to you just as he was. So the woman with the issue of blood is as close to you as it was to blind but mute. All you need to do is to reach out by faith and claim all of God's blessings for your life. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Y hay poder en el nombre de Jesús. Vemos a la pastora Belén Joshua ministrar sanidad en la vida de este joven con un problema de hernia desde hace dos años. El hombre venido de Neta y Sio, Nigeria sufre de hernia desde hace dos años. La puissance de Dios está en la obra. Regardez votre écran. Les acteurs del mundo entero, o que vous soyez.
para traer sanidad al pueblo de Dios. de Dieu, pasteur Evelyn Joshua, prie pour la maman de l'enfant souffrant dernier depuis sa naissance. L'enfant est âgé de huit mois. La puissance de Dieu continue de déraciner tout ce qui n'appartient pas de Dieu à Dieu dans la vie de cette femme. Whatever that must have been the root cause of her pain is being removed by the power of God in the life of that woman. God is exposing everything that is not of him in her life. Vemos la reacción de la mamá de este bebé. Al recibir ese toque ungido, hay liberación y sanidad en el nombre de Jesús. El poder de Dios está presente, la unción está en la casa. Espectadores, toca tu pantalla y recibe hoy tu propia ministración. You can see the healing power of God touching that woman right now. As the root cause of our problem is being flushed out in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The woman has been declared free to the glory of God. Gloria a Dios por estos sanidades, estos milagros de sanidad instantáneos que están teniendo lugar aquí en la línea de oración. La pastora Belén Yosa está ministrando ese toque ungido en el nombre de Jesucristo y en el poder del Espíritu Santo. La sierva de Dieu, pasteur Yvonne Joshua, prie por des femmes enceintes avec des complications au niveau de leur grossesse. Ils sont venus ici à la recherche d'un accouchement en toute sécurité. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I am Thank you, Jesus. Vemos una a una. Thank you, Jesus. Las personas. La instantánea. La unción está en la casa. No hay barrera. No hay distancia para el poder de Dios. Thank you, Jesus. I am free. Thank you, Jesus. La pastora Evelyn Joshua administra una oración de liberación, un toque ungido con el nuevo agua de unción a la vida de este hombre con un problema de adicción al alcohol. Y vemos como Dios está soltando amarres ahora y ataduras. The healing power of Jesus Christ has been made manifest in the lives of the people as they receive healing in the name of Jesus. All powers in heaven and on earth has been invested in that name Jesus Christ. Y la pastora Melinjosa administra sanidad en la vida de este joven que camina libre. Bienvenido la República de Bénin. À présent, elle continue de prier pour des femmes enceintes. Elle leur demande de placer la main sur leur tête. La puissance de Dieu est à l'œuvre ici à l'arène de la liberté, lieu où tout joug est brisé. Alors, les acteurs du monde entier, rappelez-vous que la distance n'est pas une barrière. Connectez-vous à nous et recevez au nom de Jésus. There's a section of the women who have come here to seek the face of God for a safe delivery over their lives and the lives of their born child. And God is bringing total restoration So their lives in Jesus name. La pastora Melin Joshua impone manos ungidas en la vida de estas mujeres que vienen en busca de un parto seguro. Jesucristo está restaurando 
la vida de estas mujeres ahora, espectadores, hay poder en el nombre de Jesús. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So I went to the hospital and the doctor said uh, his knee, uh, my knee shifted, so I could not walk with the leg ever since. So my ankle shifted. So when woman of God came to me this morning and he touched me. I, you mean the woman of God, Pastor Evelyn Joshua? Yes, I felt cold sensation in me. And now I can move the leg before I can twist it. I was sleepy when I came this morning. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Do you feel any pain? No pain, no pain. I was sleeping when I came this morning. Now I can walk freely. I can twist the leg. Thank you, Jesus. I could not do this before. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Hemos visto a esa mujer caminar libre, ese milagro instantáneo que tan solo Jesucristo puede traer a escena. La pastora Benillosa. poder del nombre de Jesucristo y el poder del Espíritu Santo. To prosper. I close everything. 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 I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you. Tipe Joshua. Tipe Joshua. Ah. Ah. I close everything. If she go look for a job, she can't get a job. I close everything. For the judgment. They will return her because I put something I don't want nobody to like her. Nobody to like her. If it, she was get married, ah, they chase her out of the house. They take the estate of the husband. I want her to do up and down. Up and down. I'm not going to tell you who I am. Ah. Ah, 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 true dream. Continuamos viendo el poder de Dios en acción. La pastora Benignosa continúa ministrando ese toque sanador en el nombre de Jesucristo. La pastora Benignosa prie por esta femme. Ella expulsa los malos espíritus, la causa profunda du problème de cette femme. Regardez votre écran. L'esprit a été exposé. L'esprit est expulsé par la puissance au nom de Jésus. Espectadores, estamos viendo la línea de oración. Personas de todas partes que han venido con diferentes problemas en busca de ese... personas. Así que toca tu pantalla y recibe hoy tu propia porción. La pastora Belenyosa impone manos surgidas en la vida Thank de estas you, personas. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. Now changes in the lives of the people. The people have come with different sicknesses and diseases to pour their problems at the feet of Jesus and God Almighty is meeting them at the point of their need. La pasteur Rabbi Joshua vient juste d'administrer la nouvelle eau d'onction à l'homme souffrant d'air nu depuis un an. Il est âgé de 54 ans. La puissance de Dieu utilise les facultés de la servante de Dieu pour déraciner et pour briser toute chaîne que l'ennemi a pu utiliser pour connecter cet homme à lui. As the prayer progresses, testimonies are restored, and mountains are moved in the powerful name of Jesus Christ. Here at the Arena of Liberty, truly the age of miracle has not passed. The miracle worker is still alive, and his name is Jesus. And he's doing wonderfully and abundantly in the life of his people. 
wherever you are, viewers all over the world, distance is never a barrier. Just press in to touch Jesus and receive your miracle. God is using them as an instrument to bring an end to whatever problem and challenges they must have been facing in their lives in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. 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 God is still the healer and he has never changed. He is still God that can heal Thank you, and set you free. Right now, all you need to do is to believe and open the doors of your heart to receive the healing and the power of God. Espectadores de todo el mundo, continuamos en este tiempo de ministración. Observa a los evangelistas ministrar bajo la unción del Espíritu Santo y a la mujer de Dios. Observa cómo ella ora por este niño que vino con un problema y cómo este hombre está recibiendo sus... personas con diferentes problemas 
Esta mujer con epilepsia es a causa raíz. De su Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, you are wonderful. You are a miracle working God. You are a miracle working God. Thank you, Jesus. Father Almighty, what he cannot do, he has started doing it now. Yeah? Oh Lord, he cannot raise his hand up. He cannot walk. I am the one backing him, sis. Oh Jesus, I thank you. Now, his name is Divine Steve Kano. Divine Steve Kano. Six years. of healing and restoration is being brought to pass. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My daughter is healed. Estamos viendo las personas recibiendo su sanidad y su liberación en esta línea de oración de la Escoan. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I am free. Y esta mujer que vino con este problema de epilepsia ha sido libre para la gloria de Dios. Espectadores. Man of God and the evangelists are still in the midst of the people. That is the prayer line section. Right now, wherever you are, just like blind bad me, ask God Almighty to position you where you are attracted. Wherever you are in the auditorium, begin to use your faith to put a demand on the anointing. Receive your own miracle in Jesus' name. Espectador observa a la mujer de Dios ministrando en esta sección de heridas abiertas. Vemos como este hombre con cáncer está recibiendo esa sanidad en el nombre de Jesús. ici dans l'arène de la liberté.
respirar, estas personas le dan gracias Thank a Dios. Jesus, I'm free. Thank you, Jesus, I'm free. Thank you, Jesus, I'm free. Por la sanidad que están recibiendo, espectador. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, I'm here.
at the Arena of Liberty, the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Watch how God Almighty is using the faculties of the man of God to minister divine healing to the life of that man. Viewers, wherever you are, you too can be healed, you too can be delivered, you too can be blessed, you too can be saved. Servant de Dieu, la pasteur Rémi Joshua admise la prière au nom de Jésus-Christ et les spectateurs. Vous voyez, elle prie pour cet homme qui a fait un AVC partiel. Regardez le Saint-Esprit à l'œuvre téléspectateur. Spectateurs de tout le monde, continuons en ce temps de ministration et de sanité. Observez la pasteur Evelyn Joshua ministrer dans la vie de ce homme avec un problème que lo trajo aquí a la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones, así como todas las personas que están aquí recibiendo para la gloria de Dios. Ministration of prayer and deliverance has commenced right here at the synagogue church of all nations. Viewers all over the world, this is the moment that you have been waiting for. The hour has come for you to receive from God's throne of grace. This is the time for you to receive your own divine healing, your own divine deliverance. Espectador, donde quiera que estés, conéctate en fe, abre las puertas de tu corazón y prepárate para recibir lo que Jesucristo ha preparado para ti. Estamos en este tiempo de ministración. Recuerda que la distancia no es una barrera. Toca tu pantalla y recibe en el nombre de Jesús. Viewers all over the world, if you are just joining us, this is the synagogue church of all nations, the arena of liberty. We are healing, deliverance, and all of God's blessings are just like breathing. As you continue to watch, remember that beyond your trouble is solution. Beyond your sickness is healing. Beyond that bondage is freedom. As testimonies are being restored, know that you are not exempted from all that is happening. Continue to connect by faith and your own Thank miracle you, Thank you, will not Jesus. pass Thank you by Jesus. in Jesus' name. Les spectateurs, comme vous voyez ici, dans la présence de Dieu, il n'y a point de cachette pour les ténèbres. Toute maladie, toute affliction sont exposées et expulsées au nom de Jésus-Christ. Les spectateurs, touchez l'écran de votre téléviseur, également recevez votre délivrance et toutes les bénédictions que Dieu a en réserve pour vous. We are witnessing the real and authentic power in the name Jesus Christ. That is the name above all names. Never a sickness, it cannot heal. Never a disease he cannot cure. Viewers all over the world, with faith in your heart, begin to call that name Jesus to the scene. Begin to call that name Jesus in your health. Begin to call that name Jesus Christ in your finances. Call that name Jesus Christ in your life and he will bring himself on the scene. Espectador, empieza a agradecerle a Jesucristo, dale gracias a Jesucristo por tu sanidad, por tus finanzas, por tu restauración y empieza a ver cómo esas bendiciones se están presentes en tu vida en el nombre de Jesús. Remember, within the name Jesus Christ lies the power to heal, to save and to deliver. We all over the world, wherever you are, begin to call upon the name Jesus and watch his power at work in your life. She will die. She will not make it. Why? 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 I said why? I am a spirit. I've caused her many pains. Ooh! Oh! Sha! I caused her many pains. I caused her pain. Arthritis. Diabetes. I black Panzo. I want to kill her. Body. Damn. Yeah. Out. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. You are free in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Stand up, you are free. Déclaré libre au nom de Jésus-Christ. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Esta mujer ha sido declarada libre para la gloria de Dios. Remember that what you receive from Jesus Christ will come as a result of you actively reaching out and claiming God's promises. The woman of God at the evangelist and now in the... Oh, of I don't want you to know herself. No, no, no. I'm frustrated. She's right. She's right. She can't be. Oh, they, gave her, they gave it to me. Oh, they gave it to me. She was given to me. Oh, oh, oh. I delay everything, everything. I delay anything, anything that she must get. I delay it. I delay. Oh. You and Solova, the world, the evil spirit in the life of this woman begins to react violently. To manifest. The evil spirit continues to throw her from side to side, and now she is down. Oh, Holy Spirit, viewers all over the world, continue to meditate in your heart. Do not leave your heart empty. Continue to meditate and ask the Holy Spirit to take more of you and give you more of him. Les spectateurs, alors que vous êtes connectés, continuez à réclamer toutes les promesses de Dieu sur votre vie, réclamer la bénédiction de Dieu sur votre vie, la guérison et la délivrance. Restoration power of God walking through the woman of God and the evangelist is setting the people free from bondages from oppressions, from afflictions and captivity. Just like the scripture says in the book of Psalm 107 verse 20, that he sent forth his word and healed them, snatching them from the door of death. Viewers, as you continue to watch, continue to lay your burdens at the feet of Jesus and get ready to receive from him in Jesus' name. The Bible says we are to battle the spiritual entities that cause crisis and tension in our business, in our homes, in our marriages, in our finances and our spiritual lives. As the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 says, For our struggles is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities and against the power of the dark world. So viewers all over the world, stand in that authority in the name Jesus and watch him manifest himself in your life. Espectador, observa tu pantalla y ve cómo la mujer de Dios y los evangelistas están ministrando. Recuerda que tú también puedes poner una demanda en la unción y recibir por la autoridad de Jesucristo tu sanidad, tu liberación y tu restauración en el nombre de Jesús. We have been commanded to ask believing that we shall receive all that we seek in Christ Jesus. Remember that it is God's will for you to be physically healed and spiritually saved. The power of God is present to heal, present to bless, present to deliver. The atmosphere is charged with the mighty power of God. Viewers continue to press in by faith to receive from Jesus. I spoiled everything! I spoiled everything! What? I spoiled everything! I gave her sickness. Five brought. <laughs> In her marriage, no peace. No love. Who are you? Who are you? Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Stop. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Ah! Woo! <sighs> Fight! 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 
God's salvation plan is unlimited to all that call on him. For in him there is everything you need. Healing, deliverance, blessings, and breakthrough. Therefore, viewers all over the world, wherever you are, one thing is certain. As you connect with us, get ready for that divine encounter with the God of Prophet T.B. Joshua. <laughs> Yeah, at the Synagogue Church of All Nations, lives are being changed. Situations are being turned around. Stories are being rewritten by the mighty hand of God. The authentic power of God is busy healing all that needs to be healed in the lives of the people, delivering all that needs to be delivered. Viewers, for you to receive all that you are witnessing right now, by faith, press in to touch Jesus. By faith, press in to receive from him. La pasteur Reine Joshua donnait l'eau du matin, l'eau d'onction au nom de Jésus-Christ à cette femme qui a l'addiction à manger de la terre, remplie de fourmis. Également, elle souffre d'un ulcère. Et si c'est ovarien, au gars téléspectateur reçoit sa délivrance. Le spectateur observe la ministration, la libération que está recibiendo esta mujer qui vino con un problème de addiction à comer tierra. Elle está recibiendo su libération para la gloria de Dios. Recuerda que no hay distancia para el mover del Espíritu Santo de Dios, que tú también puedes ser parte de Toca tu pantalla en el nombre de Jesús. Faith acts now. Faith believes now. Faith receives now. Faith is expecting Jesus Christ to do what he has promised to do. So viewers all over the world, with faith in your heart, continue to meditate and call upon the son of David to have mercy on you. Espectador, observa cómo esta mujer está expulsando sustancias venenosas de su sistema, como Dios está haciendo una limpieza en todo su sistema para la gloria de Dios. Au nom de Jésus-Christ, voyez cette femme expulser toutes les substances toxiques que Satan a déposé dans son corps, les substances qu'il a causé l'addiction à manger de la terre, sont expulsées au nom de Jésus. Jesus Christ remains the healer, the deliverer, and redeemer. He never said goodbye to healing. He never said goodbye to deliverance. He never said goodbye to restoration. His promises remain accessible to those who believe in him. Viewers, as you watch God's power in action, continue to fill your hearts with the words of faith. Continue to fill your heart with these promises of Jesus. As you watch the power of God in action, Trust him to receive in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I am here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. La servante de Dieu, la pasteur Rémi Joshua et les évangélistes imposent les mains au nom de Jésus-Christ. Un simple toucher suffit pour briser toutes les chaînes démoniaques, pour ouvrir toutes les portes que Satan a fermées. Un simple toucher suffit pour transformer la vie des personnes de ténèbres à la lumière, à la gloire de notre Seigneur et Sauveur Jésus-Christ. The word of God says that Satan's power is powerless in the face of God's armor. So viewers all over the world, as the woman of God and the evangelists are rendering Satan powerless, in the lives of the people who have come from all over the world to the synagogue to... Thank 
Señor, mientras observas el poder de Dios en acción, prepárate para recibir tu propia porción. Personas han venido de todas partes del mundo aquí a la arena de la libertad a encontrarse con su liberación y tú también puedes recibirla allí donde estás en el nombre de Jesús. Viewers, continue to press into this atmosphere of healing. Continue to press into this atmosphere of deliverance. Continue to press into this atmosphere of restoration. As you watch God's power in action, trust Him to receive your own portion of blessings today in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oui, en effet, téléspectateurs, au nom de Jésus-Christ, tout genou fléchira et toute langue confessera que Jésus-Christ est Seigneur. Voyez ici, au nom de Jésus-Christ, tous les démons se soumettent à la puissance de notre Seigneur et Sauveur Jésus-Christ. Et par au nom de Jésus-Christ, toute personne reçoit le salut, la restauration et la délivrance au nom de Jésus. Viewers, that divine healing, deliverance, and all of God's blessings that you seek has already been paid for on the cross of Calvary. All you need to do is to possess the promises of Jesus and receive from him in Jesus' name. Espectador, todas esas bendiciones, sanidad y bendiciones que estás viendo ya fueron pagadas por Jesucristo en la cruz del Calvario. Lo único que necesitas es tener fe y confiar en que recibirás esas promesas de Dios para tu vida. Jesus Christ is on his way to meet you at the point of your needs today. He is on his way with your perfect restoration of your body, soul, and spirit, in Jesus' name. Divine faith, when it is expressed in prayer, is a force that has God behind it for its accomplishment. So viewers all over the world, use that divine faith to put a demand on the anointing of God and trust him for your healing, trust him for your deliverance, and trust him for your blessings, in Jesus' name. Notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ a payé le prix. Notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ a payé le prix sur la croix du calvaire pour notre délivrance, pour notre salut, notre rédemption. Ce que vous avez à faire, téléspectateurs, c'est de croire. Demandez et recevez. Ouvrez votre cœur par la foi et recevez notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ et toutes ses bénédictions, sa guérison, sa délivrance et sa lumière. As you watch God's power in action, Continue to ask Jesus to bring strength into your weaknesses. Continue to ask him to bring peace into your worries. Continue to ask him to bring healing into your wounds. Let all your worries be on God Almighty because he cares for you and he will never leave you without healing you and delivering you. By faith, continue to touch your screen and receive in Jesus' name. Espectador, mientras continúas viendo el poder de Dios obrando en la vida de todas las personas que están aquí congregadas y unidas en la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones, pídele al Espíritu Santo que te fortalezca en tu debilidad y que te dé paz en tu corazón en medio de esa tribulación. Confía que el poder de Dios puede hacerlo así como lo está haciendo por muchos aquí en el nombre de Jesús. La pasteur René Joshua prie pour ces femmes qui souffrent d'hypertension. Elle a des cystes au niveau d'estomac et souffre également de cataractes. Elle vient de l'Afrique du Sud. Elle reçoit sa délivrance, les spectateurs. Alors qu'elle reçoit sa délivrance, vous aussi recevez par la foi au nom de Jésus-Christ. Viewers all over the world, if you are just joining us, we are here live at the Arena of Liberty as the woman of God and the evangelist are moving in the congregation. Laying hands on the people, the Holy Spirit is exposing every shades of darkness in the lives of the people. Demons cry out and manifest violently as the lightning of God's power strike them. Viewers all over the world, open up your heart with faith. Continue to meditate. Connect with us and touch your screen. And God Almighty will meet you at the point of your needs in Jesus' name.
espectador, observa tu pantalla, ve cómo esta mujer Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. recibió su sanidad y como esta otra está también recibiendo su sanidad de todo problema en su cuerpo para la gloria de Dios. Recuerda que Jesucristo es el mismo ayer, hoy y siempre. Viewers, if you have a mountain of pain before you, or you are lost in a cold valley of shadowy doubts, know that God's healing hand is there to mend your broken heart. Continue to trust in him and put all your faith in him, for he will always see you through in Jesus' name. Across the auditorium, evil spirits continue to be exposed and disgraced as the demons causing sicknesses, disappointments, failures and frustrations in the lives of the people are being forced to bow down to that mighty name of Jesus Christ. Viewers all over the world, continue to call on that name Jesus to your situation. Continue to call on that name Jesus to the scene. Continue to call on that name Jesus and he will meet you at the points of your needs in Jesus' name. When God Almighty steps into our case, he brings a permanent solution to it. Viewers watch and see how the people are receiving a permanent solution to their situations. The sick are receiving health to their bodies. The oppressed are receiving freedom. And the brokenhearted are being made whole again in Christ Jesus. So as you watch God's power in action, continue to trust him for your own healing. Continue to trust him for your own deliverance. Viewers, continue to trust God Almighty and receive from him in Jesus' name. Espectador, continúa creyendo en Jesucristo para recibir tu sanidad, creyendo en Jesucristo para recibir tu liberación. Observa cómo el poder de Dios está alcanzando a todas las personas aquí, está expulsando toda causa raíz de sus problemas y están siendo libres y sanos para la gloria de Dios. God can live only in a free spirit. A free spirit is where faith lives. A free spirit is where joy lives. A free spirit is where God lives. And wherever God is, healing, deliverance, and all of God's blessings are bound. Téléspectateurs du monde entier, en cette année d'un nouveau nom, alors que vous êtes connectés à nous par la foi, réclamez votre nouveau nom au nom de Jésus-Christ. Si vous portez le nom de maladie, réclamez votre nom de bonne santé au nom de Jésus-Christ. Si vous portez le nom de ténèbres, réclamez votre nom de lumière au nom de Jésus-Christ. Quand la servante de Dieu, la pasteur M. Joshua, a déclaré prophétiquement que cette année, c'est l'année d'un nouveau nom à la gloire de notre Seigneur et Sauveur Jésus-Christ. Viewers, it is when we put our problems in God's hands, he puts his peace in our hearts. As you continue to watch, know that Jesus Christ is near and he is ready to heal, to bless, to save and to deliver. So as you watch God's power in action, open up your heart to him and receive all of his blessings in Jesus' name. Espectador, recuerda que si pones tus problemas en las manos de Dios, Él pondrá su paz en tu corazón, así que permanece conectado. You, Jesus, Continu continúa confiando en Jesucristo para tu sanidad, tu liberación y tu restauración.
there is a name above every other name. That name is Jesus. And at the mention of that name Jesus, every name must bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. When the power of God is present, healing is like breathing. As air is available for breathing, so also healing, deliverance, and all of God's blessings are available. Where the power of God is present, to know God's presence is to know God's power. Praise the Lord. Yes, a moment ago, we witnessed this lady who came with the problem of osteoarthritis. Now, we witnessed how the woman of God prayed for her. Let us listen to her. So, madam, you are welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. Please tell us your name and the problem that brought you here today. My name is uh, Alice Muzeke, coming from uh, South Africa, but originally from Congo. So I have a very bad back pain. I couldn't stand like for long. But after the woman of God pray for me, I feel much, much better. Praise the Lord. I'm free. My family is free. Thank you, Jesus. So for the benefit of those listening to you, can you demonstrate to us now, after the man of God prayed for you, how do you feel? Just demonstrate. I feel much better. I can even, you know, work nicely on my heels, né? and even like squash. And uh, yeah, I feel really much better. I praise the Lord. Once again, let us put our hands together for Jesus. Viewers all over the world, that is the woman that came with the problem of osteoarthritis for 18 years. And now she is free. After the touch from the woman of God, Pastor Evelyn Joshua, viewers all over the world, you too can be a partaker of this divine anointing. You too can be a partaker of this divine blessings. All you have to do is open up your heart and trust Jesus, for he will meet you at the point of your needs. In Jesus' name. Nous voulons entendre l'extraordinaire témoignage de cette femme, une Congolaise qui réside en Afrique du Sud. Elle dit que voilà qu'elle souffre auparavant, elle souffre du stéoartrite, donc ceci a affecté sa vie. Mais elle raconte qu'après la servante de Dieu, la pasteur Anne Joshua a prié pour elle. Sa vie a changé, elle n'a plus de douleur. Elle maintenant marche majestueusement à la gloire de notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ. Espectadores, escuchamos el maravilloso testimonio de esta mujer que tenía un problema de osteoartritis y después de 18 años ella recibió oración de la pastora Evelyn Joshua y ahora puede caminar, puede hacer lo que antes no podía. Le damos toda la gloria a Dios por esta sanidad. God's power is at work, turning impossibilities into possibilities bringing light into every shade of darkness in the lives of the people, bringing calmness into every storm, bringing peace into every worry. Viewers, as you are connecting with us, believe that when you come into the presence of God, you have all that you need in Christ Jesus, for the promises of God is at your disposal in response to your faith. Ministration of Healing. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? So what? Who are you? Have you done A marriage? A career? Get married. So what? Can't get married. Who is the cause? Who is the cause? <laughs> so who are you in this body? Husband. husband. So what? Husband. By the husband. husband. How do you operate in her? <laughs> How do you operate in her? If I love. So what have you done to her? Destroy everything. Everything. Destroy. <laughs> <laughs> What else? Her destiny. She can't move forward. So how many of you are in this body? Oh. How many of you? I don't. From the father's house. Number two? From mother's house. Number three? Spiritual husband. Which number four? Thank you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Hey. In the name of Jesus. 
Thank you, Lord. Hey, fire in the name of Jesus. Thank God. Put the hands down. Fire in the name of Jesus. All over your body. Fire your eyes. Your chest. Fire in the name of Jesus. Your legs. Fire in the name of Jesus. Do you know where you are? You are powerless like your eyes. Fire in the name of Jesus. All over your body. Every part of your body. Fire in the name of Jesus. Yes. Fire. You can't resist it. Your legs. Fire in the name of Jesus. Your eyes. Thank you, Lord. She's my wife. The what? She is my wife. You can't take her away. Who are you? Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. Hold your body. Fire in the name of Jesus. Hold your body. Fire. Thank you, Lord. Now go. Remove it. The one on the leg. Remove it, the one on the leg. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. Remove everything. Remove everything. The one in the high. So yeah, remove it. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. You are going. Now, go. Fire in the name of Jesus. Remove everything. Fire in the name of Jesus. The one in the stomach. Remove it. Ah! Fire in the name of Jesus. That stomach. Fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now you are going. Out. Why is the name of Jesus Christ? of Jesus. Mm. You can't hide. You go. Fire in the name of Jesus. Remove everything and leave this body. Fire in the name of Jesus. Remove everything. Fire in the name of Jesus. Remove the cow. Remove it. Why the head? Remove it. Fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now go. Else. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, esta mujer ha sido declarada libre para la gloria de Dios. Merci Jésus-Christ d'avoir délivré cette femme. Spirit of darkness. Stagnation. No, it's not falling. How many of you are inside this body? How many of you are inside this body speak in the name of Jesus? I'm the spirit from the father's house. The spirit of the father's side. What have you done for you? I've come to destroy. A career? What have you done to a career? A marriage? How did you enter? How did you enter? I entered her when she was small. Father, the name of Jesus. Father, the name Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire all over your body. Fire your head. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire all over your body. Now go. Out. Out in the name of Jesus. 
Out. Out. Out in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Eyes up, you are free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Declare libre au nom de Jésus-Christ. Declarada libre para la gloria de Dios. Viewers all over the world. As you watch God's power in action, put your hope in God Almighty, who richly provides us with everything we desire. Believe that God Almighty will do the impossible in your life today. Continue to exercise the necessary faith in God. For when worries end, our faith sets in. L'administration de la prière pour la guérison et pour la délivrance continue ici à l'arène de la liberté. Dieu Tout-Puissant continue d'utiliser les facultés de la servante de Dieu, la pasteur Yves Joshua et celui des évangélistes pour briser toute chaîne que l'ennemi a utilisée pour connecter ses enfants à lui. God Almighty is still performing his works of healing in the lives of the people. A while ago, as the evangelist was moving among the crowd, ministering prayers of healing to the lives of the people, God Almighty used his faculties to bring healing to this woman. Let us listen to her. Madam, you're very welcome. How are you doing? Can you tell us your name? My name is Stella Gabriel. I want to testify the goodness of God upon my life. When I'm doing exercise, then I get injury in my leg. When I went to hospital, doctor said my, my, my knee is chipped. Then I went to traditional healer. They didn't do anything. Then when I come here, the evangelist play for me now. I'm getting here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I can walk now. You can see. So we can see you with the knee brace. How do you get? To support my knee. But now I'm, I'm here. Now I'm here. I can walk freely now. Before I can't do this, you, but I'm doing it now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm here. I'm here. Thank you, Jesus. So we put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Nous allons entendre le témoignage de guérison de cette femme qui avait des problèmes de genoux venue ici à la rue de la liberté. Elle a reçu la prière et maintenant elle peut bien marcher. Tout ce qu'elle ne pouvait pas faire avant, elle peut le faire maintenant pour la gloire de Dieu. Es el testimonio de esta mujer con un problema de dificultad para caminar usando estos soportes para sus rodillas y ahora está sana para la gloria de Dios. Just as the woman received the healing, you also can receive your healing. Just touch your screen by faith and God Almighty would come to the same. Espectador, así como esta mujer fue libre, tú también puedes recibir. Solamente conéctate en fe para recibir en el nombre de Jesús. The book of John 20, verse 29 says that blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Viewers, be rest assured that whatever it is that you are going through, God is able. He is able to turn your trials into testimonies. He is able to turn your burdens into, into blessings. So continue to connect by faith and receive in Jesus' name. Espectadores, continuamos viendo el poder de Dios en acción. La mujer de Dios y los evangelistas se están moviendo en la congregación, ministrando el poder del Espíritu Santo.
There is a power that sets men in bondage and there is a power that sets men free. And that power is in the name of Jesus Christ. Viewers, watch how the people are receiving freedom to their health, freedom to their career, freedom to their spirit, soul, and body. As you continue to watch, do not relent in your meditation. Continue to confess your own freedom in Christ Jesus and receive in Jesus' name. Les spectateurs, vous êtes toujours en direct de la synagogue église de toutes les nations. Sous l'influence du Saint-Esprit, vous voyez la pasteur Rémi Joshua et les évangélistes admissent la prière au nom de Jésus-Christ. Dans le nom de Jésus-Christ, il y a la puissance de guérison, de délivrance, le salut et la rédemption. Téléspectateurs, où que vous soyez, connectez-vous par la foi. Rappelez-vous de la distance n'est pas une barrière à l'onction de Jésus-Christ. Espectadores en Jesucristo, hay un poder de sana, sanidad, restauración y liberación. Tú también puedes ser parte del poder de Jesucristo, obrando en las vidas y también en la tuya. Así que conéctate por fe, toca tu pantalla y recibe en el nombre de Jesús. If God Almighty gave you and I the most priceless possession he had, his only son, Jesus Christ, why would he withhold from us things that are of less value? Compared to Jesus Christ, the healing you seek is nothing. Compared to Jesus Christ, the blessings you seek is nothing. Compared to his son, Jesus Christ, the deliverance you seek is nothing. Therefore, viewers all over the world, open up your hearts with faith. And God Almighty will supply all your needs today in Jesus' name. All power in heaven and on earth has been invested in that name, Jesus. In that name, Jesus is your deliverance. In that name, Jesus is your breakthrough and all of God's blessings. Tout comme le dit les Écritures, aujourd'hui c'est le jour que l'Éternel a fait pour vous. Et oui, téléspectateurs, aujourd'hui c'est votre jour de guérison. Aujourd'hui c'est votre jour de salut. Aujourd'hui c'est votre jour de délivrance, de liberté. Il suffit juste de croire, téléspectateurs. Rappelez-vous, croire, c'est notre connexion à notre Seigneur et Sauveur Jésus-Christ. Spectateurs, recuerda que Jésus-Christ est le même ayer, hoy et siempre. Y que si las personas han de creer en Jesucristo deben ver la manifestación de su poder y ese poder se está manifestando aquí en la arena de la libertad. Tú no estás excluido, tú no te quedas por fuera. Conéctate en fe, toca tu pantalla y recibe en el nombre de Jesús. Viewers, as you watch God's power in action, know that your own deliverance is just a moment away. Know that your own healing is just a moment away. Viewers, your own redemption is just a moment away. Wherever you are, begin to take your place in the believer's authority. Nous sommes toujours ici en direct à la Réunion de la Liberté. Peuple de Dieu, rappelez-vous que c'est la volonté de Dieu que vous soyez physiquement guéri et spirituellement sauvé. Jésus-Christ est au courant de votre problème et il ne vous laissera pas sans solution. Il est au courant de votre maladie et ne vous laissera pas sans guérison. Alors, ne doutez pas de votre foi, doutez de vos doutes. Espectador, observa a la mujer de Dios y a los evangelistas orando aquí en el poderoso nombre de Jesucristo. Personas con diferentes problemas, diferentes enfermedades, diferentes dificultades, estancamiento, están siendo libres y sanas para la gloria de Dios. Both. 
Ruff. What have you done to her? <laughs> what have you done to her marital line? Oh, Maris. <laughs> Who are you in this body? I'm a husband. <laughs> Téléspectateurs, tout comme le dit le prophète Tibi Joshua, doutez de vos doutes. Vous avez vu l'épreuve depuis ce matin de beaucoup témoignages. Vous avez vu l'épreuve que notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ continue à accomplir des miracles dans la vie de son peuple. Alors téléspectateurs, vous aussi par la foi, connectez-vous et recevez votre percée, votre témoignage au nom de Jésus-Christ. Rappelez-vous, rien n'est impossible à celui qui croit. Viewers all over the world, if you just joining us, we are your life at the Snuggle Church of our nations. Lagos, Nigeria. God is using the faculties of the woman of God and the evangelists as vessels of honor to break chains of sicknesses in the lives of the people. Wherever you are, you too can be a partaker of what is happening right here. Begin to open the doors of your heart to receive from God's throne of grace. Jesus Christ purchased our healing and deliverance at the price of great sufferings. By his wounds, we are healed. By his wounds, we are delivered. By his wounds, we are declared free. In Jesus' name. Mr. Adimi. Vekpad. Ololo Goju. Emitav. Adimi. I want to kill him. He has so much glory. Who are you? Who are you? Mr. Adimi. Oh, my God. Is the idol. Sorry. Oh, she, she. Gonna do big party. Big big party. Tony, Maria. Maria, Paris, Gigi. Oh, Yari. Gigi, Nani. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It caused him accident on the hand. He wants him to commit suicide. No, my. He does not know who the person is. Omo mini. Omo mini. Omo. Omo bibi nu mini. Oki le peso. Ah. Kubi nu e ole pa nyo bito duro yin. Oba bibi nu. Kusi nu ole she. His anger used to make him very angry that he can harm anyone next to him when he's angry. Oh, my God. True friends. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father. 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 Merci Jésus, il est déclaré libre pour la gloire de Dieu. Déclaré libre pour la gloire de Dieu. 
every sickness. Sickness. All okay. over our body. Okay. Yeah. Sickness, what? Sickness. Okay. She is not free. She can never be free. Ah. Who are you? Uh, 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 who are you? Who are you? She has the knowledge, wisdom. Say what? Uh, she has knowledge. She has what? Big knowledge. Yeah. Yeah, I want to destroy her. Who are you? Uh, who are you? Uh, uh, I am a spirit, evil spirit, uh, from my village. Uh, All over your body. In the name of Jesus Christ. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. All over your body. In the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. All over your body. Your contacts. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Your rings, your crown. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. All over your body. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now remove them in the name of Jesus. All your contacts. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your waist. Your chains on your waist. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your heart. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your crown. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Your rings. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now move out. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. For your afflictions. Okay. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. All your contacts in the name of Jesus. Remove everything. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be free. Stand up. Stand up, you are free. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. To God be the glory. The woman has been set free. Viewers, that deliverance can also be yours. That healing can also be yours. That new life in Christ Jesus can also be yours. You have the right to claim all that you desire. Because Jesus Christ was unjustly nailed to the cross for you to have a fulfilling life. Praise the Lord. A while ago, we witnessed a miracle in our midst here when the man of God was ministering healing, deliverance, salvation, and all of God's blessing in the life of his people. Let us quickly listen to one of them who received a touch from heaven. Madam, you're welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. Please tell us your name and the problem that brought you here today. Hey, my name is Geneva Murupuladi. I'm from South Africa. When I'm brought here on synagogue, I'm addicted for eating as well. After <clears throat> women of God pray for me, I can feel like a fire. My body was shaken like never before and uh, <clears throat> we will no never we'll no longer eating anymore you mean you no longer have the urge to eat the ant so no i can no longer eating anymore so you have this problem for how long uh for eight years and tell us how the problem affected you uh, it's affected me for uh, confiscation. In and I, I, I feel weak in my body. So tell us what happened after the man of God prayed for you now. Uh, after woman of God uh, prayed for me, I can feel light on my body, and I, I'm delivered and I'm, I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for delivering me. Let us put our hands together for Jesus. You can see her demonstrating a newfound freedom. Tell us, how does it taste? It 
Why are you spitting it out? It's no longer sweet. It's, it's no longer sweet. Before now, how does it taste? It's sweet. But now, how does it taste after the prayer? It's no longer sweet. It and more. People of God, put your hands together for Jesus. The problem of addiction for eight years has become a thing of the past in the life of that woman. Surely, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Once again, let us put our hands together for Jesus. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm delivered. Nous allons entendre le témoignage instantané de Madame Geneva. Elle avait une addiction à manger de la terre, de la fourmilière. Elle dit que voilà, c'était si sucré auparavant. Ceci a même causé des problèmes de santé, lucère à l'estomac, des cystes ovariens. Mais alors que la servante de Dieu, la pasteur Émilie Joshua, a prié pour elle, elle a reçu sa délivrance. Vous avez vu, elle a démontré. Elle a essayé de remanger de la terre, mais maintenant elle dit que c'est plus sucré, c'est amer. Elle rend toute la gloire à Dieu. Elle est délivrée. Merci Jésus-Christ de l'avoir délivrée. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Gracias, Jesús. Esta mujer ha sido declarada libre y también hemos visto la liberación de una mujer que tenía adicción. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. A comer tierra y ellos son libres para la gloria de Dios. The book of Matthew 11, verse 28 says. Come to me, all ye who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Viewers all over the world, wherever you may be, whatever you may be going through, remember, Jesus Christ is the miracle worker. All you need to do is go to him in prayer and watch him fulfill his promises in your life. The mighty hand of God walking through the woman of God and the evangelist is pulling down, tearing out, and destroying every shade of darkness in the lives of the people. So viewers, as you continue to offer your prayers of faith, remember to let go of offense, let go of grudges, let go of unforgiveness, free your heart to contact God, free your heart to communicate with God. Espectadores, continuamos viendo la mano poderosa de Dios obrando a través de la pastora Evelyn Joshua y los evangelistas aquí en la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones continúa orando y continúa pidiéndole al Espíritu Santo de Dios que te limpie, que limpie tu corazón de toda ofensa, de todo rencor del pasado, de toda falta de perdón para que puedas recibir lo mejor de él en el nombre de Jesús. God Almighty is doing great and mighty things. In the life of his people, the man of God and the evangelists are being used as instruments of healing, deliverance, salvation, and all of God's blessing in the lives of his people. Wherever you are, viewers all over the world, you too can be a partaker of these wonderful blessings in store for you here today. Distance is never a barrier to the move of God. Press in to touch Jesus and receive your own blessing in Jesus' name. Les spectateurs, comme vous voyez, la pasteur Réunion Joshua, sous l'influence du Saint-Esprit, prie pour cet homme qui a des douleurs au niveau de la poitrine. Il reçoit sa délivrance au nom de Jésus-Christ. Les spectateurs, connectez-vous par la foi, quel que soit le nom de votre maladie. Rappelez-vous, il n'y a point de maladie que Jésus-Christ ne peut guérir. The atmosphere is filled with faith and expectancy as the woman of God and the evangelists move through the large crowd to touch the people. They have been released from their bondage into freedom, from their sicknesses into good health, from their sorrows into joy. Viewers all over the world, you too can be a partaker of this divine encounter. All you have to do is open up your heart and believe, for when you believe, you will receive in Jesus' name.
Espectador, observa tu pantalla y ve la misericordia de Dios hablando a través de estas personas. Pídele al Espíritu Santo de Dios que te localice en su misericordia. Dile, Espíritu Santo de Dios, toma más de mí y dame más de ti. Dame más de tu amor, más de tu paciencia, en el nombre poderoso de Jesucristo. Remember that it is not the amount of prayers you pray, but the faith you put into your prayer that counts. Viewers, as you continue to watch, begin to put your faith to work. Continue to meditate on God's promises in his word. Continue to ask the son of David to locate you in his mercy and favor. Continue to ask the Holy Spirit to take more of you and give you more of him. Peuple de Dieu, les satans du monde entier, le prophète Tibi Joshua nous a appris que la plus grande réussite sur terre est de prier comme Dieu veut que nous prions. Il dit que notre cœur est le point de communication entre nous et l'Esprit de Dieu. Alors, où que vous soyez, assumez une attitude de prière. Continuez à méditer dans votre cœur. Demandez au Fils de David d'avoir pitié de vous. Alors que vous priez pour la miséricorde et la faveur divine de Dieu, débarrassez votre cœur de toute amertume, du non-pardon et de l'offense. God's plan for us is to be physically healed and spiritually saved. Viewers all over the world, wherever you are, you too can be saved, you too can be healed. All you need to do is begin to begin to meditate with faith in your heart, ask the Holy Spirit to take more of you and give you more of him. Viewers all over the world, if you are just joining us, we are here live at the Arena of Liberty where Jesus Christ is using the faculties of the woman of God and the evangelist to disconnect the people from any chain that Satan has used to connect them to himself. The chain of poverty, the chain of sicknesses, the chain of disappointment, depression, marital problem, business failure, and evil attacks. His power to his power, nothing is impossible. Who are you in this body? Ah, this is me. What have you done to her? Ah, what have you done to her? Fibro. Number two. Oh. Number two. Fibro. Number two. Fibro. Very nice. What, the, oh. what have you done to her marriage? To her marriage? Oh. What have you done oh. to her husband? Of course, they're very nice. Of course. How do you enter in this body? To dream. Remember that God's power and effectiveness are even greater in distance. Wherever you are watching us from, the presence of God is present to heal, present to bless, present to deliver. All you need to receive is to believe, for when we believe, we receive. Espectador, estás viendo el poder de Dios en acción. Observa cómo estos espíritus que están escondidos en las vidas de estas personas están siendo expuestos por la sangre y el poder de Jesucristo. Recuerda que tú tampoco está, tú no estás excluido de las bendiciones de Dios. Conéctate en fe, toca tu pantalla y recibe en el nombre poderoso de Jesucristo. The unclean spirits causing sicknesses disappointments, troubles are delivered in the name of Jesus. After the touch from the woman of God and the evangelist, the Holy Spirit is using their faculties to bring freedom to the multitudes of people who have come to the synagogue church of all nations from far and wide with various physical and spiritual problems. Viewers all over the world, you too can be a partaker of this divine blessing. You too can be a partaker of this divine anointing. All you need to do is press in to touch Jesus with faith and he will meet you at the point of your needs in Jesus' name. What have you done to him? What have you done to him? Talk in Jesus' name. What have you done to him? 
What have you done to him? Remember that God Almighty has set a table before you and all you need is to believe in his word and take what has been set before you. His word promises us healing, deliverance and all of his blessings. So by faith, continue to tap into this atmosphere of healing, deliverance and all of God's blessings and receive in Jesus name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. 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 La foi reçoit maintenant et elle reçoit également l'impossible car rien n'est impossible à celui qui croit au nom de Jésus. Remember that God Almighty has set a table before you according to his promise in the book of Psalm 23 verse 5. He has set a table before you full of fruit you desire, fruit of healing, deliverance and all of God's blessing. So they call for Come to the feet of Jesus Christ with faith in your heart and receive all what he has made available for you in Jesus name. As Jesus Christ said in the book of Luke chapter 10 verse 19, Behold, I give you the authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy. Viewers all over the world, by this declaration, let us share in that authority and power of our Lord Jesus Christ over all the satanic forms affecting our lives, affecting our businesses, affecting our health, and affecting our careers. Let us stand in that authority in the name Jesus Christ and, and ask God Almighty for his divine mercy and his divine favor. As you watch God's power in action, trust him. Continue to ask the Holy Spirit to take more of you. le monde qu'il a donné son Fils unique afin que quiconque croit en lui ne périsse point. Et vous voyez ici la preuve de l'amour de Dieu dans la reine de la liberté. Par son amour, il apporte la guérison, la restauration, le salut et la rédemption. Téléspectateurs, connectez-vous par la foi et recevez l'amour de notre Dieu et de notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ. Just like the Bible says that whatever that is not planted by God Almighty shall be uprooted by God. The root of sicknesses, diseases, and affliction are being uprooted by the authentic power of God. Viewers, continue to offer the prayers of faith and receive your own portion of blessings today in Jesus' name. What's as the man of God, Pastor Evelyn Joshua, and the evangelists pray for the people. Viewers around the world, you also are not excluded from this divine healing, divine deliverance, divine breakthrough taking place right here at the arena of liberty. All you need to do is to step out in faith, touch your screen, and receive in Jesus' name. <laughs> Watch out the cause of sicknesses and diseases are bowing down to the supreme authority in that name, Jesus. Viewers, that healing, that deliverance that you seek is in the name, Jesus. Continue to call on the name, Jesus, and watch his power in action.
Go to go to Mama's pharmacy. What have you done to family? What have you done to the family? It's touch. It's touch. It's touch. I don't know. I don't know. Have you done to her? Have you done to her? Have you done to her? Have you done to Have you done to the family? Have you done to the family? What is that? Destroy them. Leave me alone. 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 Leave Father, name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Fire. In Jesus' name. Out. Contrary spirits. Out. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Out. Out. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Out. Out. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Out. Out in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now go. In Jesus' name. Out. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Your end has come. In Jesus' name. Out. Find the name of Jesus. Or your past. Find the name of Jesus. Your contacts. Fire. In Jesus' mighty name. Out. Contrary spirits. Out in the name of Jesus. Out. 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 Thank you, Lord. Out. Out. Because of Christ. Out. Anywhere you are. Out in the name of Jesus. Out. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Out the name of Jesus. Out. Or your past. Find the name of Jesus. Your head. Fire. Your head. Find the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Out. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You are free in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Merci, Jesus. Merci, me. Merci, merci, Seigneur. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Every touch from the woman of God and the evangelist brings the lightning power of God onto the scene and exposes 
the demonic forces in the lives of the people, viewers all over the world. You too can be a partaker of that divine encounter. All you have to do is open up your heart with faith and meditate. Ask the son of David to have mercy on you. Ask the Holy Spirit to take more of you and give you more of himself in Jesus' name. Espectador, continuamos en este tiempo de liberación. Observa a estas personas recibiendo su sanidad, su liberación. Conéctate en fe y recibe tu propia porción en el nombre de Jesucristo. La pasteur Mjocha est en train de prier pour cette femme qui cherche les fruits des entrailles. Elle a reçu sa délivrance. Thank you, Jesus, I'm free. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Why are you asking me what am I? What have you done to her? What have you done to her? What have you done to her? We don't to the family. <laughs> nothing, nothing. Only her. What have you done to her? To not conceive. She to not conceive. To not conceive. Not conceive. Yes, she can't deliver who I hold. Who I'm holding? He can't deliver the person in husband. Who are you that caused all this? Husband, we are holding the husband captive. Who is not husband? Ah! Who are you that caused all this? From this family, from this family, husband family. Ah! Go in Jesus' name. Find the name of Jesus. Find the name of Jesus, guys. Find the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Out. Out the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Out. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. You are free. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. Le spectateur, rappelez-vous que la, pli- la prière est la clé maîtresse. Et comme vous voyez, les évangélistes et la pasteur Evelyn Joshua, ils ont la clé que le Seigneur Jésus-Christ les a donnée pour ouvrir toutes les portes que Satan a fermées. Toutes les portes de bénédiction sont ouvertes. Toutes les portes de guérison et de percée sont ouvertes au nom de Jésus-Christ. Un simple toucher suffit pour ouvrir la porte de la gloire au nom de Jésus-Christ. The lightning power of God is busy setting the people free from captivity and giving them a new name in Christ Jesus. Viewers, continue to connect by faith to receive all what Christ has made available for you today in Jesus' name.
a while ago, we saw a boy receive healing as he could not walk due to paralysis. And after the prayer, we saw him walking freely. And right now, see him eating freely on his own without any assistance. This is something he could not do before. My name is Ngozi Steve Kano. My son's name is Divine Steve Kano. We well, thank God for his healing. God has done a wonderful work in the sons of my in, the, in my son's life. He could not hold spoon. He could not hold. It. Nobody can even hold his hand. I'm the one always feeding him. Whenever he wants to eat, I'm the one to feed him. And each time I'm feeding him, he will want to. Uh, you know, he will be crying because he feel I'm not doing it very well the way he wanted. But today. Oh, God has done it. You can see that he's feeding himself, holding the spoon, eating and enjoying the wonderful food given to him by mommy. I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So tell us, how old is your son? He's just six years old. So how do you feel now that you see that your son can feed himself? I feel so happy. I feel so happy. Before, I'm always in agony. But today, I'm very, very happy. God has done it. I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for healing my son, Divine Steve Kano. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Let's put our hands together for all and Savior Jesus. See, him eating freely, there's a boy that could not eat on his own before due to paralysis as he could not walk. But now he's here after the healing, eating on his own, feeding by himself. Let's put our hands once more for our and Savior Jesus Christ. As you can see, that is in. wonderful testimony. Praise thy Lord. My name is Africanus Flora. I was sick for 12 years. Give me stroke, sense pain, back pain, heavy, but today as a man of God, Pastor Evelyn Joshua touched me and every disease in my body is vomit out. I give the God glory. Thank you, Jesus. No more pain. My body is, my body is, my back is not pain. My shoulder part is, I feel very light. My bone is not bite me again. No more headache pain. No more pain. I am free. My family is free. My son is free. Thank you, Jesus. So, so are you the one that vomited this out? Yes, yes, yes. So how do you feel after you vomited this? Light. I feel light. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
your seats in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. All about your body. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Your head. Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father. Father, in the name of Jesus. Now speak. Who are you? Who are you in the name of Jesus? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> have you done to her? <laughs> have you done to her in the name of Jesus? <laughs> have you done to the family? <laughs> you want to answer in Jesus' name. Find the name of Jesus. Have you done to her? Oh, set back. Because set back. <laughs> what have you done to her? <laughs> What have you done for? Failure. Okay, you go where you have done for this. 
Goddess from the Father's house. God what? Goddess. Goddess from the Father's house. How do you operate? Order. How do you operate? Uh, How do you operate in her life? I cause her pains. Cause her pains. About She's a great woman. Okay. Great evangelist. What have you done to her life? Ah. Uh, uh, regression. What have you done to her pains? Uh, Échec. Failure. Failure. How do you enter this body? Uh, How do you enter this body? From her bed. Espíritu de la casa de su padre. Ha causado dolor. Quiere destruirte. Amen. Rise up, you are free in Jesus' name. Déclarada libre para la gloria de Dios. Just as set you free. Elle est déclarée libre de l'esprit de la son père au nom de Jésus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Madam, you are free. Jesus Christ has set you free. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Aye. Thank you, Lord. I am free. I am free. To God be the glory. Find the name of Jesus. All about your body. Find the name of Jesus Christ. Your head. Find the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Find the name of Jesus. Your mouth and speak in Jesus' name. Who are you? Who are you? Find the name of Jesus. What have you done to her? What have you done to her in the name of Jesus? Find the name of Jesus. Who are you? Who are you? You have a name. Who are you? What have you done to her? What have you done to her? What have you done to the family? You've done what? I want to destroy her. I want to destroy her. Mm. Who are you that wants to destroy her? Mm. Spirit of destruction. Who are you that wants to destroy her? Who are you that wants to destroy her? The Spirit wants to destroy her. Why think she has destroyed? Mm. Her career. Mm. I want to destroy her marriage. To destroy her marriage. Yes. Okay. How do you want to destroy the marriage? Mm. How do you want to destroy the marriage? Mm. Me. Have you done to our family? Have you done to the family? I said, leave me alone. Open your mouth and speak in Jesus' name. Find the name of Jesus. Fire. 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 Rude. She does not respect anyone in the family. She got married on the 29th of uh, July, 2023. So she gave birth two months ago. And now she, the husband traveled. Only WhatsApp is speaking with her. And she does not know the real place where the husband is. So day before yesterday, my husband said I should bring my first son and the wife for testimony. So she was telling me that by the time I come back, they, I will meet the child on the chair while she will go away to where they are doing a prostitution. That she's no longer married again. That she, have not, she didn't see her husband again. So that was why I carried her along with these ones. You're welcome. What's she to you? She's my sister-in-law. Welcome, sir. What's she to you? She's my kid sister. Find about what the spirit is saying. Everything is confirmed. What she just said, they're all true. Her character? Absurd, bad. How about her marriage? Mm. The husband left, um, even without uh, seeing the child being delivered. Like from the labor ward. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Find the name of Jesus. Find the name of Jesus. 
How do you enter this body? How do you enter this body? Ce qui cause de la douleur? How do you enter body in the name of Jesus? Thank you, Lord. You end us coming, Jesus. All over your body in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, fire in the name of Jesus. Fire your head. You have been exposed. Fire in the name of Jesus. That head. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. All over your body. Fire in the name of Jesus. You contrary spirit. Fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now go. Out in the name of Jesus. Out. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. You are free in Jesus' mighty name. Elle est déclarée libre au nom de Jésus Christ. Rise up, you are free. Déclarée libre en le nom de Jésus. My daughter is free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Glory. I give you all the honor. God of Prophet TV Joshua. You are free in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Who is the child? It's for my sister. Thank you. You are free. Have your baby. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Gracias, Jesus. Amen. La familia es libre. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. My family is fine. My family has been delivered. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I give you all their glory once again. Family is totally delivered. Fire the name of Jesus Christ, all over your body. Fire the name of Jesus, your head. Fire the name of Jesus. Who are you? Who are you in the name of Jesus? Who are you? What have you done to her? What have you done to her in the name of Jesus Christ? Fire the name of Jesus. Fire your head, your hand. Fire the name of Jesus Christ, your leg. Fire the name of Jesus. You have been exposed. Thank you, Lord. Fire the name of Jesus. Your mouth and speak. Who are you? you deceptive spirits. What have you done to her? What have you done to her family? What have you done to the family? You've done what? What have you done to her children? Fire the name of Jesus. Fire the name of Jesus Christ. Speak in Jesus' name. Who are you? Who are you in the name of Jesus? What have you done to her? What have you done to her? What have you done to this woman's life? Push it to you. Push it to you. In the name of Jesus. Now go in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire the name of Jesus. All of you all together. Fire the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Fire the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Out. La manifestation des esprits méchants. Out the name of Jesus. Où est la délivrance qui se poursuit? Out the name of Jesus Christ. C'est la manifestation de ces esprits Fire the name of Jesus. Fire the name of Jesus. Now go. Out. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. You are free in Jesus' name. Rise up. Declarada libre para la gloria de Dios. Madame, just as I set you free. Cette femme est déclarée libre. Just as I set you free. Jesus, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Your head. Fire the name of Jesus. Who are you? Who are you in the name of Jesus? What have you done to her? What have you done to her? I welcome. I wish it to you. It's my daughter. In the name of Jesus. What have you done to her? You evil spirit. 
There is she only sick. She have uh, asthma and uh, pneumonia. I'll leave with your sickness in Jesus' name. Find the name of Jesus. Fire. Find the name of Jesus Christ. You spirit that cause sickness. Find the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Ow. Ow's the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You are free. Rise up in Jesus' name. Declarada libre de su espíritu en el nombre de Jesús. The family is free in Jesus' name. La famille est déclarée libre au nom de Jésus. Who she to you? She's my mom. You are free. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Who are you in the name of Jesus? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Who are you in the name of Jesus? <laughs> All over your body. Find the name of Jesus Christ. Find the name of Jesus Christ. What's your mission in our body? What's your mission in our body? To destroy. How? How? Uh, Say what? Ah. Uh, Esprit dit qu'il veut détruire. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. How do you plan on doing that? To destroy. Uh -huh. Okay, not our family. I destroy. Okay. Uh, what else have you done to them? Uh, I take away the asp. Said what? I take away the asp. Why? Uh, Why? Because I hate uh, purpose. Because you hate what? Ah, uh, destiny. Ah, uh, purpose. Uh, Why are you against our destiny? Ah. Uh, eh? She said to deliver. Said what? And to see so many. Uh, Who are you? Who are you in the name of Jesus? From a foundation. Why do you want to remove me? Jesus wants uh, you out. What are you doing to our family? I scatter. Uh -huh. Them all. Thank you, Lord. Scatter. Thank you, Lord. All over your body, in the name of Jesus Christ. Find the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Find the name of Jesus Christ. Spirit Thank you, Lord. Your crown, in the name of Jesus. Your rings, your contacts. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Find the name of Jesus Christ. Spirit of destruction. Thank you, Lord. Your back. Find the name of Jesus Christ. Did I have to remove your Mary? The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Esprit de destruction. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. All over your body in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Espíritu que viene de la casa del Padre. Powerless. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Les esprits de la maison de son père. Oh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. With all your affliction, in the name of Jesus. Oh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Observe the manifestation of your spirit. Oh, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Be free in Jesus' name. Stand up, my you are free. Declarada libre para la gloria de Dios. Declarada libre. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. I'm delivered. Declarada libre para la gloria de Dios. The 
mighty name of Jesus Christ. All over your body. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Your legs. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. All over your body, in the name of Jesus. Your head. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Who are you? Who are you in the name of Jesus? Who are you? Who are you? Said what? From where? Husband from where? Her foundation. From her foundation. So what have you done to her? She's not getting married. You said what? She's going to get married. Why don't you want her to get married? She belongs to me. You said what? She belongs to me. Who gave her to you? <laughs> Who? Foundation. Marie so what have you done in her life? Her career? Stagnation. It's supposed to speak to Promise and feel disappointment. Okay. Unhappiness, sadness. What about her family? What have you done to them? Family curse. You said what? We have family curse. Okay, so have you affected them with the curse? I affected her. Only her. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, all over your body. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Deception. In the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. All over your body, in the name of Jesus. Your crown. In the name of Jesus. Your rings. In the name of Jesus. Your chain. In the name of Jesus Christ. All over your body. All your contact. In the name of Jesus Christ. Remove them in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Your chains. In the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. All over your body, your rings. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All over your body, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Your crown. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah, because of the deception. Thank you, Lord. All your contacts, remove them in the name of Jesus Christ. Your afflictions. Observe the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The manifestation of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Observe the manifestation of the Spirit of the world. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. All over your body in the name of Jesus. Now move out in the name of Jesus Christ. Move out in the name of Jesus Christ. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. All your contact. Thank you, Lord. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Now move out. In the name of Jesus. Deliverance in the name of Jesus. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus. Marie spirituelle. Le coup de la déception. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now move out in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, with all your afflictions. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, be free. In Jesus' mighty name. Stand up, you are free. Gracias, Jesús. Esta mujer ha sido declarada libre. Merci, Jesús. Ha declarado libre por la gloria de Dios. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm delivered. Thank you, Jesus.
name of Jesus. Who are you? Open your mouth and speak in the name of Jesus. Who are you? All over your body. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. Who are you? We want them not to expose us. Ah, we warn you, John. Who are you? We warn you this morning. Ah. You have been exposed. Who are you? We warn you. Ah, we must beg you not to expose us. What have you done to her? Ah. What have you done to her? We destroy her destiny life. What have you done to her family? Hmm. Oh, your sisters said that to marry a wrong husband. Destroy his marriage. Destroy his children. So who are you that destroyed her marriage? You use her drug to lock her destiny. So who are you that destroyed her marriage? It's a star. It's a star. You always use fire to burn me every time. You pray and burn me with fire. I appear to our servant times not to burn me with fire. Because Open your eyes. To burn me with fire. Open your eyes. Who is this woman standing next to you? I don't want to see the fire. Fire is too much. It's too much. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Open your eyes. Who is this person standing next to you? Bloquer sa destinée. Who is this person standing next to you? Who is she to you? A destruido seu matrimônio? Man, I will put off for the wish to deal with her. Since two years, man, you have been fighting her, beating her everywhere. Even if it was walking on their way, we fight her, we beat her. You are welcome, man. Who is she to you? She's my kid's sister. What can you say about what the spirit just said? All the spirit said is true. She has been complaining. I'm based here in Lagos. I'm a member of this synagogue. She has been complaining to us that uh, she has been having serious nightmare that they will be beating her, using uh, things to cut her. And truly, when she came, it happened in my presence because she's with me. As we were coming to church, she, she said that they have started again. And truly, I look at her body. Everywhere was showing. And she said they were using pain to pitch her faces. Who is the cause of all this? Who is the cause? It's a woman of God. It's always praying. Who is the cause? Who is the cause? Open your mouth and speak in the and name of Jesus. Man for the house. You want to uproot what I'm bearing there. I don't want her to uproot it. How did you enter? He said he must uproot his oh, I'm fatty. I want, we want to kill her. We will put coffee for her head. As he's here now, there's coffee inside his head. How did you enter? It's yesterday, the last day, we want to kill her. When her father appeared to her. He poured cold water for his body. I said, we run away. So this is your last day in this body. Fire in the name of Jesus, all over your body. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire. Fire in the name of Jesus. Your head. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire all over your body. Fire all over your body. Fire in the name of Jesus. Your leg. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. Out. Quiere matarla? Out in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Rise up. Declare libre en nom de Jesus Christ. Declarada libre en el nombre de Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Who is she to you? Thank you, Jesus. Who is she to you? My sister. My sister is free in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. My family is liberated. Glory be to God.
Judah, Judah! 
Listen, Judah, Judah, Lion of the Trouble, Judah. I want to go to the local one. I want to go to the local one. I want to go to the local one.
Singora Sweek, 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 Singora Fino felio, fino felio, a I am I am gonna see a king of I am feeling I am feeling victory. Sing God, I see a king of my God, I I I am feeling 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 I am Come on, shot, little boy, little boy. Let's go. Ah, this kind of. Let me take it to say ah 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 eh eh. This kind of another one. Come on, shot, come on, shot, shot. Make it louder. There's nobody. Say ah. This kind of, I'm not going to This kind of, I'm a church. Let me hear you. Say, this kind of, this kind of, tell me this kind of, do you have another one? No. Tell me, do you have another girl like this? Tell me this kind of God. Say this kind of God. This kind of God. Oh. He said this kind of God. Oh. 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 Shut your phone, let's go, let's go. Sinaka, Sinaka, shut your phone, let's go. Good money, good money, are we today? Good money, are we forever? Forever, 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 forever. Somebody's green. Who is Jesus? 
Tell me who is Jesus. Who is Jesus? Who is Jesus? Who is the God of a TV church? Who is the God of our man in the Lord? Pastor of the who is he? Odoku, 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 What you been is okay. 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 Okay, 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 Mother and Molly, Mother and Molly, somebody for a Molly, somebody for a Molly, somebody for a Molly, somebody back, the back, the back, somebody back, the back, the back, somebody for a Molly, Mother and Molly, somebody Mama, 
Aujourd'hui c'est mon jour. C'est neighbor. Vecino. Today. Hoy is my day. Es mi día. You believe that? Croyez-vous cela? Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Grita hallelujah. Hallelujah. We pray that the joy be permanent in Jesus name. Que el gozo sea permanente para ti. Yes, it is time for mass prayer. Es temps de la prière de masse. Hallelujah. Es tiempo de la oración masiva. People of God. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is about to walk in our midst today. Jesucristo va a trabajar. When he does, that healing will happen. Y la sanidad pasará. In the name of Jesus. Au nom de Jésus. Jesus Christ is about to walk in our midst right now. Jesucristo se va a mover. When he does, that deliverance will happen. Y la liberación ocurrirá. That blessing will happen. That bendition in the name of Jesus. Au nom de Jésus. Hallelujah. Full of God. In the book of Genesis chapter 32 verse 26. Jacob encountered God Almighty and he said, I will never let you go unless you bless me. Jesus is about to walk in our midst right now. Like Jacob, you open your lips and say, say Oh Lord, Oh Lord, oh, Señor, I will never let you go. Je te laisserai jamais. Oh Lord, oh, Señor, I will never let you go. Unless you bless me. À moins que tu me bénis. I will never let you go. No te dejaré ir. Oh Lord. Oh Señor. Unless you deliver me. A menos que me liberes y me bendigas. I will never let you go. Je te laisserai pas partir, Seigneur. Oh Lord. Oh Seigneur. Unless you set me free. À moins que tu me Open libères. Open your lips and pray this prayer. 
Abre tu Jesus boca. is about to walk in our midst right now. Jesucristo se va a mover ahora en medio nuestro. Abre tu boca. Pray this prayer with faith in your heart. Ora con fe en tu corazón. I will never let you go, Lord. No te dejaré ir, Señor. Unless you touch me. A menos que me toques. I will never let you go, Lord. Je ne laisse pas partir, Seigneur. Unless you deliver me. A menos que tú me delivres. I will never let you go, oh Lord. Je pas Unless partir, you Seigneur. set me free. A menos que tú me libères. Pray this prayer in the name of Jesus. Ora en el nombre de Jesús. Jesus Christ is about to walk in our midst right now. Jesucristo va a obrar. Do not let him pass you by. No le dejes que te pase de largo, Dios, Señor. Do not let the son of David to pass you by. No te dejaré ir, Señor, a menos que me dejes. Dios, Señor. Oh Lord. Oh Señor. Thou son of David. Oh fils de David. Oh Lord. Oh Señor. Thou son of David. Hijo de David. I will never let you go. Je laisserai pas partir. Unless you set me free. A moins que tu me libères. I will never let you go. No te dejaré ir. Unless you touch me. A menos que me toques. Say touch me, oh Lord. Touch me, oh Seigneur. Touch me, oh Lord. Tócame, Señor. And I will be healed. Je serai guéri. Touch me, oh Lord. Tócame, Señor. And I will be saved. Y seré salvo. Touch me, oh Lord. Touch me, oh Seigneur. And I will be delivered. Je serai délivré. Pray this prayer. Pray this prayer. Pray this prayer. Touch me, oh Seigneur. Ask the Son of David to touch you. Demande au Seigneur de vous toucher. Ask him to touch you. Pide le Seigneur. Ask him to touch you for healing. Pide le à l'Hijo de David que te toque pour sanidad. Dile, toque le Seigneur. Ask him to touch you for deliverance. Toque me pour libération, pour sanidad. Touch me, oh Lord. Toque me, Seigneur. And I will be saved. Je serai sauvé. Touch me, O oh Lord. Touch me, O oh Seigneur. And I will be delivered. Et je serai délivré. Touch me, O oh Lord. Touch me, O oh Seigneur. And I will be healed. Et je serai guéri. Touch me, O oh Lord. Touch me, Seigneur. And I will be blessed. Y seré bendecido. Pray, pray, pray this prayer in the name of Jesus. Ora, di, no me pases de largo, Señor. Toca, me, Señor. Y seré Jesus bendecido. Jesus Christ is in the house. Jesucristo está en la casa. Jesus Christ is in our midst. Jesus Christ is in our midst. Jesus Christ is in our Ask him to touch you. Dites lui de vous toucher. Ask him to touch you and set you free. Et de vous libérer. Ask him to touch you and deliver you. Pídele a Jesús que te toque. In the name of Jesus. Dile, tócame, Señor, y seré libre, seré bendecido en el nombre de Jesús. Tócame, Señor. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Oh, no, please, under Jesus, no, please. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In the name of Jesus, we pray. People of God, that problem in your life. Demons are the cause of that problem. Les démons sont responsables de votre problème. That trouble in your life. Ese problema. Demons are the cause of that problem. Los demonios son la causa. Say you demon. Dis tu demonio. You unclean spirit. Toi esprit impur. The cause of my problem. La cause de mes problèmes. You unclean spirit. Tu esprit immonde. The cause of my trouble. La causa de mis problèmes. Anywhere you are. Donde quiera que estés. Holy Ghost. Esprit du Saint. Holy Ghost. Saint Esprit. Out. Dis ça. Out. Ça. Out. Ça. Out. 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 Command them out! Command them out! On leur sortie, les esprits sont. Command that demon that caused you problems. That demon that caused you trouble. You cause the trouble. Command them out in the name of Jesus. Anywhere they are hiding. Command them out by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Donde quiera que esté escondido Command ese demonio. demon to come out. Ordena ese demonio que salga, él es la causa de tu problema. Donde quiera que esté escondido. Ordena ese espíritu inmundo fuera por el fuego del Espíritu Santo. Command him out, command him out. Oh, no, sorti. In the name of Jesus. Au nom de Jésus. No hiding place for that demon in no the presence escondite. of God. No hay escondite para ese demonio en la casa Say de Dios. Demon. Dic toi demon. You demon. Toi demon. You are clean spirit. Tu espíritu inmundo. You family idol. El ídolo familiar. Anywhere you are. Où que tu sois. Disturbing my life. Dérangeant ma vie. Anywhere you are. Où que tu sois. Disturbing my family. Donde quiera que estés. Anywhere you are. Disturbing my business. Perturbando mi negocio. Your end has come. In the name of Jesus. Tu final ha llegado. Out. So. Out. Out. So. Out. Out. So. Au lieu de sortir, toi démon où que tu sois, dérange ma vie. Ordonne fort à tous les démons, au nom de Jésus, sigue orando. Open your lips and command them out. Abre tus labios y ordena los fuera. Command every demon out. Ordena todo démonio fuera. Ordonne à tous les démons de sortir. Open your heart and contact the Holy Spirit. Ouvre votre cœur et contactez l'Esprit de Dieu. Abre tu corazón y contacta el Espíritu de Dios. Command every demon, every demon, every demon, every demon. Ordonne à tout démon. Every familiar spirit. Tout esprit familier. Every contrary spirit. Tout esprit contraire. Every evil spirit. Ahora mismo todo espíritu inmundo. Anywhere they are in your body, command them out. Donde sea que esté tu cuerpo. Command them out. Ordena que salga. 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 
Ahora mismo ordena que no se... hay place for darkness. No hay lugar oculto para los No hay place for familiar spirit. Para the... No hay place for unclean spirit. Para the... Anywhere they are. Donde sea que estén. Ordena que salga. Pas de cachette pour les esprits impurs, les démons, les sortir, où qu'ils soient. Ordena que salga todo espíritu inmundo que esté en tu sistema, en tu cuerpo. Ordena que salga en el poderoso nombre de Jesús. Say you demon. Dites toi démon. You familiar spirit. Tu espíritu en la familia. Anywhere you are in my body. Où que tu sois dans mon corps. Your end has come. Ta fin est arrivé. I command you. Je t'ordonne. I order you. Te ordeno. In the name of Jesus. En el nombre de Jesús. Come out. Fuera. Come out. Fuera. Come out. So. Come out. So. Come out. Fuera. Come out. Fuera. Say out. It's out. Out. So. Out. Out. Fuera. Out. Fuera. Out. So. Out. So. Out. Fuera. Out. Fuera. Out. So. Out. Fuera. Out. Fuera. Prayer. Prayer. Toi, démon, esprit familiar. Command them out. Dans mon corps. Ta fin est arrivée. Every contrary spirit. Tu espíritu contrario. Every demon. Todo demonio. Command them out. Ordena que salga. Tu démon, tu esprit contrario, qu'il soit dans votre corps, dans le sortir de Jésus. Ordena que salga todo espíritu, todo, todo espíritu que esté en tu cuerpo, que salga en el poderoso nombre de Jesús. Sigue orando. Every demon. Tu démon. Familiar spirit, tout esprit familier, oh messenger of Satan, messager de Satan, anywhere you are, où que tu sois, in the name of Jesus, au nom de Jésus, Holy Ghost, Saint Esprit, Holy Ghost, Saint Esprit, Holy Ghost, Santo. Holy Ghost, Santo. Santo. Ah, 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 I command you out. I order you out. I command you out. I order you out. Don't let sorti. Pray. Pray. Toi, démon, toi, esprit familier, que tu Command them out. Order them out. Order them out. Ordena que salga. Todo espíritu en la familia, todo demonio, que salga en el poderoso nombre de Jesús. Continue to pray. Continue to command them out. Continue to pray. Command them out in the name of Jesus. Ordena que salga. Continue to command them out. Continue echándolos fuera. Unclean spirits. Espíritu inmundo. Evil spirits. Command them out in the name of Jesus. Oh, no, Jesus. no hiding place for them. Pas de cachette pour eux. No hay lugar oculto para. They are the cause of that pain. Son la causa del dolor. That sickness. De esa enfermedad. That disease. De esa dolencia. Unclean spirits are the cause. Les esprits impurs sont la cause. Command them out in the name of Jesus. Oh, no, sorti. Command them out in the name of Jesus. Ordena que salgan en el nombre. Command them out in the name of Jesus. Que salgan en el nombre de Jesús. Say you are clean spirit. Si tu espíritu inmundo. You are clean spirit. Tu espíritu inmundo. You familiar spirit. Tu espíritu en la familia. You familiar spirit. Tu espíritu familiar. Because of sickness. La causa de la enfermedad. Because of sickness. La causa de la maladie. Because of disease. La causa de la dolencia. Because of sickness. La causa de la maladie. Because of disease. La causa de la enfermedad. I command you. Je t'ordonne. Out. T'ordeno. Out. Fuera. Out. Fuera. Out. So. Out. So. Out. Fuera. Out. Fuera. Out. So. Out. So. Out. Fuera. Out. Fuera. Command them out in the name of Jesus. Oh, no, the of Jesus. Command them out. Oh, no, the les esprits impus, les esprits familiers, la cause de votre maladie. That unclean spirit. Este du mundo. Causing you sickness. Que te causa causing you disease. Que te causa command them out. Command them out. Command them out. Command them out in the name of Jesus. Que en el de Jesus. Command them out in the name of Jesus. Oh, no, the of Jesus. Ese espíritu inmundo que te causa enfermedad ordena que salga en el nombre de Jesús. Ora. To every sickness. This, toute maladie. Every sickness. Toute maladie. Every disease. Toute affection. In my body. Dans mon corps. Every sickness. Toute enfermedad. Every disease. Toute dolencia. In my body. En mi cuerpo. I flush you out. Te expulso. 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 Flush them out in the name of Jesus. Expulsez les noms de Jésus. Flush them in the name of Jesus. Expulsez les noms de Jésus. Flush them out. Flush them out. Flush them out. Expulsez les noms de Jésus. That sickness. Toute maladie. Whatever name they call it. Quel que soit le nom qu'on donne à cette maladie. Flush them out in the name of Jesus. Expulsez les noms de Jésus. Call them out in the name of Jesus. Call them by their names. Call them out in the name of Jesus. 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 You them out in the name of Jesus. Call 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 them out in the name of Jes
Toute maladie, toute Continue affection. Flush them, flush them out. Continue expulsándolo fuera en el nombre de Jesús. Flush them out, flush them out, flush them out. Expulsalo, expulsalo. Command them to come out in the name of Jesus. Orden a fuera en el nombre de Jesús. Speak to them in the name of Jesus. Hablan en el nombre de Jesús. They must obey. Deben obedecer. Speak to them in the name of Jesus. Parle au nom de Jésus. Say every hyon. Dites à tout used by Satan. Utilisé par Satan. To block my finances. Pour barrer mes finances. Anywhere you are. Donde estés. Be broken. Ser roto. Be broken. Sois brisé. Be broken. Sois brisé. Be broken. Ser roto. Get up pregnant right now. Commencez par les briser maintenant. Every hyon used by Satan. To block your finances. Tout ce qui est utilisé par Satan pour to block your business. Bloquez vos finances, vos affaires. Break them in the name of Jesus. Rompez-les en le nom de Jésus. Brisez-les au nom de Jésus. Yeah, break them in the name of Jesus. Rompez-les en le nom de Jésus. Toda arme usada por Satanás para bloquear tus finanzas, tus negocios. Every hand you use by Satan. To to block your breakthrough. To faire utiliser par Satan. Break them in the name of Jesus. Vous bloquez vos percep. Brisez-les au nom de Jésus. Pray, 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 pray. Toda arme usada por Satanás, expulsa la fuera en el nombre de Jesús. Every high on. Tu fer. Used by Satan. Tu fer utilisé par Satan. To block your finances. Pour bloquer vos finances. Break and break and break in the name of Jesus. Brisez-les au nom de Jésus. Brisez-les. Yes, 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 yes. Break them. Rompe-la, rompe-la en el nombre de Jesús. Toda arma usada por Satanás para bloquear tus finanzas. Command to be broken in the name of Jesus. Ordenale que se rompa en el nombre de Jesús. Every blockage break in the name of Jesus. Command to be broken. Every hindrance break in the name of Jesus. Su blocage bloque lo brise lo en el Jesús. Break them, break them, break them. Rompe, rompe todo obstáculo que se interponga entre ti las bendiciones. Pray, 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 pray. Continue to break, break, to fer, to blockage a votre percé en el Jesús. Whatever the higher man represents. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Break down. In the name of Jesus. Rompe les en el nombre de Jesús. Quelque chose. Pray, 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 pray. Quelque chose ce que ce fer représente. Brisez le au nom de Jésus Christ. Todo obstáculo. Say you iron. Si tú eres arma. Blocking my way. Perturbando mi camino. You iron. Tu arma. Blocking my breakthrough. Bloqueando mi progreso. I call you by your name. Llamo por tu nombre. In the name of Jesus. En el nombre de Jesús. Be broken. Se roto. Be broken. Jesus. Dis-toi faire quelque chose ce que tu représentes, sois brisé au nom de Jésus-Christ. Continue to pray. Si orando. Continue to pray, continue to pray, continue to pray, continue to pray. Continue de prier. Speak out, speak out, speak out, speak out, speak out, speak out. Abre tu boca y habla. Si pray, a pray, a pray, a pray, a pray, a pray to God. Parlez, priez à Dieu. With faith in your heart. With faith in your heart. Say to yourself, Jesus must be honored in my life. Jesus must be honored in my life. Jesus must be honored on my way. He must be honored in my business. Say, Jesus must be honored in my career. Jesus must be honored in my marriage. Jesus must be honored in my health. Jesus Christ must be honored in my finances. Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. With faith in your heart. Faith will make you to move in the way that God moves. Faith will make you to move in the dimension that God moves. Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray right now. No matter what your situation may be suggesting to you. Your circumstances may be suggesting to you. That there is no hope. No future. No direction. Say Jesus must be honored in my life. Jesus tiene que ser honrado en mi vida. Jesus Christ must be honored in my life. Jesus must be honored in my business. Jesus must be honored in my business. Jesus tiene que ser honrado en mi negocio. Jesus must be honored in my career. Jesus must be honored in my family. Yes, he must be honored in my family. Tiene que ser honrado en mi negocio. Jesus must be honored in my marriage. Jesus must be honored in my marriage. Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. No matter how many you come and pray. Let somebody say, I am hopeful. I am hopeful. I am hopeful. Jesus Christ is my hope. Jesus is my hope. Jesus 
Christ is my hope. Jésus est mon espoir. No one is hopeless whose hope is in Christ. Parce que je, 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 je Say I am hopeful. Dis, I am hopeful. Esperanzado. Jesus Christ is my direction. Jésus est mon direction. Jesus Christ is my direction. Jésus Christ est ma direction. I walk in liberty. Je marche en liberté. I walk in freedom. Camino en liberté. Say Jesus Christ is my future. Jésus Christ est ma liberté. Jesus Christ is my future. Jésus Christ est mon futur. I am secured in His hands. Il est mon futur. I am secured in His hands. En sus manos. Right now. Begin to uproot anything that is not planted by Christ Jesus in your life. Begin to uproot anything that is not planted by Christ Jesus in your life. Whatever that may be, lo que sea, in form of sickness, in form of, in form of affliction, de affliction, in form of disease, la maladie, begin to uproot it right now in the name of Jesus. Wherever such may be deposited in your life, in your system, en tu vida, en tu begin sistema. to cast them out now in the name of Jesus. What is the name of it? Is it fibroid? Is it low spend count? Is it diabetes? Is it hypertension? Whatever name that is being called, begin to cast them out now in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to cast them away right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ must be honored in your life. Begin to cast them away. Say I am free. Say I am free. Say I am healed. Say I am delivered. Because the word of God says so. The word of God says so. Right now, take authority against Satan. You take authority against Satan. And begin to break any spell. Any power of God over your life. Over your destiny. Begin to break them now. 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 No weapon that is fashioned against you shall prosper in the name of Jesus. No weapon fashioned against you will prosper in the name of Jesus. No evil are against you will succeed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be free from that cage in the name of Jesus. Be loose from that cage in the name of Jesus. Be free from that cage in the name of Jesus. Be loose from that cage in the name of Jesus. Cage of disappointment. Cage of failure. Cage of pain. Cage of frustration. Cage of confusion. We say be loose. Be loose. Be loose. Be loose. In the name of Jesus Christ. Viewers all over the world. Wherever you may be connecting with us right now. Say to yourself, Jesus must be honored in my life. Jesus must be honored in my life. Jesus must be honored in my health. Jesus must be honored in my family. Jesus Christ must be honored in the life of my children. Begin to profess it right now. Begin to confess them right now. In the name of Jesus by the blood of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost. And as you say so, continue to remind Satan that he's an intruder. Yes, he's an intruder in your life. Jesus Christ has defeated him. So he's a defeated fool. He has no right to harm you anymore. Satan has no right to harm you anymore. And so receive your freedom right now in the name of Jesus. You receive your healing right now in the name of Jesus. Receive your breakthrough right now in the name of Jesus. Breakthrough on your way. Breakthrough in your business. Breakthrough in your life. Breakthrough in your career. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. I command the spirit to the spirit of Christ in the name of Jesus. Be bound in the name of Jesus. Any spirit that is not of Christ, Jesus. Be bound in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Be bound in the name of Jesus. Then. Release yourself, release yourself, release yourself, release yourself. You devil, begin to remove your hand in the life of my people. Remove your hand in the life of my people. Remove your hand in the life of my people. Remove your hand in their business, in their life, in their marriage. Begin to remove devil hand, remove devil hand in the name of Jesus. Remove devil hand, remove devil hand. Remove devil hand. I remove your hand in my life, in my career, in my business. 
business, in my finances, in my family, in my marriage. Remove, 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 remove. Jeez. Jesus, every satanic assignment against you, open your lips and begin to remove it, remove it, remove it, remove it. Toute mission diabolique dans votre vie, enlevez cela au nom de Jésus. Every satanic assignment, enlevez Every satanic assignment, be removed in the name of Jesus. Be removed in the name of Jesus. Be removed in the name of Jesus. Every hands of Satan. Every hands of devil. Be removed in the name of Jesus. Be removed in the name of Jesus. I command healing on you now. Jesus, heal every infirmity. Jesus, heal every womb. Jesus, heal every disease. Open your lips, open your lips, open your lips. Ouvre ta bouche, Jésus guérit toute maladie, toute infirmité. Ouvre ta bouche. L'ordre de Dieu ordonne à toute maladie de partir de votre vie dans le nom de Jésus. Ouvre ta bouche et prie. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit that torment me, qui me tourmente, that torment my life, tourmente ma vie, my career, ma carrière, my children, mes enfants, my family, ma famille, my marriage, mon mariage, be silent in the name of Jesus. Be silent in the name of Jesus. The word of God says you are healed. I say you are healed. I say you are delivered. I say you are here. You are delivered. You are delivered. Begin to act it, act it, act it, believe it. Receive it right now. Receive it. I can see I'm here. Je suis guéri. I'm delivered. Je suis délivré. I can see I'm delivered. Je peux voir que je suis délivré. I'm free. Je suis libre. I can see I'm free. Je peux voir que je suis libre. Confess, 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 confess. Confessez-le, confessez-le, confessez-le. Viewers, devil hand is destruction. His hand is killer. I remove devil hand in your life. Your business. What was affair? Remove devil. Remove devil. Remove devil. His hand in your life. His hand in your business. His hand in your career. His hand in your family. Remove, 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 remove. In the name of Jesus, I burn your spirit with Christ spirit. Be I command healing on you now. Be healed. 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 Be Heal them in Jesus' name. Heal every disease, every infirmity in the name of Jesus. Every spirit, every thought, be seized in the name of Jesus. 
every assignment, devil assignment against you, whatever way, fail in the name of Jesus. Fail in the name of Jesus. Begin to shine. Begin to shine. Begin to shine. Empieza a brillar. You begin to shine. Empieza a brillar. Rejoice in the Lord. Regocíjate en el Señor. Comment ça brille? Because whosoever that Jesus free is free indeed. Si vous êtes libre, you are free indeed. Eres libre. I pray. No temptation will seize you in the name of Jesus Christ. No evil will be for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Merci, Père. Give praise to God. Toda la gloria a Dios. Dale la gloria a Dios. Amen. 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 I want to remind you. It is time for celebration again. This coming Friday, the 8th of March. Este próximo viernes. Is Emmanuel TV 18th anniversary. Es el aniversario 18 de Manuel TV. We've come a long way with the mouthpiece of God. Ce vendredi. Our mouthpiece in this ministry. Emmanuel TV rescues us. So celebrate with us. Wherever you may be. Où que vous soyez. Celebrate Emmanuel TV. Celebrate the anniversary of Emmanuel TV. The mouthpiece of the synagogue. 18 ans. The mouthpiece of God. God bless you all. Que Dios les Thank you very much. Celebra Thank con you. nosotros Emmanuel TV. Amen. Another glorious day. All praises to our King and Lord. Who has made it possible again. Toda la gloria al Rey. Without God, where will we be? Serons-nous sans Dieu? Without His grace. Where will you be? Sin la gracia de Dios, ¿dónde estarías? You are worthy to be praised. Thank you, Father. Merci, Père. And I commit your children into your able hand. Encomiendo a tus hijos en tus manos, Padre. They will be living to the world now. You assured us in your word. You said, we live in this world, but we do not belong to this world. But I keep them safe over there in the name of Jesus. But I protect them as they go out and come in in the name of Jesus. Lord God, let your mercy, your favor and compassion continue to locate them in the name of Jesus. You alone can do it. Father, make way for them where there seems to be no way in the name of Jesus Haz camino, Padre, para ellos donde no hay camino. Your word said that they are the head. They will never be the tail. Father, they are the sort of the world. Somos May they never head. lose their test. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you all. Que Dios les God bless you. Que Dios les Let's share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, la gracia de nuestro Señor Jesucristo, el amor de Dios, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God goodness and mercy, all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Emmanuel. Dios con nosotros. Emmanuel. Dios está con nosotros. Thank you, Jesus. Gracias, Jesús. Amen. Emmanuel TV mobile app. Find your favorite sermon. Watch Emmanuel TV live. Stay in tune with God's word. All on the Emmanuel TV mobile app. Available now on the Apple App Store. 
Samsung Galaxy Store and Amazon App Store for Android. Alternatively, watch live on Emmanuel.tv and also on Apple TV, Roku TV, Fire TV Stick and Android TV. The Emmanuel TV Android Installation Guide. Step 1. Open your preferred mobile browser and visit Emmanuel TV. Step 2. On the Emmanuel TV website, tap on the three lines at the top right corner of the screen to open the pop-up menu and tap on TV Guide, then Emmanuel TV Guide. Step 3. On the TV Guide page, scroll down to the download section and tap on the download button to initiate the... I'll be eating in the dream and if I wake up, I was having the chest pain and stomach pain. During the mass prayer, I started feeling heat and fire all over my body and started vomiting these uh, poisonous substances. But now, after uh, vomiting all the poisonous substances, I feel light all over my body and my chest pain, everything. I'm no more feeling the pain, no more feeling stomach pains anymore. I'm no more feeling stomach pain, I'm no more feeling stomach pain. I'm free in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for setting me free. I'm free in the name Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 from Delta State. My name is Rodina Mutu. Just take it. My name is Rodina Mutu. So, why I come to church now? All this my rib was paining me. My leg. This my backbone to my waist. Almost a year plus. I cannot free myself. But I take medication. No way. So today, the, the, the mass prayer, after I, I feel some kind of pain, after that pain come up, I just vomited, sausages, so my body is free now. Poisonous, my body is free now. So madam, can you demonstrate the things that you can do now? Yes, I can press here. Before, I cannot press all here. My leg, I just managing my leg to move. But Are you still having any pain? No, 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 no. Even my back is free. Even my chest is free now. My chest is free now. No more pain. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you.
23, and the virgin shall give birth to a son, and his name shall be called Emmanuel, meaning... This is Emmanuel TV, changing lives, changing nations, changing the world. We are adequately equipped. We are spiritually armed. We are destined for this cause. We are rooted in the Word of God. We are filled with the Holy Spirit. We are sons and daughters of love. Jesus Christ is our shepherd. Other shepherds may slumber and sleep, but our own shepherd watches us day and night. He is greater than all the combined forces of hell and earth. So no weapon formed against us shall ever prosper. We are favored. We are blessed. We are gracious. We are beautiful. The journey continues. No matter the condition, no matter the season, the vision stays the same. Changing lives, changing nations, and changing the world. We are forever children of the Most High God. We are conquerors. We are Emmanuel TV. God is with us, now and always. Prophet Tibi Joshua says, Using God's word in your daily life is the secret of faith. Psalm 37 verse 4 says, If you make God's word your delight, you shall have your heart's desires. No one is too good or too bad to qualify for God's grace. Open your heart to God's word and spirit today as you keep, keep watching Emmanuel TV. TV. Prophet TB Joshua, the brother, the mentor, the wise counselor, the leader, and the man with a heart for all people. Just a moment with him could change the course of your life forever. These are the untold stories about how God used Prophet TB Joshua to positively impact destinies behind the scenes. These are the moments that change lives, change nations, and change the world. Stay tuned to my TBJ moment right here on Emmanuel TV. Good morning. And win today from the Emmanuel TV family. Get right to that breaking news. Tornadoes across the heartland. Take a look at Dayton, Ohio, as the sun rises. People waking up to scenes like this. So much devastation there. Homes, apartment buildings, businesses and schools destroyed. The Midwest hit so hard overnight. Dayton, one of the largest cities in Ohio, was struck by back-to-back -back twister. had lost everything. You could see houses with no walls, but you could see the bed, houses with no roof. It was just a mess. That is when we realized that the new morning water and the new morning sticker that we received, that God is truly present when you use the new morning water. We 
We've heard people's testimonies, but we never even thought that we were going to be spared because of this morning water, the new morning water that God blessed us with. Dayton, Ohio, Fire Chief Jeffrey Payne there calling it a miracle. There are no reports of deaths after at least two tornadoes slam Ohio overnight. The storms leaving behind debris and devastation in Dayton. I will encourage everybody listening to me to be an Emmanuel TV partner. Emmanuel TV partner does not mean that God give all your wealth or all your money and go hungry. No, Emmanuel TV partner means to take care of each other, to love your neighbor as yourself, to let go of unforgiveness. Better is not good enough. The best is yet to come. See you. 
Joshua, the brother, the mentor, the wise counselor, the leader, and the man with a heart for all people. Just a moment with him could change the course of your life forever. These are the untold stories about how God used Prophet TB Joshua to positively impact destinies behind the scenes. These are the moments that change lives, change nations, and change the world. Stay tuned to my TBJ moment right here on Emmanuel TV. Prophet TB Joshua says, true Christianity lies in the heart, in the purity of the heart. Meditation brings revelation. So keep meditating on God's word and spirit as you keep on watching Emmanuel TV. Distance is not a barrier to the move of God. Anywhere you are, join us in faith and press in to touch Jesus Christ. Keep watching Emmanuel TV. Psalm 34 verse 8 says, Taste and see that the Lord is good. He at the arena of liberty, the key is not to suppress the flesh, but to surrender to the Holy Spirit. Catch the fire of the Holy Spirit as you keep watching Emmanuel TV. Welcome to the Synagogue Church of All Nations. every Sunday and enjoy the raw power of God. Keep watching Emmanuel TV. Changing lives, changing nations, changing the world. Passion must come from your heart. God's word. The love of heart is love of God. It's the most effective instrument for change. A believing heart produces good people. Work. Hear and change. Your spirit needs to be free. free. Nations. Hear and change. The spirit of God can only contact the free spirit. The world. Hears and changes. To have that in God, you must be a doer of the world. This is Emmanuel TV. Changing lives. Changing nations. Changing the world. It takes faith to maintain your position to the end. The beauty of our achievement is when we are no longer live and the achievement is still there. Tell your neighbor, the beauty of our achievement, the glorious of our achievement is when we are no longer live but that achievement is still there, leaking on in the eyes, in the ears of children yet unborn. That is the beauty. You know, we are not necessarily being blessed by God because of today, but we are blessed because of tomorrow. When we are no longer living. Because children yet unborn, they want to see things that can influence them to do right.
It's not necessarily because of today you are blessed. But you are blessed because of tomorrow when you are no longer live. But that achievement continue to live so that our children yet unborn can be influenced in a positive way by our achievement. Because you will no longer live to educate them, to tell them the right way to follow. But what you have achieved will be the one to talk to them, to tell them. Your concentration is so much on what you want to achieve, what you need, that your concentration. Yes, you want to be there, you want to be that. Vanity upon vanity. If you are known today and you are not known tomorrow, what is the value of it? If your name is written today and your name is vanished tomorrow, what is the value? Please, brother, think about tomorrow. Prophet TB Joshua, the brother, the mentor, the wise counselor, the leader, and the man with a heart for all people. Just a moment with him could change the course of your life forever. These are the untold stories about how God used Prophet TB Joshua to positively impact destinies behind the scenes. These are the moments that change lives, change nations, and change the world. Stay tuned to my TBJ moment right here on Emmanuel TV. From the splendor of outer space to majestic mountains, from dense wildernesses to metropolitan civilizations, from sprawling deserts to the deepest oceans, the Holy Bible says that the Word of God is settled forever. Indeed, in heaven it is settled. God's Word is always above all, for it is the source and way of truth and life. As the eternal light of God illuminates, know that Emmanuel TV is committed to remaining a channel of our Lord Jesus Christ for ushering in all of God's blessings into your innermost being to take you from darkness to light. We have one unwavering and powerful mission of changing lives, changing nations, and changing the world. This is Emmanuel TV. Get ready to witness three days of restoration. Three days of testimonies. Three days of glorious revival held at the Skoan Prayer Mountain in Lagos, Nigeria from the 29th to the 31st of March, 2023. Be revived as you watch.
Hallelujah. We want to welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit to your day of restoration. Amen. On behalf of more than the Lord, the woman in the synagogue, Pastor Evelyn Joshua. She said that we should remind you of Hosea 6 2. That on the third day you shall be restored. Amen. She said that we should tell you that your career, your business, your family, your lost dreams, your lost glory shall be restored. Amen. She said we should bring to your awareness that you are in the arena of liberty. Where healing, where deliverance, where salvation, and every other thing you may think of are just like breathing. Use your faith to put a demand on the anointing. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Get ready to open your heart to take your possession, to take whatever the enemy might have stolen from you. Get ready. Open your heart to God's word. Hallelujah. Remember blessed in Jesus' name. This is the third day. The day of restoration. You are restored already. Today you are going to hear many testimonies among you. I came out here to say welcome. And also to thank you for your steadfastness. I'm also here to say thank you, Jesus. That is from what? A grateful heart. We are grateful. I am grateful. Oh, Lord. I am grateful. Oh, Lord. For all you have done for me. Thank you, Lord, for everything. May the name of the Lord be praised. Have your seat. About the thanks we are giving, so open with me to the book of Psalm. Psalm 100. And what Psalm want to read for us? Make a joyful shout to the Lord. Shout for joy to the Lord. All you lands, serve the Lord with gladness. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. You come before his presence with what? Joyful songs. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. With thanksgiving, we continue to enter into God's gate. With praise into his court. Only God is worthy of that. Thinking of all the good things he has done for you. How he has preserved your life. How he has helped you in times of challenges. You can only come to his presence with thanksgiving. And so we give thanks to him. 
from your heart. You move out to this place now, to the walkway. Give thanks to God. Say, so when you give thanks to him, he will do it again, again, and again. You have asked. You've played your part. His part is to answer you. And he has done that. So give him thanks. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. Thank you, Jesus. For the Lord is good. His mercy, his love is forever. Life without end. God loved me yesterday. He will not love me today. No. As long as you keep living, following his path. It is we human beings who will say, no, you are my friend yesterday. You can't be today. For reasons known to us, sometimes. But the basis of it is offense. Three days ago, I was talking about friends. Those four friends that helped their friends to get down the roof so that Jesus could touch him. Said so those are friends. Friends that will never take offense against you. Why not? We are human beings. We wrong each other. But the man of God teaches us. So when that comes, release yourself. And you can only release yourself when you don't do what? When you don't keep offense. We are talking about Thanksgiving this morning. Please, give thanks to God for the opportunity He has given to you to experience this. This has also come to stay in the synagogue by the grace of God. This meeting has come to stay. The last verse. His mercy is everlasting mm -hmm. and his truth endures to all generations. Amen. Is your generation not going to be there? Your generation is not going to be there? Is it not part of this promise? The psalmist says, since I was young, now I am getting old. I have never seen the children of the righteous or doing what? Bake for bread. The children of the righteous. So the blessings of the Father can be transferred to the Son. Please, let the blessing that God has given to you be transferred to the life of your children. Don't cut it short. I told people, I said, look, I know they are family causes. Because you don't know what the forefathers have done. As the blessing goes, also the cost goes. The Bible says, even due to the what? Fourth generation. Now, why we are children of God is that you will use your mouth to say, I don't know when this happened. I'm not going to be part of it. Hmm? We are from homes. Talk of idols. Ah, he's everywhere. You see them like this. And you see people who are entangled with it and their lives. But you, as a child of God, will say, I don't know when this happened and I'm not going to be part of it. Please, the blessing that God has bestowed upon your life, let it extend to your generation. Keep the ordinance of God. Fear Him. As you are moving, you are walking in the path of righteousness. Drag your people along with you. I'm not saying must. But those that will go with you will go with you. I'm not saying only your denomination. The Bible never changed. It's the same Bible. 
as long as this is the Bible they read. It may be interpreted in many ways. Sometimes people interpret the Bible to see their own philosophy. That the Bible remains one. As you are moving, in His grace, drag them along. Those who refuse to come with you to the place where you know, when you get some open, it is one. Can we talk about it? Except if they decide to bring another one and you say, no, this is the one we know. <laughs> so, people of God, we keep on thanking God. Since His mercy, His love endures forever. Forever we will worship Him too. The Bible says, He never sleeps, neither does He slumber. He who watches over you, do not sleep. He does not slumber. So, why would you have a break in worshiping Him? When I say break, I don't mean every day you must gather like we're doing now. But your heart should be praising God always. The man of God says that a break in faith is what? A break in faith is a break in prayer. So God bless us. Father, Lord God Almighty, everlasting King of glory, here we are again. You say we should come and here we are. Father, Lord, let the windows of heaven be open for us in the name of Jesus Christ. We have said that we come to give you thanks today because we know it has been done. We've been asking for the past three days. It has been done. And so we give you thanks. And so right now, we are moving again. Father, accept our thanks today in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, accept our praises today in the name of Jesus Christ. You have restored us. You have revived us. For that testimony is the next thing. Give us testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you because we know you have done it. We praise you because we know you are on your throne. Father, all praises, all adoration to your name forever. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Thank you, Lord. My name is Adeni Kiyadi Banji. I want to give God the glory since the beginning of this program. I want to thank God today. God visited me. I was having a excruciating pain on my knee. I couldn't kneel. People around me would notice today I was sitting on the floor. I, I couldn't walk. I couldn't stand for long. It was painful. I just woke up all of a sudden one day and the pain started. And I've used so many things. I, I was still having it. There was nothing I've not used. To the glory of God today, when the evangelist was praying, she said we should shout, Jesus. I shouted, Jesus. I fell. And getting up, I did not get up with that pain. That pain disappeared. I could stamp my feet. I could bend. I could swell. I could do everything I could not do. I could dance. I can do everything now. I give praises to Almighty God. Shall Thank you, Jesus. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus Christ? Mom, we rejoice with you over what God Almighty in His infinite mercies has done for you. So can you show us the place you had that pain? My knee. Yeah. If you look at it, it's a bit swollen. But I'm not feeling any pain. So you mean you could not touch it before? I couldn't do all this before. It was but painful. now? I can do it. I can stop my... I can't do this before. Wow, shall we put our hands together for Jesus? What I have to say to everybody here is that there is nothing God cannot do. No matter how long it has stayed. No matter how severe the pain is. No matter how painful it is. God can surely do everything for us. Praise the Lord. My name is Patience Saboy. I'm in Nigeria. I want to thank God, this God of Prophet TV Yeshua, for what he has done for me. Because before this time, I have pain in my ear. So much pain that it affected me to my back self. I could not hear anything except someone close to me. 
I could not bear it. If I want to bear it, it's like somebody's drawing me from my back. So I was just managing myself. But when I heard about this uh, revival, I was so happy because I know I will be healed. So I came here, I was praying with faith in my heart. With the woman of God, our mother in the Lord, Pastor Evelyn Joshua, was saying that yesterday was our revival. So I hit to that one. So when we go for work, uh, faith walk, so as we are walking, I was having so much noise in my ear, making like say the next I hear boom in my ear. So having this, so I knew that I was free, but I was still weighing myself. See that when I get home, I see that I go bend. I do you have any? <laughs> Is it true? I try it again. See, I go down, I go back, I do like this. So I saw that I'm free. Even this morning, when I will not struggle to wake up, even this my hand, if I want to carry this my hand, I would like they put back of cement in this my hand. I will be struggling before. But now I know that I'm free. I can hear now, I can do everything, I can bend. Like so put the hands together for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Can bend, can do like this, even like this. Even before, I couldn't do like this, but now I am free. People of God believe God and trust in Him. As God set me free, we set everyone free in this place today in Jesus' name. Man. My name is Lovet Onoha. I'm standing before you to return the glory to God of this commission, the God of Prophet TV Joshua. I have been having hotness of the pains, but at these three days of revival, as we are having mass prayer, my half running stomach, I feel like to throw up. I started vomiting. After vomiting finished, the chest pain disappeared instantly. I thank God of Prophet T.B. Joshua for healing me. Thank you, Jesus. That love is not enough for my miracle working, Jesus. Everybody that is listening to me, you should have faith in God, trust in God that today God will see you through. That whatever you come here with will not go home back to with you the same in the name of Jesus. My name is David Adebisi from Lagos. I went for operation 2018. After the operation, I see few symptoms of something is moving in my stomach. There's a heaviness in my heart. There's a heaviness in my body. I can't move my body. When I get back home, I see that man. I don't see the face of that person. But I know it's Prophet T.B. Joshua. He entered the house. And he bring one bowl like this, white one. He told me before I left the house, he said, your heart is, is poor, but they will rescue me and save me. I saw him. He operated my heart. He removed old heart. That heart, very rust, he removed that heart. He bring fresh one and he put it back. He put that fresh one. Since that time, I'm Eddie. So you mean this happened in your dream? In my dream. Wow, I shall put our hands together dream. for Jesus. After that, I see feeling a uh, moving in my stomach. My stomach swallow up. I pray nothing happened. I saw Prophet T.B. Joshua in my dream. He told me as to come here. Immediately, I entered this uh, great uh, crusade. I started for me, that thing that is moving my stomach from one place to another, it disappeared immediately. <laughs> my stomach go down now. Before, if you look at my stomach, it's, it's very big. This clothes, if you look at it, they will very tight me seriously. But we thank God, before I was sick, now 
I am He. I give God glory, honor, and adoration for what He's done. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? Wow, what a miracle working God. My encouragement for my people is this. What by faith, not by sight. Your challenges, it can never destroy you. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? My name is Mrs. Beauty Akereli. For the past one week, I was having every chest. It looked as if my heart wants to contract. It's like there is ghetto that they are using to ghetto my heart. It's so tight that I cannot even breathe very well. It's like my heart wants to seize. In the night, if I want to sleep, I will cover only this place. I will be feeling it, all, but this place, if small breeze touch it, it will look as if they are tying it. So I went to the pharmacy. They gave me some drugs. I took it. The pain, it was too much on me. So when I say, when we come to this place for the revival, when we had to go for the faith walk, when we are going, it's like they are tightening it the more. So I was going and I was telling God that during this faith walk, if I go around, I'm not coming back with these pains again. As we are coming back to the garden, the pain released me a bit. During the second uh, faith walk, as our Papa in the Lord was praying to be Joshua, he said, lose your grip. Lose your grip. As he said, so it's like something moved out of me. And that was the end of the pain. I could not feel it again. <laughs> to God be the glory, I'm healing Jesus. Wow, well, shall we put our hands together for Jesus? So, ma'am, you mean you no longer feel any pain or tightness? I'm not having it again, no. There is no pain. Thank you, Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. If you believe God, everything is possible. My name is Brother Jerry T. I'm here to thank God for delivering me from severe headache, from healing me from severe heartache. Praise the Lord. Some times ago in 2010, I was sleeping and suddenly in my dreams, I had a gunshot in my head twice. I woke up from the sleep and I prayed and I slept again. Not long ago, somebody came again at the close range and shot me at the heart. Praise the Lord. I prayed again and I woke up from the sleep. I prayed and I woke up again. So from that time till yesterday, till today, this morning, I have been having severe headache and heartache. Praise the Lord. When it comes over me, it will be as if they are drumming in my head and my heart. I will lose control of everything I'm doing. So when this revival came up, I just claimed the revival and I said, it is just for me. Praise the Lord. So I came expecting a miracle of healing to heal me from this severe headache and the heartache. I spread hard yesterday. When I came here today, I was expecting a miracle to confirm the word of our pastor, Pastor Evelyn Joshua. He announced yesterday that today is our day of restoration. As I was sitting down there, what I just said within my heart, and I even speak it out, I told God, if this is a prayer mountain, let him confirm his word. As I was seated, when the evangelist was offering the prayers, I was praying, when he said we should shout Jesus, I shouted Jesus to the top of my, vo to the top of my voice. Before I could know, I wanted to throw up, a thing I have not done before. I wanted to throw up. I wanted to hold myself and go to the toilet, but I could not hold myself. So I now went close to one of the ushers who was holding a trail. So I told her to give me the trail. Immediately I bowed down, I vomited, my vomit almost covered the trail with clutches of blood. Before then, I have been feeling deep pain in the heart where I was shot in a dream. So as I was vomiting, I was seeing clutches of blood as if that wound was still fresh. And after the vomiting, I feel light. My head was calm and my heart calm. And I said, wake up from there, I'm free. <laughs> Praise the Lord. No more ache in the heart. No more ache in the head. My head is now calm. My heart is very calm. I thank God for healing me. My advice to people who listen to me is that when you are coming to God, come expectantly expecting, expecting something. I came here expectantly, praise the Lord. 
I came here expectantly to receive my healing today, my total healing today. And thank God God has heard my prayer, has healed me today. That is my advice to everybody watching me. When you are coming to God, come expecting something, expectantly. Don't come to God casually. Praise the Lord. As unlike before, if I touch my chest, it would be as if there is a fresh wound inside. But now everything is calm. There is no more pain. I am free. Touch one of your hands. Do you still feel my those head headache? is calm. No more headache. I don't feel any pain again. Shall we put our hands together for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? My name is Grace Amate. I'm from Ghana, but I'm based for Lagos. My testimony goes like this. Since two, three years ago, I'm feeling pain. I don't feel walk from here to here. My leg is heavy. I go so, so I know where, where I no go because of the leg. So the day when I go to uh, the hospital, they told me that make I know if you are asleep, make her pray hard because my, this leg will turn me to stroke. So day, Sunday when I come to church, my uh, mama, every Joshua, say we get crusade. So I told my children, say I won't go heal, come back because the thing where they do me, I can't do anything. So anything where I want to do for house, the children I ain't go help me with my sisters. So all the things they worry me like that. So the divide by where I come there before yesterday, the time with Mama, they pray. Mama, every Joshua pray. I hear something from my waist, boom. I say, yes, I don't get my healing. So the time when we reach out, I reach out, I can't do exercise. I don't feel anything from my waist again. So this morning, I'm coming. I don't feel anything pain for my leg too much. By the time when we reach here, they say, make we call Jesus. We are, they are, I call Jesus three times. Now, so I fall down. When I fall down, I don't see myself. I don't get myself again. After I, I, uh, I stand up, I don't feel pain for my leg again. Before, I don't feel do like this. But now, I feel bent down. I feel carry anything big for my hand now. Before this hand, I don't feel raised Now, I feel raised all my body, before the thing, they move from my leg to my chest, all my back. But now, I don't feel anything again. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Shall we put our hands together for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? My advice go like this. Close to God. If you close to God, they pray well. To anything where they tell you for church, you are doing it. God go hear your prayer, go heal you like God and heal me too. My name is Ebera Ikechuku. I bless the name of the Lord today for what He has done for me. Since 2013, I followed my husband and traveled to village. So in the night, when I slept, snake bites me in my leg. Immediately, he rushed into my leg here. He entered my throat. I started praying, God, please, help me, help me. Since that day, I've been battling with it. From here to down, it's like it's not my own. Peppering me like pepper. So since then, I've been... Praying to God, please help me. When we start the program on Wednesday, I say, God, please. This thing will not follow me home again. No. Even yesterday, he started roaming on my leg. I did like this. You will not follow me home. You will not. Even this morning, he started roaming on this, my leg. To that extent, people will be calling me Yebej. I say, I'm not a Yebej. My tummy is big. But today, children of God, today, I was sitting over there when the prayer is going on. When the prayer is going on, I vomited. Immediately, I vomited all the pains. Both the one that is roaming on my leg, everything just disappeared. Thank you, Jesus. It's not easy. 
It's not easy because when the pain started, it would be roaming on my leg, my leg, my tummy, everywhere. But today, God has seen our prophet TV Joshua. God of Pastor Evelyn Joshua have done it for me. Hallelujah. I'm not having any pains. Even the one that used to roam on my leg, I'm not feeling it anymore. All of them have gone to the glory of God. Shall we put our hands together for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? People of God, believe God. Have faith in Him. No matter how long it takes, one day it will be your turn. Hallelujah. My name is Veronica Agbodo. I'm from Ghana. Last week, I was in the house. Then I felt these things that I want to come to Lagos. But when I came, I am feeling so pain in my body. One of my side, my uh, side, like the right side. I cannot do anything. I even go to hospitals. I told my doctor that maybe it's stroke because in the night I will be crying. I can't raise up my, my hand, my right hand. I can't do anything. I can't turn my neck, my leg, my waist, every part of my body in my right side. So this morning when we came here, I was there praying. So uh, one of uh, prayer hours came out and he said we should shout at Jesus. So I was shouting, Jesus, Jesus. Before I know, I fell and I vomited. I vomited. Uh, blood. So before I stood up, all the pain over me has gone. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? I am free. I'm very light. Can you exercise your body? Can you I show us the things light. you can do now that you couldn't do I before? I am very light now. Before I can't do this. So you mean you could I not do this before? Yes, yes. I can't raise up my, ha my hand like this. But now I can do it. Wow. Shall we put those hands together for our miracle working God? My encouragement is when you come, when you have some problem in your body or every part of your life, get closer to God. Have belief and have faith in God. That is my encouragement. Amen. Indeed, believing is our connection. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? My name is Oluwa Yomi Komolafe Esther. I thank God of TV Joshua for what he has done in my life and in the life of my entire family. It was on Monday. My mom called me. She said she's sick. So I told her, I said, Mommy, don't worry, God of TB Joshua is going to heal you. Because she's not staying with me. She stayed with my other sister in the Badagri side. So thank God that the revival is going to take place. I was praying. I said, Lord, I know by the time I will get to the mountain, God of TB Joshua will answer my prayer. So when I came on that Wednesday, I was praying, praying for my family. I continue praying. I said, Lord, God of TB Joshua, heal my mom. Heal my mom. So on, on that Wednesday, so yesterday, Thursday, so I had a dream. I saw my late father, my own father, my, my own biological father. So I saw him with my mom. So when I woke up from that dream, I said, God, Joshua, please, it's not, it's not yet time for my mommy to go now. I was just praying in my heart. I couldn't tell anybody, even my husband, I did not, tell, not tell anybody. I was praying in my mind, I said, God, Joshua, take control, take control. So when they asked us to walk on the walkway, I was praying, I said, God, Joshua, take control. He, my family, Deliver us. I just pray in my mind. Say, God, heal my mother. I don't know what she's doing right now. God, I be Joshua, heal my mother. I was just praying, praying, praying. So yesterday, when I got to him yesterday, so I saw a missed call on my phone. So before I carried the phone, I said, God, I be Joshua, I know you have already perfected because my mother in the Lord said, yesterday was a revival. And many of us, we are coming here for testimonies today. And I said, God, I know I'm going to give my testimony. So I, I, I on my phone and I called her. I said, Mommy, hello. So the way I heard her voice, I said, God, I you, thank you. I said, Mommy, how is your body? She said, she's fine. I said, thank you, Jesus. I said, I'm just coming from mountain right now. The survivor that is going on. And I thank God, TV Joshua, that God, TV Joshua, I've healed you. And the healing will be permanent in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 
Amen. So, ma'am, you mean after attending this three-day event right here at the Prayer Mountain, your mother received her healing at where she was? Instant healing. Wow. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? Amen. The message that I have is inside the song that I'm singing. And I say, God is already here. What we need to do is to open up our hearts. God is already here. Let us open our hearts. Whatever we need from God, God will be Joshua, Jehovah, God will answer us in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Indeed, this is the arena of liberty, where healing, deliverance, blessings, and breakthrough are just like breathing. If you believe that, put your hands together for Jesus. Yes, this is another section. So we go through the scriptures. Prayer and Bible reading. They go together. One is not complete without the other. We've prayed. We've read the Bible. Now we want to talk about what you have read. We should start our discussion today from the book of Mark. Chapter 9. But before someone will tell us what that chapter 9 is all about. Because from chapter 6 to 8... A whole lot of things happens. Events. Jesus' activities. All you need to know about the scripture relating to your own life. How does it affect you? How can you make corrections? And there's one significant thing that happens there. Chapter 6. We see the power of influence. Lost. Lack of self-control at work. A man's life was taken for speaking the truth in a more horrifying way. As a Christian, you begin to wonder, how? How can a man die for speaking the truth? How does that event affect your life? Because many of us today, because of lack of of self-control, we can do anything. Power, position, we can do anything. When we talk about lust, it takes you to tango. When you are caught in such acts, you may ask for forgiveness, but how about your partner in crime? Because that is what we see happening there. Whether a man, a man or a woman, your partner in crime, are they free? Because we see that someone was harboring offense, pains of the past, and looking for revenge. When, when the opportunity came, she never wasted time. Many of us are like that today. Looking for an opportunity to revenge. Does that make you a child of God? Yes. Power of influence. How do we influence ourselves? Our children. Many of us today we know we are in a new generation. Those days I thought our generation are spoiled. Uh, I have a mother who used to tell me, I'm sorry for your generation. We are discussing and you are sitting down here. Who are the we? She and her friends. We are talking. Do we call you in this discussion? Why is your ears like this? Why is your ears opened? When adults are talking, or some people look at you, they talk to you with eye, you will run away. And then they said, our ah, generation is in problem. Today, when I look back, I say, ah, 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 I wish this mamas, they should come and see generation here. The ones that will say, don't shout at me, please. Don't ditch your frustration on me. I'm not the cause of that problem. We are in a different generation. But how do we influence those who are looking up to us? The Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. That is what we saw happening there. A child, innocently, because of the stupidity of a man, there is also an incident in the Bible when a wife went to the husband and 
prayed. Before she did that, she was praying. She was even the husband who said, what can I give you? I will give you this. The man was specific. Esther's husband, the king said, half of my kingdom I will give you. That is it. But this particular man here, whatever you ask, I will give you. So a child innocently went to the mother who has been harboring what? Offense. Looking for revenge. She innocently went to her. Mommy, this is it. Said, okay. She influenced her. And the man's life was taken away. But you know what? It is very sad. But one thing we must understand in that passage is that God does as he will. God does as he will. And I want us to open our Bible to the book of Mark 9, verse 13. Can someone read for us? But I say to you, I say to you, that Elijah has also come and they did to him whatever they wish as it is written of him. Do you hear that? My Bible said, I tell you, Elijah has come. And they have done to him everything they wished. Just as it is written about him. So nothing happens by him. But that should be by his divine will. But Jesus Christ said, for you who want to believe, take it. That is him. And because Jesus says so, I believe. Now, John the Baptist was beheaded. Jesus is saying, he has come. And they have done to him everything they wish. As it is written about him. It is written that it will happen. But the Bible says, woe to the man. What happened to John is written as it should be by his divine will. But woe to you whom Satan used this to accomplish that. So please, you know how many people you can influence today, positively and negatively, be on the lost side, impart into people's life, positively. We have something good to talk about you. Not on the negative side. Nobody will ever speak of Salome's mother with good heart. She's a bad woman and she fails to repent. As we go on, you see where Satan has made for such people. That is not where we belong. That is why you must guide yourself, your action, your ways, your thoughts, so that you are not led astray. And not just you, those who are looking unto you. God bless you. So, chapter 9. Can someone tell me what is there? Tell us what you have read about chapter 9. Mark, chapter 9. Mark 9, verse 1 to the end. He's talking about how Jesus Christ was with his disciples. As he was going, he, he called um, Peter, John, and James. And they went together to the mountain. As they were at the mountain, Jesus Christ transfigured himself. And the disciples were surprised. Before they know it, they saw him. His clothes became very white. You know, as white as the snow. And they were surprised. They looked at themselves. Within a minute, Moses appeared and Elijah appeared. So as they appeared, they were surprised as well. Peter now told Jesus Christ that, let him prepare a tabernacle for Elijah and for Moses. But then, Elijah and Moses has already disappeared. Then after which, Jesus Christ and his disciples were going about. As they were going about, they met multitude where a man complain about his son that has been affected by mood spirit. So after a while, he has already gone to the disciples to complain to them. The disciples tried their best to deliver the man's son, but they could not deliver the man's son. There was a comment Jesus Christ made. He said, oh, you little of faith. They, 
that is, they are, they are faithless. And finally, he, he now hangs the disciples to bring the boy. So immediately the boy, they brought the boy in front of Jesus Christ. When Jesus Christ saw the boy, he now said, this is spirit of, of death and dumb. So immediately the spirit started manifesting in the boy. As the spirit was manifesting, the boy was shaking. Within a little while, the boy fell. And the disciples thought the boy would have died. But after a while, Jesus Christ touched the boy. And the boy became whole and healed. And that spirit that was with the boy, Jesus Christ cast that spirit away from him. And the spirit was, you know, taken away from him. Thank you. Let's, let's clap for her. Thank you very much. I think it all started with the transfiguration. Something happened. Jesus Christ took three of his disciples to see something new. And when they got there, they saw something new. And the one who is outspoken among them began to run about, doesn't know what to do. This is too wonderful. Can we do this for you? Can we do that for you? Can we build this for you? This is too wonderful for me. Peter was running about. When they were there, the Bible said, a voice from the crowd said what? Hmm? This is my beloved son listening to him. Compare it to what happened when he was being baptized by John. What does the voice say there? This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Now he said, this is my son listening to him. What is the difference? First he acknowledges him. This is my son. And I think... It was only John that saw that. But here, these are disciples who will carry on. The gospel said to them, listen to him. And they listen. God is not God of confusion. Just follow him. He's not God of confusion. They've gotten there powerful place, spiritual place. They saw two wonderful men who departed this world in a wonderful way too. Too wonderful for us to explain. Moses, Elijah. The Bible told us, Moses went to the mountain and that was it, by Elijah too, off. Now they saw these two men. Wonderful. And Jesus said, don't say this to, to anyone until when? Huh? Prediction of his death. He has predicted it now. Don't say this to anyone until what? Arise from the dead. Who arises from the dead? Jesus. He knew what is going to happen. Now, mountain. They've gotten to that spiritual place. They have seen it all. But they are coming back to meet their people. Isn't it? Are they going to remain there? They will come and walk in the streets of Jerusalem where they will be tempted. They will be flogged. But when you think of that revelation, you will behave. Say to someone, behave. You will behave. You think of the glory you have seen. You will not be provoked. You mind your way. The lesson in transfiguration. For three days now, many of us were here. You will go back to the street of Lagos. Please. Think of the glory of God before you. Think of the wonderful moments you have spent here. And the promises of God that follows. Don't let the devil take it away from you. Because you'll be tempted. That is sure. So what happened again? 
The sister was talking about a boy that the father brought. That is one of its kind. The disciples, they have seen it. Different kinds of healing. But this one is different. Before your own very eye, spirit tormenting a boy, roll him down. The Bible said it gnashes his teeth and is foaming. And they were watching. What is this? This one is different. That is why I said, please, they did not say, ah, Jesus is healing, let us heal. Then today we are afraid. They were afraid. We've seen it in the synagogue. Yes. You'll be wondering what is happening. Why is this one behaving like this? It's been there from the beginning. So, the boy was doing that. They brought the boy. Today we sing a song in the synagogue. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. Help me to my own belief. That is where the song comes from. The disciple could not do anything. Father ran, here I am. I believe. Maybe my believing is not enough. Help me. Help me overcome this unbelief. For how long since he was born? Jesus Christ. Christ was also expecting his disciples to do something. Because the authority and power has been given to them. But when they saw this, this is different. Maybe to uh, out, out. Ah, the demon was looking at them. Who are you? <laughs> Your guy must come and answer here. <laughs> Eventually, Christ came and cast the demon out from the boy. That was too wonderful for disciples too. So privately, they went to him. How is this possible? I remember... During our disciples' meeting in the synagogue, many things will happen, and the prophet, Prophet T.B. Joshua, will say, Why don't you ask me? Ah, who is asking questions? But glory be to God that these disciples, they have the boldness to go and ask Jesus, What happened? Why is it we are unable to cast this away? And he said, This can only come by what? Prayer. This can only happen through prayer. So with prayer, everything is possible. You have come here to pray. Whatever be your heart desire, God will grant it in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever be that turbulence in your life, God will calm it in the name of Jesus Christ. That is Jesus at work. He's still working. What happened again? He predicted his death second time. Isn't it? And there is another incident that happened. Somebody ran to him, a disciple, and said, Ah, see, oh, these ones, they are not part of us. They have been using their name to cast out demon. They are not part of us at all. And Jesus said, Ah, which name are they using? Eh? If they are not against us, they're for us. Let them be casting out demon. Ah, today. Me, I used to look at YouTube now. When you just open, T.B. Joshua did this. T.B. Joshua did that. My mentor is T.B. Joshua. This one that has become disciples overnight. And when I look at it, I say, ah, are they against us? Eh, they are not against us. Since they are not against us, they are for us. Jesus said, nobody, nobody will use my name to cast out demon and come back and said, I am not the Lord. As long as you follow what prophet T.P. Joshua teaches, not for your own benefit. When you start asking people, come and bring 10, 10 couple. You've been telling the world. You know, recently, some people were telling me, play daddy prediction. Play his prophecies. I said, huh? 
But you were there and I play it. Show the word. You were there when all these prophecies were given. The records are there. You show it to the world. But you know the one I would dislike? The one I don't support. Is somebody saying, this is Prophet T.B. Joshua's prophecy for the year 2023. No. You can confirm his prophecies. This has been said by the prophet. It has come to be. That is confirmation of prophecy. But for you to go and tell me, this is Prophet T.B. Joshua's prophecy for 2023. That can amount to blasphemy. We are not saying he did not say so. But present it well. If you want to represent Prophet T.B. Joshua, it happens there. See these people, they have started though. Even though you are telling us, you should not talk until you arise and arose from dead. But these ones, they have started, they have started using your name. They are not part of us. Uh, leave them. You know, in this book of Mark, we are giving the opportunity to see what happens in heaven. We are also given opportunity to see what will happen in hell. So the choice is yours. Glory. Meaning that those who died in Christ, they are life. Many people will say, heaven starts here, yes? Live a good life. And the reward will start from here. So they also say, hell starts from here. Mm -mm. The way hell was described, nobody goes through that. Nobody will want to see it. If hell starts from here, people will change. Uh, you, don't need to, you don't need to preach to people. So just imagine in your head how it will look like. I want somebody to read for us. Mark 9. From verse 47. Mark 9. From verse uh, 47. 47. Okay, I'm reading from a Good News Bible. And if your eye makes you lose your faith. Praise the Lord. If your, if your eye. It's not only your eye. You. If you are starting from verse 46, you see a whole lot of things that can make you to lose faith. Your eye, your leg, your this, your hand. And Christ is saying, if all these things will make you, it is better you leave them. How can your hand make you not to enter into the kingdom of God? Cut off the hand. It has to do, that's why it says start from verse 47. It has to do with your eye. It is your eye and your hand that will tell your hand, go and do this. Your eye will see and your legs will move to go and do this. That is the light of the body. If you can't see well, then the whole of your body is what? Full of darkness. If your eye cannot see properly, your whole body is full of what? Darkness. So I said, start from that verse 47. Mark 9 verse 47. It says, okay. and if your eye causes your downfall, gorge it out. It's better for you to enter the kingdom of God with one eye than to have two eyes and be thrown into hell, where their worms does not die and the fire is not quenched. Praise the Lord. Do you see that? Worms does not die. Fire does not quench. Who can be in such torments in this life and you will not repent? So if there is any hell, anybody think he's experiencing here, that is little one. But we we'll have choice. Life is all about the choice you make. You can decide to take the path of truth or the path of falsehood. Your eye, your heart must be guarded. It is simple. Walk of faith. 
There are bound to be good times, bad times alike. But you have a choice too. When the good time comes, glory be to God, you praise him the more. You worship him the more. When is the other one to praise him the more, worship him the more. And things will fall into their places. In chapter 10, there is a serious discussion there. They are only tempting him, not that they want to know. And it talks about what? Divorce. And Moses said, you don't want a woman again. Give her a certificate. And yes, so are you demanded for the law? But I say to you this. What did you say to them? And he answered, what is Moses command you? They said, Moses allowed a man to write a certificate of divorce and to put her away. But Jesus said to them, for your hardness of heart, he wrote you this commandment. But from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Thank you. He attended any marriage ceremony today. They will say, ah, what God has joined together. Let no man put asunder. You know, hmm. of late, I have seen how many pastors are being blamed because of uh, one or two things that happens among their members. And maybe at the end it leads to unfortunate incidents. And people will begin to talk. People will begin to talk. Yes, they will begin to talk. It is because in your church they don't allow divorce. Oh, you should have asked the woman to go. Oh, it's better for her to go. For all this to have happened. Ah! Choice! Is it easy for a man of God to say, leave your wife? Especially if he's not the one who has chosen the wife for you. Or leave your husband. When he's not the one that joined both of you together. Is it easy? Let us face facts. Eh? They even say stupid pastors. What are they teaching? Men too. Like we understand, I thought men are strong. But you also know that men are undergoing some troubles in their home because of strong women. Shut up, sit down, okay? Don't talk. They are strong men. Hey, we know that men are supposed to be strong. Ah, uh -uh. You want to marry a man that is not strong? No. But now, we have come to understand that many women are strong. That men can't even talk in their houses. What is the role of a church in situations like this? We said as Christians, good times, bad times alike. Is it every day husband and wife fight? The very day you met yourself, did you fight? So what brought about fighting? Is that demon in us? When they become awake, ah, what is the role of a church in situations like this? You will talk and don't get tired of talking. You will cancel. You will pray. Don't get tired of it because that is your duty to see that there is peace in the house of your followers. Now, you don't live with them in the house. You may talk, but the devil in one of them will say, no, it will never end. You have spoken. They have choice to make. That if you are expecting a man of God to say, leave your home, you are lying. Leave your home. Is that what the Bible said? So where is that man of God going to get his or her own scriptures? Speak out. The man of God said, 
If you don't talk, we can't place you. If you are experiencing violence, you can speak out to those who will help you with love. It's expecting any man of God to tell you to leave your house for any reason. That will not happen. Let us help pastors. Let us help our pastors. And that, speak out to those who will help you. I have an opportunity to talk to some couples. I told them, one thing with bringing your matter to church is that you will say that they will talk about it. Nobody is going to look at face. When you are wrong, you say you are wrong. You are not in your family meeting where somebody will begin to look at one brother that is the breadwinner of the house. Nobody there talks to him. Yes. When a man is the breadwinner of the house, nobody there talks to them. So if you're a woman, you take your husband matter to, your, to the family, they will look at you. Nobody will talk to the man. All the problem is in the house will become yours. It's the same thing too with some bad in-laws. They never see anything wrong in what their daughters are doing. But when you bring your matter to the church of God, someone will look at your face and tell you the bitter truth. Because they are not part of your family. They just want peace in your house. And it ends there. Not after the meeting, every other person will begin to know what happened in your house. Because the family meeting, everybody must know. Uh, do you know that these people, they came here to judge their case? Do you know that this one, they came here to judge their case? Church is not like that. So if you bring your matter to the church, it's much, much better. God bless you. So we move. Ah, this is another one here. Another one here. He desires. Eh? Look at what is happening. There is a wave in the town. Am I lacking anything? No? Let me go and meet your guy, beg. What will it take for me to go into the kingdom of God? The man was coming like this. Is that better? Can I buy it? Ah. What will it take me to enter into the kingdom of God? The rich man, this man called Jesus one good name. He realizes something in Jesus' life. He calls him a name. What is the name? Good teacher. He knows Jesus is saying the truth. Good teacher. And Jesus looked at him and said, Ah, no one is good though, except God. Because you will, you will go to the temple very soon to throw away all the rubbish in they are selling there. And that man they call good now will become bad in from people's eye. Eh? Nobody is good except God. So what can I do to enter into the kingdom of God? So what did Jesus say? Jesus began to count. You had this, you had this, you have this, you had this. Oh yeah, okay. And I see was setting out on his journey, a man ran up and knelt before him and asked him, good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said to him, why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandment, the commandment, do not kill, do not commit adultery, do not steal. Do not bear false witness. Do not defraud. Honor your father and mother. And he said to him, Teacher, all this I have observed. From I am room. good. All this I have observed. All this I have done. All these uh, commandments, I know them. I keep them. I said, what must I do again? Okay. And just look, looking upon him, loved him, and said to him, you lack one thing. Go, sell what you have and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven. And come follow me. Praise the Lord. Opportunity. Opportunity came. This man would have been the 13 disciples of Jesus Christ. We talked about him and picking some. And some, as he was going, they followed him. 
He picked some himself. Some of the disciples, come, follow me. Just like what he said to this man, follow me. It would have been the 13th disciples that we will know. But what happened? Jesus said, you lack one thing, just one thing. You have kept all the what? Commandments. But you just lack one. Just one. May opportunity never pass us by in Jesus' name. May we never be carried away by the laws and cares of the world. In the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead, sir. That saying, his countenance fell, and he went away sorrowfully, for he had great possessions. Yes. The man went away sad, ah, and Jesus looked at him and began to talk to his disciples. Wow. This is it. And Jesus began to talk and begin to talk and begin to teach and begin to teach. Please, can you read verse 26? They were exceedingly astonished and said to him, then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, with men, it is impossible, but not with God, for all things are possible. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. Ah, when Jesus was talking, 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 ah, before one can enter into the kingdom of God, this, 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 and the, ah, the disciple looked at him and said, who then can be saved? Because these this commandments are much. <laughs> And with man, it's impossible. But with God, grace is not by might or power, but by the grace of God. And that grace will lead you home in the name of Jesus Christ. The grace of God will lead us home in the name of Jesus Christ. We will be part of those that will be crowned on that day in Jesus Christ's name. We will not be found wanting because of the things of the world. Things that does not have what? Significant values. Vanity of vanities. Now, there's another thing here. It happens even in our little family, nuclear family. I remember when I was a baby. Maybe I was doing that thing ignorantly. But to me, I was doing it too because the person I was doing it to like me. My mama loved me. Well, well, oh. Maybe my mom said, don't do this thing. And there are people in, the, in that house who is older than me, they will go and do it. In fact, they will chase me away because they know that before mama comes, I will talk. I'm the youngest in that house. So I will be have a I didn't know what was happening. But I will still go and tell mama. They know that very well. So it happens in our houses. That is what is happening here. These are people that Christ himself had picked, James and John. Come and follow me. And they have been following. All these things have been happening in their presence. Now they came to Jesus and said, uh-huh, oh God, we'll be following you. We want to be in this place. They want position. Give us position, no? <laughs> Jesus laughed. <laughs> Simple word. He said to them, you don't know what you're asking for. You think we are joking here. You will eat from the table. You will drink from the cup I will drink. Cup of wine. Is it a cup of wine? The cup is coming before them. They will see it with their eyes. He told them that, oh, and they do. They drank from that cup. As they were propagating the gospel, they were persecuted. Many of them were killed. They drank from that cup. He said, I'm not in position, no. I am not in position to tell you this is where you are going to sit or that's where you are going to sit. No. It is for those whom they have prepared it for. Grace. So don't be running. Whatever you are doing, there is a motive behind it. Wrong motive. I tell you one thing. When we came on board, I was wondering what was going on in people's hearts that made them think I can be manipulated to their own level. 
So, friends start coming. It's okay. Yes. Report is good, but you must report something good. You want me to be observant. I like that. If you don't say it, it won't be good for any one of us. But report something that is good. Report the wrong you see too, so that it can be corrected. But if you want to report because you want to get favor, you failed. So, let the motive behind everything we do come from God. Jesus will forever love Peter. We too. Me, I will forever love that man too. Peter. You know why? When these people went to ask Jesus, eh, eh, can we eh, eh, stay? Peter came out to the midst of them and said, we have left everywhere. We have left our family to follow you. What is our gain? So that everybody will hear. <laughs> yes. This one went secretly. Give us this. Give us that. But Peter, we have left home. We have left everything to follow you. What is our reward? And Jesus said, nobody has done what you have done. That will not be rewarded. Which what? The own is express. It's not grace now. That will not be rewarded with what? Internal life. So people of God, in all, Mark 13, we start our reading from verse 32. And I read, but about that day or hour, no one knows. Not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Be on guard. Be alert. You do not know when that time will come. It's like a man going away. He leaves his house and puts his servants in charge, each with their assigned tax. And tells the one at the door to keep watch. Therefore, keep watch. Because you do not know when the owner of the house will come back. Whether in the evening or at midnight. Or when the roaster crows or at dawn. If he comes suddenly, do not let him find you sleeping. What I say to you, I say to everyone. Watch. Praise the Lord. So, Christ is not just saying it to his disciples. Even though we are his disciples today too, he's talking to us. What he says to them, he's saying to us, watch. So that when he comes, you will not find you sleeping. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart, I want to see you, I want to see you, open the eyes of my heart, Lord, open the eyes of my heart. To see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory, pour out your power and love as we sing, holy, holy, holy.
see you, Lord. I want to see of faith. You've gone your own way. You are sleeping. We sang a song now. Open the eye of my heart. It means your heart have what? I. Ask God to open it at all times. Even when you are asleep, your heart is awake. That is why you dream dreams. Your heart has to be awake for you to dream dreams. Good dreams. Simple. Watch. As the Lord keep watch over us, let us not be fine sleeping. Play your role. Your part. Because we all have parts to play. We have roles to play. Don't be carried away with the troubles. Challenges of the world. It will always be there. But remember the promise of God. You will overcome. Because Christ has overcome for you, you will overcome every obstacle in his name. Everything is possible. God bless you. God bless you. You are restored. You are restored. Your way is restored. Your life is restored. Your family is restored. Your marriage is restored. Amen. Your children is restored. Amen. Your businesses are restored. Amen. Your job is restored. Amen. Your career is restored. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. We take our faith walk. Why
Thank you, Jesus. May the grace of the Lord continue to abide with you. May his goodness continue to be with you. May his favor continue to locate you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord.